Section 1 All the rivers run into the sea Rabbi Shia opens with all the rivers run into the sea at the sea is not full saying that these rivers are the secret of the Sfarat that are the holy rivers that filled the great sea Malchut the sea then flows over and provides water for the animals in the field the sea of Malchut takes in the springs the lights of Zir and Ben and pours them out into the holy chariots below all of these are named and counted by Malchut we are told that the tabernacle in the opening verse is Malchut and that the grades that she waters correspond to the utensils of the tabernacle all of which are called by name one these are the accounts of the tabernacle the tabernacle of the testimony as they were counted according to the commandments of Moses Shema 3821 Rabbi Shia opened the discussion with the verse all the rivers run into the sea at the sea is not full Kahilat 17 this verse has already been elucidated and learned yet all these Rivers are the secret of the holy rivers and springs the Sfarat of Zeir and Ben that filled and flow to illuminate and fill this great sea Malchut and when the great sea is filled by these rivers it flows over and waters the field animals as it is written, they give drink to every wild beast Tehillim 104.11 which are the grades of Briya Yitzra and Asiyah to the verse preceding they give drink to every wild beast is he sends the springs into the valleys and after it they give drink. To every wild beast the wild asses quench their thirst these are the lower chariots of Briya Yitzra and Asiyah called wild beasts and wild asses and when the sea Malchut receives the springs the lights of Zeir and Ben it takes and swallows them inside then lets water out on the other side which is the holy chariots below in Briya Yitzra and Asiyah and waters them and all are counted and numbered by name for all the grades that Malchut waters she calls by name as it is said he calls. Them all by names Yeshua 4026 therefore it is written these are the accounts of the tabernacle for the tabernacle is Malchut and the grades that she waters namely the utensils of the tabernacle are counted that are called by name section 2 oh how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you Rabbi Yossi says that people should observe the ways of God for every day a voice tells people to stay away from sin he tells us that supernal judgment is a will that is constantly turning lifting people up and bringing them down the wicked are pushed from the will and fall into a pit they will never see the light that has been stored up for the righteous in the world to come oh how great is your goodness refers to this light we are told that you have performed for those who trust in you means that God created the world with that light Rabbi Yossi next tells us that in the sight of the sons of man means that the construction of the world by means of the light sustains people people live by it. the building of the world is like the building of the tabernacle both of them came from the power of the stored light the tabernacle Malchut was created by left and right and Moses the central column founded it three Rabbi Yossi opened the discussion with the verse oh how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you which you have performed for those who trust in you in the sight of the sons of men Tehillim 3120 oh how great is your goodness means how much should people observe and know the ways of the holy one blessed be he for every day a voice resounds and proclaims saying beware you people close the doors of sin stay away from the net that captures people before your legs are caught in the net there is a will constantly turning in the world the supernal judgment it goes up and down lifts up and brings down people woe to those whose legs are pushed from the will for they fall into a pit Kept for the wicked people of the world for woe to those who fall into that said pit for they will never rise nor be illuminated by the light stored up for the righteous in the world to come happy are the righteous in the world to come for many lights are stored up and kept for the many delights of that world are laid up for them as it is said oh how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you we already explained that oh how great is your goodness refers to the light stored up for the righteous in the world to come as it is written and Elohim saw the light that it was good bear sheet 14 and light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart Elohim 9711 so meaning stored up upon this it is written oh how great is your goodness 5 it is written here oh how great is your goodness and elsewhere and Elohim saw the light that it was good as it is said there upon the light that it is good so here your goodness means your light which you have laid up means that when the Holy One blessed be he looked at the light he also looked at the wicked destined to commit sins in the world and so he stored up that light to grant it to the righteous in the world to come as we learn six it is said you have performed for those who trust in you he asks why I as it said first laid up and then performed he answers that laid up means as we said stored for the righteous performed means that by that stored light the Holy One blessed be he performed the workmanship of the world we know this from the verse these are the generations of the heaven and of the earth when they were created Beersheet 24 it is written Abraham because the letters of when they were created had Bihabaram are the same letters as by Abraham had Abraham for the light of Abraham which is Jesus is stored up by the Holy One blessed be he who by using it performed the building of the world as it is written you have Performed for those who trust in you, namely for those who sit under the shade of the Holy One, blessed be he who take refuge in his shade seven in the sight of the sons of men. The meaning of this is that this construction done by that light sustains people in the world and is their existence, and though the light is stored up, people live by it in this world. Performed refers to the building of this world according to an orderly plan. The building of the world is like the building of the tabernacle that was constructed in the same manner as the world as we explained. It is written here, these are the accounts of the tabernacle, Shema 3821, and elsewhere, these are the generations of the heaven and of the earth. This indicates that the actions are the same in both cases, for all the generations produced by the heaven and earth were formed and came out by the power of the stored light, and also the accounts of the tabernacle came out by the power of the stored light from. Where do we know that from the verse? And that's all the son of Uri, the son of Shah, the tribe of Judah, Shema 3822 of the right side, which is Abraham, the stored light is set, and with him Holyoth of the left side, and the tabernacle, which is Malchut, was founded by right and left, and Moses, who was between them, the secret of the central column, founded it. Section 3, and in mercy a throne was established. Rabbi Lazar opens with the verse, and in mercy a throne was established, and he sat upon it in truthfulness. He says this means that the thought went up to join with the will and joy that come from the incomprehensible attic, the joy shown into the thought Abba, and then united with the supernal Iami by the light of Chesed. In a never ending union, Rabbi Lazar talks about the supernal hidden temple called Yisrael Saba and Tavuna, where all the lights flow through the lights of Chesedim Shachma and Dad from the right, left, and central columns. He speaks about. The throne saying and he sat upon it in truthfulness means that God sits upon the throne by right of the seal that is truth he adds that inside the tent of David is the lower throne then Rabbi Lazar turns to judging and seeking judgment and quick to do righteousness this refers to the joining of the left column the central column and the throne of judgment that is the lower court Malchut 9 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion with the verse and in mercy a throne was established and he sat upon it in truthfulness Yeshua 165 and in mercy a throne was established refers as we explained to the thought the secret of Chakma called the supernal Abba and Ima it went up to be established by the will and joy from the most hidden of all that is never known nor conceived which is Attic the joy from Attic shown into the thought Abba and came to wherever it came namely it united with the supernal Ima by the light of Chesed in a never ending union in the secret of the verse because he delights in mercy, had she said, Misha 718 10 until Abba and Iama were concealed, that is established and clothed in a supernal temple by the called Israel. Saba and Tavuna, this temple is hidden above in its place, namely Chakma is not revealed there in its place, but in that place are drawn and flow all the lights, the light of Chesedim from the right column, the light of Chakma from the left column, and the light of Dad from the central column, only the light of Chesedim from the right travels first, then all the lights travel, the lights of Chakma and of Dad, the lower throne Malchut is amended from the right side, because the Holy One blessed be his Eir and made this throne with Chesed drawn from the right column of Israel, Saba and Tavuna, and supernal Abba and Iama, and he sat upon it in truthfulness, for he establishes the universal seal, he does not sit upon the throne Malchut save by right of the seal, which is truth, the establishing of the central column. Call truth in the tabernacle of David, Yeshua 165, which is Malchut, the lower throne, 11, judging and seeking judgment and quick to do righteousness. Abid, I ask the end of the verse, he is judging, meaning by the side of judgment, the left column, and seeking judgment by the side of mercy, the central column,
God told him to use the imaginary image and he would use the spiritual image thus combining the two. Another explanation for the accounts of the tabernacle is that the Holy Spirit in the form of the tabernacle was a mirror that reflected to everyone the amount of gold and silver offered by Israel after the work was completed. Moses had to count everything up to prove his trustworthiness and even the other side was able to find no fault with him. Rabbi Shimon turns to the meaning of testimony. In the tabernacle of the testimony and offers two explanations of why the love serve in the tabernacle. Rabbi Abba introduces a new topic that time when God will increase peace in the world and the root of the tree of life will prevail. We also learn that blessings only exist where they aren't being counted. Rabbi Shishkia offers his explanation of the title verse saying that the holy ground Moses stood on was the Shechanah and that God made him ruler over Malchut whatever Moses decreed God. Performed Moses was the voice of Zerampin that uttered the speech Malchut and he inventoried the tabernacle so it could come out of exile. Twelve. These are the accounts of the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the testimony as they were counted according to the commandment of Moses. Shema 3821. Rabbi Shimon opened the discussion with the verse in the beginning Elohim created the heaven and the earth. Beersheet 11. This was already explained and expounded upon in different manners, yet the Holy One. Blessed be he created it resembling the higher one, so this world will be shaped like the higher world which is Malchut and all the supernal hues of above were installed below in this world to join and connect world to world, this world to Malchut 13. And when the Holy One blessed be he wanted to create the world, he looked at the Torah and then created it and he looked upon the holy name Yudhe which comprises the Torah and gave existence to the world, the world was created by three. Sides, Chakma Tevuna and Da'at by Chakma as it is written, Hashem by wisdom founded the earth Mishle 319 by Tevuna as it is written, by understanding had Tevuna he established the heavens Ibit and by Da'at as it is written, by his knowledge had Da'at the depths were broken up Ibit 20 so all contribute to the existence of the world and by these three the tabernacle was built as it is written and I have filled him with the spirit of Elohim in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge Shema 313 14 all these three Chakma Tevuna and Da'at were alluded to in this verse in the beginning corresponds to in wisdom for Chakma is called beginning as it is written the beginning of wisdom Tehillim 11110 Elohim created corresponds to Tevuna for Tevuna is called Elohim the heaven is as written, and in knowledge for Zeir and is called heaven and is the inner meaning of that and all are mentioned in the building of the tabernacle in the secret. It is written and these are the accounts of the tabernacle for this is the secret of Chakma as accounts and numbers are drawn from Chakma. The tabernacle of the testimony is the secret of Tevuna for the illumination of Chakma revealed in Israel. Saba and Tevuna is called testimony according to the commandment of Moses is the secret of that for Moses is the secret of that all is done the one corresponding to the other for everything the Holy One blessed be he created in this world he created it as a reflection of above all this is shown in the building of the tabernacle 15 come and see when the Holy One blessed be he told Moses to construct the tabernacle Moses was dumbfounded for he did not know what to do until the Holy One blessed be he showed him how it looked as it is written and looked that you make them after their pattern which was shown to you in the mountain Shema 259 the meaning of after their pattern is as we learned that the Holy One blessed. B. He showed Moses the supernal form of each thing, the spiritual form, and each one of the spiritual higher forms shaped itself to resemble the imagined form made on earth in this way. Moses knew 16. He asks, It should have been written, which you see instead of which was shown to you. And answers, We learned that the mirror which does not shine, which is Malchut, showed him within it all the wheels and shapes made below, like a mirror reflecting within itself every image. 17. This is the meaning of the verse which was shown to you. You is the secret of the mirror which does not shine, Malchut, which reflected all those forms for Moses to see. And he saw each thing correctly as if looking through a glass lamp and within a mirror reflecting all the shapes. And when Moses beheld them, he found it difficult for inside Malchut the spiritual shape of every object stood out. Only each shape resembled the imaginary shape pertaining to this world in the tabernacle, so there were two shapes. To each object the spiritual and the imaginary shape therefore Moses found it difficult for he knew not which one to grasp so the Holy One blessed be he said to him you follow your signs and I follow mine that Moses should grasp the imaginary signs of every object and the Holy One blessed be he would grasp the spiritual signs of every object and then the spiritual shape would dwell on the imaginary shape Moses was then clear minded as to the construction of the tabernacle 18 and when all the work was completed Moses had to count everything so Israel would not say that some gold and silver was left and that he was planning to take it therefore he counted before Israel as it is written and be guiltless before Hashem and before Israel Bimid bar 3222 19 the reason the verse states these are the accounts of the tabernacle the tabernacle of the testimony is that the Holy Spirit which is Malchut called tabernacle was a mirror which reflected to everyone the amount of all the gold and silver offered by Israel and the Holy Spirit would say and the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation was a hundred talents Shema 3825 and all the gold that was applied for the work of it 24 for the Holy One blessed be he was pleased with all the craftsmen and wanted to display their trustworthiness before all twenty these are the accounts of the tabernacle come and see at the time when the construction of the tabernacle took place the other side roamed about. To bring accusations he found no flaw in the faithfulness of the craftsmen so the Holy One blessed be he caused him to yield before Moses and he the other side had to check their worthiness in spite of himself and to acknowledge it before all this is the mystery of the verse these are the accounts of the tabernacle and we explained that these is the same as in even these may forget Yeshua 4915 referring to the other side for both cases allude to the other side it is also written as they were counted according to the commandment of Moses for there according to Moses all was counted and numbered until the accounting of the tabernacle was complete before Moses and all of Israel 21 these are the accounts of the tabernacle the tabernacle of the testimony he asks what is testimony he answers that the word tabernacle is written twice the tabernacle the tabernacle of the testimony one above in Bina the tabernacle of the testimony and one below in Malchut the tabernacle and the tabernacle is called the tabernacle of the testimony what is the testimony it is as in the verse the tribes of Yahweh a testimony to Israel Tehillim 1224 this name Yudhe which is Chakma and Bina is a testimony to Israel 22 the verse this he ordained in Yehoseph for testimony Tehillim 816 is explained in the same manner it is called testimony for the name Yahweh Yehoseph which stands for Chakma and Bina is surely a testimony these two letters Yud and he give testimony everywhere namely they shine with the illumination of Chakma called Eden or testimony and there is testimony here in Yudhe for this reason it is written the tabernacle of testimony meaning that it is the tabernacle of that testimony Yudhe namely Bina therefore it is called the tabernacle after the secret of the holy name Yudhe this is the meaning of the verse and my testimony that I shall teach them Tehillim 13212 since that place Yudhe is the most hidden and concealed of all therefore it is said I shall teach them 23 as they were counted according to the commandment of Moses he asks I do not know yet whether the tabernacle was counted or the testimony as it was said the counts of the tabernacle the tabernacle of the testimony he replies assuredly the testimony was which is the secret of Yudhe is mentioned for since the day the patriarchs and the tribes the sons of Jacob passed away from the world Israel were left in exile and because of all their troubles they forgot the knowledge of the supernal holy name which is the name testimony that sustains heaven and earth namely the Mokin of male and female for these two letters Yudhe established the high and low worlds and all the sides of the world namely they give them Mokin 24 when Moses came this name of Yudhe was accounted and remembered in the world and when he was in the thorn bush he immediately asked about this name as it is written and they shall say to me what is his name what shall I say to them Shema 313 there the name was entrusted to Moses this is the secret of the verse as they were counted according to the commandment of Moses 25 he asks it is written the tabernacle of the testimony the service of the Levites what is the service of the Levites he answers this is a secret as it is written and the Levite shall do the service let's serve him Bimidbar 1823 for he
Other roots will prevail below, namely the grades in Malchut and in Bria Yitzra and Asiyah, for they all are rooted and draw their strength from it. 27 The verse continues that stands for a banner of the peoples Yeshua 1110, for it is a banner and an ensign to the mystery of the holy name Yud Hey Bob Hey to it shall the nations seek of it because there is found the secret of existence that is Mokin of the holy name, therefore the nations shall seek it in order to receive Chakman. Dad from there and many people shall go and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of Hashem Yeshua 23, therefore to it shall the nations seek and his resting place shall be glorious Yeshua 1110, his resting place is the temple which is Malchut as it is written, This is my resting place forever. Tehillim 13214, it will be glorious because it is thus called the glory of Hashem when the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun Yeshua 3026, the light of Malchut. Shall be as the light of Zeir and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. Divid and the light of Zeir and will be sevenfold. What it was before twenty-eight, and the resting place of the root of Yishai, which is Malchu, called the glory of Hashem, must never be counted or numbered. What is the reason? Because no blessing dwells wholly upon something counted. Blessings prevail only where there is no reckoning, and this is the first time Malchu was counted, as it is said. These are the accounts of the tabernacle. Twenty-nine. Come and see. The tabernacle is now subject to an inventory for Malchu that is called tabernacle corresponds to the left column. Once counting comes, therefore it needed the prayer of Moses, which is the secret of the central column, joining right and left and pouring blessing upon them, as mentioned above, as it is written. And Moses blessed them. Shema three thousand nine hundred and forty-three. What is the blessing he gave them? May blessing be upon the work of your hands. There were no blessings upon that. Counting until Moses bounded to the upper tabernacle by as it is written, these are the accounts of the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the testimony as they were counted according to the commandment of Moses, and the tabernacle of the testimony is bound, and were it not for Moses who did the counting, they would not have been able to count as it is written according to the commandment of Moses. Thirty he opened the discussion and said, and the word of Hashem came to him, Elijah saying, Arise. Go to Zarephath, behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain you. I may lodge him one hundred and seventy eight to nine. He asks, Where did the Holy One Blessed be he commander? And he replies, Before entering the world, the Holy One Blessed be he decreed above that the crows should bring food to Elijah, and that woman should give food to Elijah. Thirty one it is written, and she said, As Hashem your Elohim lives, I have nothing big but a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in the cruise of it. Twelve the meal was counted for. The jar contained a handful of meal and that was its quantity being measured it was not worthy for a blessing to dwell in it but it is written forth says Hashem the Elohim of Israel the jar of meal shall not be spent neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that Hashem sends Hetet rain upon the earth of it 14 and because of that blessing there were blessings upon it though it was measured 32 he asks it is pronounced Tet but is written Titan and give why is this so? He answers in all that generation there was no person who was meritorious like that woman therefore it was written Titan let she will give to say you will give rain upon the world due to your great merit 33 it is written and the jar of meal was not consumed neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word of Hashem which he spoke through Elijah but 16 and though the meal was measured for it was a handful nevertheless no blessings were stopped from it because of what Elijah had said that the jar of meal shall not be spent, and it is written the jar of meal was not spent, even though the tabernacle of the testimony was accounted, since this was decreed by Moses, blessings dwell in it. All the more, therefore, it is written, these are the accounts of the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the testimony that were counted according to the commandment of Moses. 34 These are the accounts of the tabernacle. Rabbi Shishkiah opened the discussion and said, Do not come near. Put off your shoes from off your feet. Shema 35 This verse was thus explained that the Holy One blessed be he separated Moses from his wife, so he may cleave to the Shechina as it is written, for the place on which you stand is holy ground. If the holy ground is the Shechina, namely holy unity with the high world, Moses held onto at that time. 35 For then the Holy One blessed be he connected him with the fondness of above, and he was appointed supernal chieftain in charge of the house. Malchut meaning that he became a chariot of Zeir Anpin which is superior to Malchut he decrees and the Holy One blessed be he performs as it is written and the earth opens her mouth and swallows them up Bimidbar 1630 and as he had made an end of speaking all these words that the ground split of it it is also written rise up Hashem return Hashem Bimid 1035 to 36 that is why it is written as they were counted according to the commandment of Moses for according to Moses the tabernacle was accomplished and everything counted the counting of the tabernacle Malchut was done by Moses as it is written I have indeed taken count of you Shema 316 Moses was a voice namely Zeir Anpin that utters the speech Malchut and he took count of it so it may come out of exile and now you are commanded to draw holiness from above downward as it is written and let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them Shema 258 and Betzalel the son of Uri the son of Shev the tribe of Judah Shema 3822 Rabbi Yehuda said we have already learned that Betzalel was of the right side from Shesed and arranged everything moreover Judah was the king and ruler over the rest of the tribes therefore he who accomplished the whole work of the tabernacle issued from him it was explained that Betzalel means in the shadow had Betzalel El who dwells in the shadow of El the right side as Shesed is called El from his side did he construct everything and he inherited the wisdom to accomplish all the work 37 and with him was a holy of son of a of the tribe of Dan but 23 he is of the left side of rigorous judgment for Dan indicates judgment had been we already explained that by these two sides right and left the tabernacle was made which is Malchut it was built and tied to them so it may be between right and left and this was already taught and explained section 5 beautiful for situation the joy of the whole earth Rabbi Yehuda says that when God created the world he threw a precious stone down from underneath the throne of glory it fell into the abyss and one end of it stuck out this is now the foundation of the world from this point are three circles of expansion the first is clear and pure and corresponds to the temple in Jerusalem the second is delicate and clear though not so pure as the innermost circle and corresponds to all of Israel the third is all the rest of the world the ocean surrounds them all this schema is also the secret of all the colors in the eye that's around the middle point that gives the power of vision to the whole eye this is like the holy of holies the ark and the seat of mercy this point is the means of sight for the whole world the people who merit forgiveness and mercy go into the temple until they reach the middle point that is beautiful of situation the joy of the whole earth Mount Zion 38 he opened the discussion and said beautiful for situation the joy of it Whole earth Mount Zion the sides of the north the city of the great king Tehillim 483 come and see when the Holy One blessed be he created the world he threw one precious stone from beneath the throne of glory it fell down to the abyss where one edge was stuck and the other edge of the stone was up this other head which stood upward is the one point standing in the middle of the universe whence it spreads right and left and in all directions and the world exists by that middle point called foundation have Shiyat is from it the world spreads in all directions we have to explain further that Shiyat consists of Shadya and Yah has put and that the Holy One blessed be he put have Shadat to be the foundation of the universe and the plant of everything 39 the earth was spread in three ways around the point which is Malchut found in the innermost part of this world in the first expansion around the point there is all the clarity and purity on earth it is above the earth Around that point the second expansion is around the first one it is not as clear and pure but is delicate and clear regarding the transparency of the dust more than any other dust the third expansion is dark and its dust is thicker than the rest around which are the waters of the ocean that surrounds the world it is found that this point stands in the center and all matters of world expansion in circle at 40 he explains what he said the first expansion is the temple all its chambers enclosures courts and all that appertains also Jerusalem and the city inside the walls therefore it is clearer and purer than the rest of the land the second expansion is all of the land of Israel that was sanctified in holiness the third expansion is the rest of the earth the dwelling place of the other nations and the ocean surrounds it all 41 it was already explained that this is the secret of the colors in the eye surrounding the middle point in the eye which gives the power of vision to the whole eye it is like the middle point in the
said this is my resting place forever. Section 6. These are the accounts of the tabernacle. Part 2. Rabbi Shizkiah says that although the craftsmen began work on the temple, it was finished on its own, and although God began work on the creation of the heavens and the earth, they were finished on their own as evidence for this. He points out that all the verses pertaining to these events are in the passive tense and concludes that all holy work is completed of its. On the court, he turns to the account of Betzalel and Haliath working on the temple and reiterates that this was a union of right and left. Next, Rabbi Yisa tells us that the accounts were taken of the tabernacle because this confirmed the work when it was finished. This accounting supersedes all previous events in the world. 44. Come and see when all the craftsmen began their work. The very work they started was finished on its own. They started and it was finished on its own. From where do we know? That from the verse thus was all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting finished. Shema 3932 meaning that it was finished on its own. 45. In the same manner the heavens and the earth were finished. Bereshit 21 meaning that they were completed on their own. You may say it is written and by the seventh day Elohim ended it. But hence Elohim completed them and they did not complete themselves. Assuredly this is so for though the works were completed one by one nevertheless the world was not altogether complete before the arrival of the seventh day for when the seventh day arrived all the works were completed and the Holy One blessed be he completed the universe this is the meaning of and by the seventh day Elohim ended his work which he had done and by the seventh day all the work he had done was complete therefore by the seventh day Elohim ended his work 46 when the temple was built all the work was done on its own the craftsmen began and the work showed them how it should be done and it was traced and completed of its own accord it was also written and the house when it was built I may lashim 67 not when they built it but when it was built because it was built on its own it is further written was built of stone made ready before it was brought there but was built and not they built it so all work which is holy is completed on its own accord 47 and Betzalel the son of Uri the son of Shishema 3822 we learned by this verse that the Holy Spirit proclaimed concerning this verse before the eyes of Israel and said that Salal the son of Uri the son of Shah of the tribe of Judah did all that Hashem commanded Moses and with him Haliaf son of Gizamash he asks what is the meaning of and with him and he replies we learned that Haliaf did not do the work alone but with Betzalel he did what he did this is the meaning of with him and not on his own for Betzalel is right and Haliaf is left from here we learned that the left is always included in the right therefore it is written I have given with him Haliaf Shema 316 the one is right and the other left and left is included in the right 48 these are the accounts of the tabernacle the tabernacle of the testimony as they were counted according to the commandment of Moses Shema 3821 Rabbi Yesus said since all the wise men made the tabernacle there was need of counting all the works done in it what is the reason each account by being made confirmed the work done and it remained in place 49 and all Israel as at first they wanted to donate so they wanted that account meaning that by their wish they drew the mokin of these accounting and all the work prevailed by that which therefore there was need of accounting in the tabernacle since through it the work is confirmed it is therefore written these namely these are the accounts and not and these because wherever it is written these whatever was written before is annulled and that account and else all the previous accounts in the world prevails more than the rest and the tabernacle exists by that and not by another section 7 and he shall be the faithfulness of your times rabbi yesus says that the faithful should tune themselves to the name of heaven so that malchud will unite with zir and your times refers to the time set aside for studying the torah and faithfulness refers to malchud as strength of salvation consists of both judgment and Mercy, wisdom, and knowledge means that wisdom is only revealed through knowledge. The fear of Hashem is his treasure means that God lets out all his streams accounting for them carefully. We hear of several reasons that Malchut is called faithfulness. Rabbi Yesa concludes that God let Israel know the faithfulness of those who built the tabernacle. 50 He opened the discussion and said, And he shall be the faithfulness of your times. The strength of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of Hashem is his treasure. Yeshua 336. This verse was explained by the friends, but we learned that whoever is occupied in the Torah in this world and merits in setting times for it should be in faithfulness. Set his mind upon the Holy One. Blessed be his Eir and tune himself to the name of heaven so that Malchut called name will be united with heaven's Eir and because faithfulness which is Malchut is attuned to this to become united with Eir and this is the secret of the verse. Faithfulness of your times, your times refers to the time set for the study of the Torah's Eir and, and faithfulness referring to Malchut so that the two may join the strength of salvation comprises judgment and mercy for strength is judgment and salvation is mercy wisdom and knowledge the two dwell one upon the other for Chakma is hidden and concealed and they should dwell one upon the other namely Chakma is not revealed save by Dayat 51 the fear of Hashem is his treasure it is the treasure of all those grades since that fear of Hashem which is Malchut called fear of Hashem receives all the streams namely those said grades and becomes a treasure storehouse to them all and when all that were hidden in an issue it lets them out by accounting from where do we know that from the verse your eyes like the pools in Hashem and account sure Hasherim 75 for it does things by reckoning and lets out pools of water the grades it received carefully letting all out with Account 52 since in Malchut all is done with reckoning which is the secret of Chakma that sustains everything she is called faithfulness meaning fidelity and sustenance there are more reasons why Malchut is called faithfulness for all these reasons it is called faithfulness as we already explained if in here in the supernal Sphira and grades that Malchut receives one should see faithfulness namely illuminate them according to the secret of account according to the secret of it. Verse the fear of Hashem is his treasure as was discussed and in the matters of the world by the corrections of Malchut herself called world in the secret of the vessels of the tabernacle how much more so one needs to account and to show faithfulness that are the mystery of sustenance as mentioned therefore the Holy One blessed be he let Israel know the secret of faithfulness of those who made the tabernacle and all that they did in the secret of the verse these are the accounts of it. Tabernacle and everything is already explained. Section 8 The name Betzalel caused Rabbi Yossi and Rabbi Yitzhak are walking together. Rabbi Yossi says that God chose Betzalel to build the temple because of his name that means in the shadow of El, El being the name of Jesus. He adds that God made names on earth because they have significance. To further this argument, he says that Judah started building the left side and the tabernacle was constructed of left end. Right in the same way, the Torah Tiferet started on the left side, Bura and joined the right. Jesus Reuben started building on the right and turned to the left to bring in the tribe Shimon and Gad. We hear that God gave Betzalel wisdom because he was already was hearted. Rabbi Shimon turns to like the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight and his fruit was sweet to my taste. He says that under his shadow refers. To Betzalel and his fruit refers to the souls of the righteous since they are the fruit of God's deeds. Finally the verse all the gold that was applied is explained as meaning that the gold that was supplied for the tabernacle already existed above in each work that was holy. There was gold 53 Rabbi Yossi and Rabbi Yitzhak were walking along the way. Rabbi Yossi said assuredly the Holy One blessed be he wanted Betzalel to do the work of the tabernacle more than the rest of Israel. He asks why he told him it was because of his name for he was called Betzalel Betzalel and in the shadow of El and El is the name of Jesus. It was already explained that the Holy One blessed be he placed names Hashemot on earth to be adorned by them and to do there the work of this world as it is written who has made desolations Hashemot in the earth. Tehillim 469 meaning that it is incumbent by Hashem upon men to call by name on earth. 54 he told him there is a secret here Judah is of it. Left side being of Malchut which is constructed by the left side then he joined the right Zeir and, and therefore the tabernacle was built on that side starting on the left side and joining the right side afterwards they were combined together and all was done from the right in the same manner the Torah which is Tiferet started on the left side for Tiferet receives the emanation of Bura which is left and joins the right Jesus they were combined together and all became right Reuben started on the right for Reuben was Jesus and turned to the left to take under his banner the rest of the tribes Shimon and Gad that are of the left for he started on the right and turned left 55 he explains what he said Judah started from the left side for he is of Malchut which is built by the
With so is my beloved among the sons I sat down under his shadow with great delight and his fruit was sweet to my taste. Sure Hasherim 23 under his shadow Hepzol refers to Betzalel who prepared the tabernacle and constructed it as it is written I sat down with delight for it is delightful to sit in the tabernacle and it delights the congregation of Israel and the congregation of Israel sits under the shadow of El. This is the meaning of Betzalel 58 and his fruit was sweet to my taste. Zeirn and produced good fruit to the world as it is written from me is your fruit found. Hashia 149 what is a fruit it is the souls of the righteous that are the fruit of the deeds of the Holy One. Blessed be he for the river that went out of Eden which is Yezid of Zeirn and pulls out and casts souls into the world and they are the fruit of the Holy One. Blessed be he that is why it is written his fruit was sweet to my taste as we explained 59 in his shadow refers to Betzalel. Therefore the tabernacle was constructed by Betzalel that is why it is written Betzalel the son of Uri the son of Sheshema 3822 the son of Uri is of the light of the sun coming out the son of Uri is the right the son of She is of the left therefore it was by him that the judgment of the Holy One blessed be he was completed during the golden calf for he was killed by the mixed multitude 60 all the gold that was applied Shema 3824 from the time Israel gave it it was already prepared and worked above by the holy work what is the reason that on each great gold was arranged for there is no wholeness but by judgment and mercy therefore the gold was present in all the work of the tabernacle namely in all the grades of Malchut and in each work that was holy there was gold and gold was in everything section 9 when the wicked sprout like grass Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Yusi and Rabbi Shizkiah are studying the Torah together and Rabbi Shizkiah Wonders why God is so patient in judging the wicked. He says that Rabbi Shimon told him this is because the judgment that God desires is a clear, loving, and joyful judgment. He does not want the judgment of defilement, therefore, he doesn't mix the two. He will refrain from judging the wicked until evil is lost from the world to come. Then Rabbi Shimon talks about when the wicked sprout like grass and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever and explains that the wicked shall be severed from their roots. One more explanation of God's patience is that this world is part of the other side and it is opposed to the world to come. That is part of the side of holiness. One is destined for the wicked and the other for the righteous. 61 Rabbi Abba and Rabbi Yusi and Rabbi Shizkiah were sitting and studying the Torah. Rabbi Shizkiah said to Rabbi Abba, Indeed, we see that the Holy One blessed be he desires to have judgment upon everything so the two will. Mix together judgment and mercy, nevertheless, he withholds judgment from the wicked of the world. Why, if he is desirous of judgment, remove it from the evil. Namely, why is he so patient? He said to him, How many mountains wise men have been uprooted by this, not knowing the true meaning thereof? But the holy luminary revealed several things concerning the matter. 62 Come and see the judgment that the holy one blessed be he is desirous of is a clear judgment that stirs love and joy. Namely, the judgment of the left column after joining the right column to become the secret of the one that makes glad Elohim and men and is also the secret of gold. But the wicked one in the world are under judgment of defilement. The judgment which the holy one blessed be he does not want at all. Therefore, there must not be mixing of the holy judgment with the defiled judgment until the defiled judgment is exterminated of itself and causes evil to be lost from the world to come for the defiled judgment in. It causes it to be destroyed. 63 He opened the discussion and said, When the wicked sprout like grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. Tehillim 928 This verse was explained. Nevertheless, come and see. The wicked sprout like grass means just as grass on dry land becomes dry, and when it is given water, it blooms, and the dryness disappears like a country when it flourishes again, grows only side branches growing upwards, but never a whole tree as was before. Namely, the workers of iniquity flourish, and all that happens, so they shall be destroyed forever. That is, they will be severed from their root and from everything else. 64 There is yet another secret in this why the Holy One, blessed be He, is long suffering with the wicked in this world. It is because this world is the portion of the other side, and the world to come is part of the side of holiness, and the portion of the righteous where they will be adorned by the crown of. The glory of their master, these two sides stand the one against the other, the world to come, the side of holiness, and this world, the other side of defilement. This is destined for the righteous and that for the wicked, and all this corresponds to all that happy are the righteous who have no part in this world but in the world to come. Section 10 The 42 sacrifices of Balak when Balak made his sacrifice, he intended to placate God because he had killed so many people. God did not accept the sacrifice, nor did the other side. Those who were to be punished were cursed in Hashem's name, but until now they have not been punished, nor have the sacrifices been accepted by either side. The sacrifice offered was to propitiate the other side, but it has not done so, and nor has it met with God's blessing. 65 Come and see all is predisposed and revealed before the Holy One, blessed be he, though Balak and Balaam did not mean to devote their sacrifices for the Holy One, blessed. Be he at all is established before him and he does not reduce their reward at all in this world at that time they had power over Israel by their sacrifice which caused 24,000 people from Israel to pass away besides those who were killed as it is written slay every one of his men that have attached themselves to Baal Pier Bimid Bar 255 and take all the chiefs of the people and hang them up before Hashem but before and even now that sacrifice impends upon Israel to cause misfortune they built seven altars and offered sacrifices upon them 42 and all 66 Rabbi Shimon said come and see Balak and Balaam offered 42 sacrifices and took them from the other side to the Holy One blessed be he therefore that sacrifice is impending until it is taken by the other side called curse from Israel until now he has not taken it from them and this is the secret of and he turned back and looked at them to Melashim 223 at the boys who jeered at him and said to him go up bald head and he turned back namely to the back of the Shechina because the other side stands at the back and looked at them he looked and saw in those 42 boys the other side called curse and saw that they deserved to be punished therefore he cursed them in the name of Hashem Abed 24 in order to remove the name of Hashem from the dead namely the dead of the sacrifice that the other side offered him namely by Balak and Balaam and all was made right before the Holy One blessed be he and nothing is lost before the Holy One blessed be he in the same manner everything stands before the Holy One blessed be he both good and evil section 11 all the gold that was applied for the work Rabbi Shimon says that David sinned greatly when he ran from Saul causing so many thousands to be killed including all the priests except Abitar the sin still goes unpunished he tells us that the title verse means that God took the gold the people gave for the tabernacle as expiation for their sin of creating the golden calf, finally he explains that Moses and Betzalel combined above and below Tiferet with Yezid while Betzalel and Haliath combined right and left Jesus and Bura so that the tabernacle was a union of upper and lower left and right. 67 Come and see when David ran from Saul he caused all the priests in Nob to perish all but Abitar who escaped and he caused much misfortune to Israel in that Saul and his sons died and thousands and tens of thousands from Israel fell but notwithstanding that sin was hanging over David to cause him misfortune until the day all his sons perished in one day and no one was left save Yoash who was stolen by Yehoshua daughter of Urim in the same manner no one was left from Kimelech save Abitar alone until this day that sin impends to punish Nob for the sin of Nob as it is written this very day he will halt at Nob 1032 and this was already explained 68 likewise all the gold that was applied for the work Shema 3824 what is the meaning of applied it means that here the Holy One blessed be he saw Israel giving gold for the calf and he applied the gold as a remedy beforehand by putting the gold for the tabernacle before the gold for the calf for all the gold they had with them and about them they donated to the tabernacle for could you possibly imagine that they had gold when they made the calf and that they would take the gold off their ears as it is written and all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears Shema 323 he therefore took first the gold of the donation to expiate for the making of the calf 69 and Betzalel the son of Uri the son of Shah of the tribe of Judah Shema 3822 of the aspect of Malchut made all that Hashem commanded Moses before all the craftsmanship of the tabernacle was prepared through them by their hands Betzalel performed the work
were destined to cause a great deal of evil in Yisrael he compares the title verse to but his wife looked back from behind him saying it means behind the Shechan next he quotes and there came forth two bears out of the wood meaning that there were female bears with male cubs lastly he says that when the bears tore 42 of the children this counteracted the sacrifices of Balak 70 and all the gold that was applied for the work in all the work of the holy place Shema 3824 Rabbi Yussi Open the discussion with the story of Elisha it is written and he went up from there to Bethel and as he was going up by the way some small boys to Melashim 223 it has been said that they were small have any Aram empty had Niram of words of Torah or its precepts small as they were of little faith and they were guilty according to the law of this world and of the world to come they came out of the city of believing the secret of the faith which is Malchut that is called city it is written here came out of the city and there and I will not enter the city Hashia 119 in both cases it means Malchut 71 and he turned back and looked at them to Melashim 224 turned back means he looked back to see whether they would repent or not and looked at them means he saw that it is not worthy that a good seed issue from them and this was explained and looked at them that they were conceived on the night of Yom Kippur day of atonement that their mother conceived then. Immediately he cursed them in the name of Hashem Bibit 72 and there is a mystery in this verse and he turned back meaning that he looked at them whether he would be punished for them and turned away from it also Aaron turned Bimidbar 1210 from leprosy here also turned means he turned from their punishment and he looked at them meaning that he saw that they are destined to cause much evil in Israel 73 and he turned back is similar to but his wife looked back from behind. Mbersheet 1926 what does behind him mean it means behind the Shechina here also he turned back behind the Shechina and saw that their mothers all conceived at the night in charge of the atonement of the sins of Israel namely at the night of Yom Kippur immediately he cursed them in the name of Hashem it is written and there came forth two bears out of the wood to Melashim 224 he asks why is it written two fem bears mask because they were female bears and their cubs were with them and therefore it says bears MASC and tour 42 of the children this was established to counteract the sacrifices of Balak section 13 gold from below upwards and silver from above downwards we learned that in even the gold of the wave offering wave always means lifting upward not drawing downward and that this term applies to gold and brass but not silver silver is hasidim and it can be drawn downward but whenever gold descends its beauty and light are dim gold needs to be raised but silver needs to be spread downward as in and the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation Rabbi Shimon turns to for Hashem Elohim is a sun and shield saying that the sun is the secret of Yod Hey and the shield is the secret of the holy name Elohim together a sun and shield are the union of Zer and Ben and Malchut a similar meaning is deduced from Hashem will give grace and honor we are told that God conceals the primordial light from the wicked but never withholds it from those who walk upright therefore the first light does not move upward it spreads downward and is revealed to them Rabbi Shimon says when the priest spreads his hands in blessing the Shechina comes to him and fills his hands then the priest raises his right hand above his left and everything is blessed by the source of all the world to come the candles are lit and all blessings are drawn from above 74 even the gold of the wave offering Shema 3824 he asks why the term the gold of the wave offering does not apply to silver and answers two are called thus wave gold and wave brass but not wave silver only these are so called gold and brass for the term alludes to going upward for what is down below among the clipot is not wave gold because the other side draws chakma of the left from above downward and it is not wave like holiness always wave means lifting upward and not bringing downward but silver is chesedim and it is Permitted to draw it downward, therefore it is not written wave silver 75. This is the mystery of the reckoning, namely the illumination of Chakma called reckoning. All the grades and chariots are waving that is illuminating from below upward. This is wave gold, this gold is the illumination of Chakma. Whenever it descends, its beauty and light are dim, but when the gold is waved from below upward, it becomes good gold in the mystery of its light, and all the gold which is drawn down is dross and refuse, namely a clip and the other side 76. And the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation of it is not written wave silver since silver, which is the light of Chesedim of the right column in its descent, is also good, and though it is not waved from below upward, nevertheless it is good, but gold the illumination of Chakma of the left column, whatever of it that descends is worsened for that reason, the gold needs to be waved and raised, and silver needs. Spreading downward in all directions because it is all for the good 77 he opened the discussion and said for Hashem Elohim is a sun and shield Tehillim 8412 the sun is the holy one blessed be he and the shield is the holy one blessed be he, he explains the sun is the secret of the holy name Yadhav Hazeir and where all the great stand at ease and the shield is the secret of the holy name Elohim Malchut this is the secret meaning of the verse I am your shield Bereshit 151 is I which is Malchut called I.S. your shield the sun and the shield are the secret of the whole name which indicates that Zeir and Ben and Malchut are united Hashem will give grace and honor Tehillim 8412 for Elohim will be a shield and Yud Hav will give grace and honor and so all will become one secret namely though grace and honor are drawn at ease and the shield is drawn vigorously by whoever is beset by enemies and they merge into one principle the joining of Yud Hav and Elohim. 78 He withholds no goodness from these who walk upright of it. This is the secret of the verse, and from the wicked their light is withheld. Eo 3815 Therefore it is said that from those who walk upright no good thing will he withhold, referring to the first light which is Jesus of which it is written, and Elohim saw the light that it was good. Bereshit 14 And the Holy One blessed be he had uncovered it as explained from the wicked he concealed and withheld it in this world and in the world. To come but it is written of the righteous no good thing will he withhold from those who walk upright. This refers to the primordial light as it is written, and Elohim saw the light that it was good. 79 Therefore it, the first light needs not go up from below and be waved, but rather to spread and be revealed unlike the other one of the left gold as discussed for that reason gold is called wave and not silver and that is why it is written and the silver off congregation was a hundred. Talents Shema 3825 and not the wave silver 80 come and see the right side stands in readiness always to sustain the world to shine and bless it therefore the priest who is of the right side Chesed is always in readiness to bless the people for all the benedictions in the world come of the right side and the priest is the first to take that is why the priest is appointed to bless above and below namely Chesed above and the priest below 81 come and see when the priest spreads his hands to bless the people the Shechina comes and dwells upon him and fills his hands he raises his right hand above the left hand in order to raise the right above the left and all the grades over which he spreads his hands are blessed by the source of all what is the source of the well it is the righteous which is yet the source of all is the world to come by whence all faces all can illuminate for it is the source and spring of all whence all the candles and lights are lit 82. In the same manner what was said of Bina is also said of the source and spring of the well is it that all the lower candles namely the Sfirot of Malchut are illuminated and filled with its lights and it is it faces that Bina is Bina is a source that gives affluence to everything so yes it is a source giving to Malchut for that reason when the priest spreads his hands and starts to bless the people high blessings dwell from the supernal source Bina and candles are lit and all the faces illuminate and the congregation of Israel which is Malchut is adorned with high crowns and all blessings come down and are drawn from above downward section 14 counting and numbers Rabbi Shimon returns in his discussion to the building of the tabernacle in itself the union of Tiferet and the holy covenant since all of this building was done in the secret of the right the evil eye has no power whenever the right side is present the silver and the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation is not written as wave silver so it poured from above downward Rabbi Yitzhak asks since there are no blessings in anything that has been counted why were the things in the tabernacle counted Rabbi Shimon answers that whenever the purpose of the counting is to sanctify there is holiness in it just as the tithe is blessed blessings are withheld from the other counted things so that no blessings can come to the other side nor will any reach the evil eye. Rabbi Shimon explains the implications of the fact that the evil eye has no power over the seat of Joseph and five rabbis meet together on the road and begin talking Rabbi Lazar says the eyes of Hashem are toward the righteous and his ears are open to their cry yet many righ
the rest being numbered by a different account 83 come and see Moses ordered and Betzalel executed so that all may be in the secret of the body the secret of Moses who is Tiferet and the final part of the body the holy covenant which is Betzalel so as to increase the love and bond of the unison in the tabernacle which is Malchut all was done in the secret of the right and therefore wherever the right side is present the evil eye has no sway that is why it is written and the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation Shema 3825 for it was numbered and counted in the secret of the illumination of Chakma and it was not written wave silver because the silver comes of the right side Chisa and therefore everything was numbered this is the mystery of comprising the left column and the reason it is poured from above downward 84 Rabbi Yitzhak asked Rabbi Shimon we established that blessing does not dwell on anything that was measured or counted if so in relation to the tabernacle why was everything counted he said to him indeed we learned this already but any place upon which there dwells the side of holiness namely that it is drawn from the central column combining right and left if the counting is from the holy side blessing will be upon it always never to pass away we know it from the tithe because since the purpose of the counting is to sanctify there is blessing in it all the more so the tabernacle which is holy and pertains to the side of Holiness 85, but the rest of worldly matters not coming from the side of holiness no blessing dwells upon them when counted for the other side which is evil eyed can have power over it and since it can have power over it there is no blessing therein in order that no blessings will reach that evil eyed 86 blessings are always added to measurement of holiness and counting of holiness and therefore it is written and the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation meaning that it was counted by them that were numbered of the congregation in truth and there should be no fear of the evil eye for that reckoning since blessings hover over all from above 87 come and see the evil eye has no power over the seed of Joseph since it comes of the right side therefore the tabernacle was constructed by Betzalel who dwelt in the mystery of Joseph being the secret of the holy covenant namely he was of Yezid and Yezid is called Joseph therefore Moses orders and Betzalel. Execute so all may be in the secret of the body Moses namely Tiferet and the final part of the body Betzalel who is yet at the sign of the holy covenant so as to increase love and the bond of union in the tabernacle Malchut and all was done according to the secret of the right and that is why it is written and the silver numbered of the congregation because that reckoning is the reckoning of the great grades in charge namely the first three Sfirah combined on the right side therefore it is written a hundred talents of it to indicate the ten Sfirah each including ten together with the first three eighty eight Rabbi Abba and Rabbi Acha and Rabbi Yossi were walking from Tiberias to Tsipri as they were walking they saw Rabbi Lazar coming together with Rabbi Shi Rabbi Abba said surely we shall be joined with the Shechinah they waited for them and when they arrived Rabbi Lazar said it is written the eyes of Hashem are towards the righteous and his ears are open to their cry 3416 This verse is hard to explain what is the meaning of the eyes of Hashem are towards the righteous if it means that the Holy One blessed be he takes care of them to help them in this world yet we see so many righteous in this world who cannot get as much food as the crows in the field what is the meaning then of the eyes of Hashem are towards the righteous 89 he answers this is a secret come and see all the creatures in the world are known above either as of the side of holiness or of that other side those who are known by the holy side are always under its protection and those that are known by the side of defilement are always under its control and where the holy side has sway the other side has not and may never approach nor thrust him from his place or occupation by any means about this it is written the eyes of Hashem are towards the righteous for which reason the other side cannot rule over them and there is help from heaven and good providence from above and the other side and all that is evil may not rule over you. 90 Rabbi Abba said but we have learned that wherever the holy side abides though there is reckoning still blessings are not withheld from that place. Rabbi Lazar said assuredly this is so he said to him Yisrael is holy and come from the holy side as it is written Yisrael is holy to Hashem your Mayot 23 and you shall be holy for I Hashem your Elohim am holy. Vayikra 192 why then when David counted Yisrael was there death among them. As it is written so Hashem sent a pestilence upon Yisrael from the morning even to the time appointed to Shmuel 2415 91 he told him it happened since David did not take shekels from them as ransom as it is written and shall they give every man a ransom for his soul to Hashem when you number them that there be no plague among them when you number them Shema 3012 for holiness is in need of holy ransom and that ransom of holiness was not taken from them come and see Israel is holiness. Without numbering and therefore a ransom should be taken from them and that ransom is to be counted while they are not 92 what is the reason holiness is a secret higher than all the grades of mystery of supernal Abba and IMA as this holiness is superior to all and outside it there is another holiness beneath it Yisrael, Saba and Tabuna covering supernal Abba and IMA from outside subject to numbering and accounting so is Yisrael holiness as it is written Yisrael is holy to Hashem and they give another holiness their ransom that is subject to numbering this is a secret Yisrael is a tree standing inside opposite supernal Abba and IMA and the ransom given is another holiness standing outside and counted corresponding to Yisrael, Saba and Tabuna the one is shielding the other they went on 93 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion and said and the number of the children of Yisrael shall be like the sand of the sea which cannot be measured or numbered Hashia 21 he asks what is the meaning of the sand of the sea and he answers that there are two meanings the first is that the sand of the sea means when the sea raises its waves wrathfully and the waves rise to flood the world when they reach and see the sand they are broken immediately and return quietly and have no power to have control over and flood the world 94 in the same manner Israel is like the sand of the sea when the other nations which are like the furious waves of the sea of severe judgment see Israel bound to the holy one blessed be he they return back and are broken before them and cannot rule the world another meaning is that like the sand of the sea that cannot be numbered or measured as it is written which cannot be measured or numbered so is Israel who is not numbered nor subject to reckoning 95 come and see there is a secret and hidden measurement the secret of Abba and IMA and there is reckoning in a hidden place concealed and stored which is the secret of Israel. Saba and Tabuna and it may be measured and numbered this is the secret of sustenance above and below for the measurement in Abba and Ima namely the amount of Shesedim and the secret of its execution is never known and also we may not know the basis of the secret of the reckoning in Yisrael. Saba and Tabuna this is the secret of the faith of all 96 Yisrael below are not subject to reckoning but only in a different aspect namely covered Shesedim the ransom they give corresponding to Yisrael. Saba and Tabuna is subject to accounting and for that reason whenever Yisrael are counted ransom is taken from them as we said therefore at the time of David when he counted Yisrael and did not take ransom there was wrath and many hosts and legions of Yisrael perished 97 for that reason it is written concerning the building of the tabernacle and the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation for everyone that went to be numbered Shema 3825 namely in that said. Reckoning all was consecrated to the construction of the tabernacle it was established that the talents a hundred talents of it 27 belong to one account and the shekels 8775 of it 28 are another account for the superior ones are numbered by a supernal account namely the lights of Israel, Saba and Tabuna the secret of Bina the high reckoning are the secret of talents others are numbered by a different account that is the accounts in Zeir and that shines upon Malchut the one above and the other below that is why it is written and of the hundred talents of silver were cast the sockets have of the sanctuary and these sockets were already explained to be the secret of the whole Malchut called Adonai that receives from the high reckoning namely from Bina section 15 unless Hashem builds the house we are told that King Solomon saw that the work was finished by the hands of the craftsmen but was actually Constructed by God the most important part of the labor is what Bina made and if this is not included the work is done in vain then he speaks about behold it is his litter that of Solomon sixty valiant men are around it the mighty men of Israel saying that the litter is the secret of Malchut and it is all guarded because of the fear of Gehenom all the men stand around it and they are all inside the illumination of the incomprehensible thought Rabbi Shimon talks about the nine temples that emanate from that thought saying that they are not lights nor spirits nor souls and cannot be comprehended he says that the head of Eric Enpin is called thought but it is not
On its own then he said unless Hashem builds the house he referred to the secret of the verse in the beginning Elohim created Beershi 11 for the Holy One blessed be he created and furnished this world namely Malchut with all that is needed 99 they who build it labor in vain Talim 1272 his builders are the secret of those rivers of Sfirat of Zeir and been going out of and into this house Malchut to prepare whatever is needed and though all come to fix and construct it surely before. Hashem who is the secret of the high world Bina who prepared and made the house as it should be all who build it labor in vain for the most important part is what Bina made and prepared unless Hashem keeps the city of it as it is written the eyes of Hashem your Elohim are always upon it from the beginning of the year to the end of the year Devarim 1112 it was explained that by that watchfulness it is kept on all sides 100 and it is written behold it is his litter that of Solomon. 60 valiant men are rounded the mighty men of Israel. Sure Hashirim 37 the litter of Solomon is the secret of Malchut and they all guard it why do they guard it because of the fear by night of Adate this is the fear of Gehenom that is before it and so that it would be rejected all are standing around it 101 all are inside the illumination of the incomprehensible thought and that light of the not known thought strikes the veil and they illuminate together and become nine temples. 102 These temples are not lights nor Rushat Ang spirits nor Neshamat Ang souls and there is no one to comprehend them the will of these nine lights all within the thought that is counted as one of them is to chase the nine temples and grasp them while they are within the thought but they do not grasp nor become known because these pertain to neither will nor to supernal thought they grasp them for they get mokin from them yet do not grasp them for they cannot be comprehended all the Secrets of the faith are within them and all the lights coming from the secret of the supernal thought that is underneath are called the endless world for this far do the lights reach yet do not reach nor become known for there is no will nor thought in here 103 when thought shines it is not known by whose light for the thought is not grasped and its light is covered and closed inside Bina for Bina cannot receive Chakma without Jesidim and therefore the light is concealed in it. Later it shone upon whoever it shines meaning that Jesidim shone and entered one another for Chakma and Jesidim were included within one another until everything was included together this was already explained and the secret of the offering is that when all goes up everything is bound together and they shine the one within the other for the lower rises to the higher and joins it and by that receives supernal mokin for all that is low rises to the higher and the higher shines upon it. Lower than all the grades rise to the high one and the thought mounts and is crowned by the endless light and the light with which the supernal thought is shining is called the endless world 104 once thought is shining and powers were expanded from it, namely Bina that went up to it received Chakma from it, and expanded downward it became concealed stored and unknown because of itself it is closed and does not shine at all upon the lower beings and therefom it expanded in all directions and spread in the one expansion which is the secret of the supernal world namely Bina said 105 and the supernal world is subject to questioning which is the supernal utterance namely Bina it was established that it is called who have me as it is written lift up your eyes on high and behold who have me has created these Yeshayah 4026 that is that question created these for who Bina created these the six fire of Zeir and then M-I-M-E-M-Y-U-D expanded and became. I see Habyam Yam the ending of all the grades being below in Malchut and from there Bina it started to build below in Malchut and all that it did in Malchut was exactly as is done above in Bina the one corresponding to the other because Bina protects everything above and below 106 this expansion the supernal world comes from thought because everything that spreads from thought is Bina called the supernal world this is the meaning of unless Hashem keeps the city the watchman stays awake in vain Tehillim 1271 who is the keeper of Israel namely Zeir Anpin for keeping does not proceed from Zeir Anpin but from the supernal world Bina as was explained before 107 come and see the blue in the tabernacle everything is sustained by a high mystery blue Malchut and purple Tiferet are bound to one another so that Zeir Anpin and Malchut will be united and we have learned the secret of the verse for Hashem your Elohim is a consuming fire Devarim 424 that there is a fire. That consumes fire eats and extinguishes it the one fire being stronger than the other the ending is missing it may be found in Beershi 248 minus 269 section 16 and the 1775 Rabbi Shimon says that Moses forgot about the shekels in and of the 1775 shekels he made hooks for the pillars and overlaid their capitals until a resounding voice reminded him of them Rabbi Shizkiah opens with while the king was reclining at his board my heart sent forth its fragrance this refers to Bina when he gave the Torah to Israel and went to Sinai accompanied by many sacred chariots we hear about all the letters in the Torah soaring and rising up in the air how they were formed and what their value is and that the bobs were the 1775 lights the high bob is the resounding voice since the Torah comes out of that inner voice this great voice is the secret of it. Holy name next Rabbi Shizkiah turns to the great flood where God told Noah you should be careful not to show yourself to the destroyer the angel of death so he would not have power over you because there was no one to protect him but when Noah offered the sacrifice the world became perfumed this perfume was increased when Israel stood on Mount Sinai and the destroyer was no longer present in the world God wanted at that time to do away with the destroyer forever but in a few days Israel sent by making the golden cap thus allowing the destroyer to rule the world again Rabbi Yossi asks who put the destroyer in the world since everyone was destroyed in the flood Rabbi Shimon answers that the presence of judgment means that the destroyer must be there to walk among the judgments he says that the destroyer was named flood and this is why God told Noah to hide himself referring again to the title verse Rabbi Laser wonders why he made hooks hearing then from Rabbi Shimon that they were in the shape of bobs meaning that they came from the central column Rabbi Yitzhak isn't certain whether the verse is talking about secular or supernal matters and decides it must be secular Rabbi Shimon disagrees and adds that secular matters do not come from the side of holiness it is important to know the difference between holiness and the mundane even so profanity has a fraction of holiness in it from the left side there is now quite a bit of discussion about thousand in various meanings leading to thoughts about how long Israel may be in exile Rabbi Shimon adds that wherever there is bob in the holy name there is mercy and gives some examples he tells how judgment was executed in the destruction of SDOM but the whole world was not destroyed as it was in the flood wherever the name Elohim is used it means judgment alone not tempered with mercy when the name Hashem is used it means judgment tempered with mercy only Elohim was present at the flood we are told how God is both concealed and revealed and how people draw blessings when their utterances are concealed then we hear that while the king was reclining at his board means that he was reveling in the supernal Eden my heart sent forth its fragrance alludes to the last sea that is filled from that Eden and that created the lower world as a reflection of the higher one when the heart sends an odor upwards the holy chariots receive the wonderful odor and send it further upward it being in the nature of odors to rise the chariots since they transmit the odors higher are called maidens of song since the word alema derives from not revealed finally Rabbi Shimon explains the significance of all the numbers in the title verse emphasizing 1770 and 5 all of them pertaining to various combinations of Sfirat 108 and of the 1775 shekels he made hooks for the pillars and overlaid their capitals Shema 3828 come and see we Learn that Moses forgot these shekels and knew not what became of them until a voice resounded saying and of the 1775 shekels he made hooks for the pillars 109 Rabbi Shizkiah opened the discussion with the verse while the king was reclining at his board my heart sent forth its fragrance Sure Hashirim 112 this was already explained yet while the king was reclining at his board refers to the holy one blessed be he by when he gave the Torah to Israel and came to Sinai many chariots were with him all of them sacred the secret of the left column and all the high sanctifications from the sanctification of the Torah the secret of the right column all were there the Torah which is the secret of the central column was given with flaming fire and all was of the side of fire written by white fire of the side of Chesed upon black fire of the side of Bura for the central column is comprised of Chesed and Bura right and left and it Letters were soaring and rising up in the air in the mystery of the air the lower grade sword and rose to the higher ones 110 and the first letter of the Torah was divided into 775 on each side and all were seen in the air of the firmament by the letter Bob Bob on
Side namely they illuminate the four directions Jesus, Bura and Tiferet and Malchut on these pillars the hooks stand 112 the high bob is the secret of a resounding voice which is Zeir and upon the secret the Torah is established since the Torah which is Zeir and comes out of that inner voice within Bina called the great voice and a great voice in Bina is the secret of the Torah that issues from IT therefore it is written the great voice which was not heard again Devarim 519 for. The Torah issued from IT 113 come and see this great voice is the main part and the secret of the holy name which is the secret of the Ad of Bina for that reason we established that a man must not greet his friend before praying the secret was explained from the verse whoever greets his friend in a great voice early in the morning it is considered as a curse upon him Mishle 2714 this is not forbidden as long as greeting is not said with a great voice which is the main part of the holy. Name for example if he said to him may Hashem bless you but when the holy name is not mentioned it is not forbidden 114 therefore the secret of the Torah emerges from that great voice inside Bina and this is a king namely what was said while the king was reclining at his board that alludes to the revelation of Sinai Minard sent forth its fragrance this is the congregation of Israel which is Malchut and all this came about because Israel said everything that Hashem spoke will. We do and obey Shema 247 by which they merited all this revelation and the king is the high king namely Bina as was explained 115 come and see when the holy one blessed be he brought a flood upon the world to destroy everything he told Noah you should be careful not to show yourself to the destroyer of the angel of death so he would not have power over you the reason is that there was no one to protect him and when the sacrifice was offered by Noah the world became perfumed but it was. Not perfumed so much until Israel stood on Mount Sinai and when Israel stood on Mount Sinai the world was perfumed and the destroyer was no longer present in the world 116 the Holy One blessed be he wanted at that time to remove the destroyer from the world that death will be swallowed forever but after a few days Israel sent and made the cap and it is written the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments have a time from Mount Horeb Shema 336 a time is the secret of the holy name that the Holy One blessed be he adorned them with at the giving of the law and was taken from them and the destroyer ruled the world as before when he was ruling the world and judging people 117 Rabbi Yossi said at the time of the flood who put the destroyer there for the water went up and wiped off all the world why did Noah have to be careful of the destroyer he replies come and see there is no judgment in the world or a world smitten with judgment where there will not. Be that destroyer to walk among the judgments in the world here also there was a flood and the destroyer walked in its midst and was named flood after it therefore the holy one blessed be he told Noah to hide himself and not be seen in the world and this was already explained come and see Rabbi Yossi said the word was not yet in order again and the earth not over the filth of the snake 118 come and see Rabbi Laser said and of the 1775 shekels he made hooks had a beam for the pillars he asks why did he make hooks and he answers for they were in the shape of Bob namely they were drawn from the central column called Bob and he overlaid their capitals with gold and they of themselves were silver which is the light of Shesedim and their capitals that is their first three Sfirot are overlaid with gold the secret of the illumination of Chakma called gold he explains each Bob is of the side of mercy namely from Zeir and which is the Central column and all were known above through reckoning in the secret of the illumination of Chakma since they come from the side of mercy which is the central column they are called Bob's Hebabim and the rest of the Sfirot in them are suspended from them the Bob's are made solely of silver and gold together to include the two columns right and left Chesedim and the illumination of Chakma for this reason they are called the bottom of the pillars what are the pillars they are. Explained in the verse the two pillars I may lash him 720 net sash and hot since they are outside the body tie for a downward 119 Rabbi Yitzhak said I am not sure whether this is a holy or a mundane work since it is written and of the thousand the same as in you Solomon may have the 1000 sure hashery made 112 as in the latter thousand is secular so here it pertains to mundane matters 120 he said to him this is not so for if it were secular no hooks would have been made from it. Also there it is written thousand and no more and here it is written and of the 1775 therefore the two may not be compared that thousand pertains to the secular as it is written you Solomon may have the thousand it is secular because all that is mundane is not of the side of holiness at all but pertains to impurity hence the have the law and separation between holiness and the mundane this is the secret of the words and that you may differentiate between holy and secular and between unclean and clean they I cry 1010 121 but though we separate holiness from unholiness let secular nevertheless profanity has one portion of holiness from the left side of holiness therefore you Solomon may have the thousand refers to the thousand days of unholiness the days of exile as there are a thousand days of holiness so there are a thousand days to the other side the friends mentioned here that the days of exile amount to a thousand years 122 and Therefore there is a thousand and a thousand eight thousand of holiness and eight thousand of defilement the thousand years of exile and though Israel may be in exile longer than eight thousand years it is considered to continue for one thousand years since they do not correct them which are the thousand days we mentioned for that reason it was said that every mention of Solomon in Shir Hashirim pertains to holiness save this verse you Solomon may have the thousand but the thousand mentioned here of it. Hooks for the pillars is sacred and all that is made thereof is sacred therefore he used them to make hooks for the pillars 123 come and see we have said that each and every Bob is in the secret of mercy and wherever there is Bob in the holy name there is mercy for example and equals Bob Hashem Yod Hey Bob Hey reigned upon SDOM Bereshit 1924 and Bob Hashem said to Abram Bereshit 1314 this indicates the merging of mercy and judgment the difference in the account of the flood is that the Name Elohim is used instead of Anhashem and we learn that wherever it is written Anhashem it is indication of him Zeir Anpin and his courthouse Malchut and if it is written just Elohim it is judgment alone 124 rather in SDOM judgment was executed but not to destroy the world that is why Zeir Anpin is mingled with judgment meaning that it is tempered by mercy but at the time of the flood the whole world perished together with its inhabitants that is why the name Elohim is mentioned there to indicate judgment alone not tempered by mercy and if you say that Noah and those with him were saved it is because he was hidden from sight and was not seen in the world for he was inside the ark but all that was in the world perished 125 therefore Anhashem is revealed and does not destroy everything and if it is written Elohim it is concealed and we should take care for it destroys everything therefore at the flood only Elohim was present this is the secret of Hashem sat enthroned at the flood. Tehillim 2910 What is the meaning of sad? Were it not for that verse we would not have been able to tell for sad means that he sat alone on his own and was not united with the judgment of the flood. The word sad is the same as in he shall sit alone. Vayikra 1346 In the one case he sits alone and so in the other 126 and we learned a secret the holy one blessed be he is concealed and revealed namely concealed from the illumination of Chakma for it. Shines through Shesedim alone and revealed in the illumination of Chakma revealed is the court below which is Malchut wherein Chakma illuminates concealed is the place whence all blessings issue which is Zeir and therefore when the utterances of man are in secrecy blessings are upon him and when they are revealed that place of the courthouse is upon him since he is in an open place which is Malchut and everything is in the high secret as above 127 while the king was reclining at his board Shir Hashirim 112 namely joining and delighting in the supernal Eden the supernal Chakma drawn to Bina by that unknown and concealed path which is Yezid of Abba it is filled thereof and emerges into certain brooks net sash hot and Yezid of Bina Minard sent forth its fragrance if it alludes to the last sea which is Malchut that created the lower world Malchut as a reflection of above Bina and diffused a sweet loft perfume the illumination of Chakma by which to rule and act and it is able and rules and shines by the supernal light 128 come and see while the Nard sends an odor upwards the secret of the illumination of Chakma love is united namely conjugal love coming from the left this Nard rises to be joined above that is to shine from below upward and all the holy chariots receive from that Nard and send forth odors to be adorned above namely to illuminate from below upward as is the nature of odors these chariots are called maidens of song as it is written. Upon maidens of song, Tehillim 461, and this
Assigned to sing and they sing always therefore it is written upon maidens of song all are issued in the secret of hay which is malchute hay issued many kinds of armies by the secret of bob for they are male bob is the secret of the male who is to give food to the female which is malchute 130 for that reason all the hooks made by betsalel were made to let them dwell upon the female which is malchute they are issued by the secret of thousand which is a complete reckoning namely chakma. Called reckoning the seven hundred are a whole secret namely the seven sfirat chisit buret tiferet netzach had yizit and malchut of bina whose sfirat are numbered by hundreds five is also a whole secret namely chisit buret tiferet netzach and had of malchut whose sfirat are counted by single units seventy are chisit buret tiferet netzach had yizit and malchut of zeir and whose sfirat are counted by tens and all pertain to one mystery from that secret and that counting he made the hooks and all are according to the secret of the bob meaning from the aspect of the central column with the shape of bob and they were all formed according to the high mystery and counting section seventeen each order contains three rabbi yehuda and rabbi yosi talk about king nebuchadnezzar who made the image that he saw in his dream that had a head of gold and silver and brass rabbi yosi says the mystery of the tabernacle is in these three metals discussion ensues of it. Numbers three and four some things being found in the tabernacle in groups of two or three or four or even one but three is the most important since there are three orders that spread into the four directions of the world and extended explanation follows of the significance of all the twenty-two letters of the alphabet plus those five letters that are different at the end of words and how they move and interact and represent various fire the letters are also divided into male and female letters of males. Comprising the waters above and the females comprising the waters below making a complete unity the numbers 3, 9 and 27 are heavily emphasized as are the four directions 131 and the brass of the offering was 70 talents Shema 3829 Rabbi Yehuda said it all came down in the high shape of the secret of the faith which is Malchut evil Nebuchadnezzar did the same when he made the image for Elohim has made the one as well as the other Kahilat 714 Rabbi Yossi said that he did not make. It only saw in his dream an image whose head was gold and then silver and then brass and if you say that there were iron and clay in the image but not in the tabernacle this is because they are not worthy to be a part of holiness the other three gold silver and brass Chisit Bura and Tiferet were 132 the mystery of the tabernacle is in these three metals gold silver and brass in other things there were four corresponding to Chisit Bura Tiferet and Malchut for example blue Malchut purple. Tiferet scarlet bure and fine linen chisit or the four rows of stones corresponding to chisit bure tiferet and malchut 133 Rabbi Yehuda said some of them are in three some in four some in twos and some in ones nevertheless each order contains but three there are three orders spread to the winds the four directions of the world in each order in each direction there are other three orders this was explained 134 he explains the first order on the east side which is tiferet consists of three orders namely the three columns there are nine orders altogether since each of the three orders that is each of the three columns is comprised of three orders the three columns comprised of one another in all there are nine namely the nine columns and many thousands and tens of thousands of grades are found beneath them these nine orders the three columns each column consisting of three all conduct themselves in accordance with the written letters the 27 letters of it. Alphabet the 22 letters together with the five final letters at the end of words M-E-M non P and C-A-F that are doubled and every order each column looks upon those written letters to receive plenitude from the 27 letters connected to IT this is true for each and every order each and every column and all travel by the written letters the ones above the others and standing the ones upon the others 135 and when these letters soar in the air of the direction in charge all the letters. Travel as was explained and one letter kicks from below and goes up and down two letters soar above it above the middle letter and the middle letter below goes upward the secret of Z-E-I-R and then rising to Bina and joining the right and left columns of Bina joins them and together they become three letters according to the three letters yet Hey Bob within the shining mirror which is Z-E-I-R and then Y-U-D being of the right Hey of the left and Bob of the middle they are divided into three orders. Namely three columns two letters and one letter rising which is Z-E-I-R and then rising to bind it rises and joins them so they become three 136 come and see the two supernal letters rising in the air the right letter and the left letter are comprised the one within the other Chisit and judgment the right one being Chisit and the left being judgment that is the reason there are two and they are from the supernal world namely right and left of bind in the secret of the male for they are considered to be male for bind is the world of the male and the middle letter that rises and joins them and unites the two is a female and it is included in both of them 137 as a female which is Malchut is comprised on both sides right and left of Z-E-I-R and then joins them in the secret of his left hand is under my head and his right hand embraces me sure Hashirim 26 so the female middle letter is united with the other two letters of the two sides right and left these two letters are. Superior from Bina and these the middle ones that join every two superior letters are from below from Z-E-I-R and then all is one male and female for all the upper two letters are males and each letter uniting them rising from below is female 138 for when the world was created namely when Bina emanated Z-E-I-R and then called world these two letters the right and left from the upper world Bina issued all that is below in Z-E-I-R and then in their very shapes but the middle letter has no new shape. Except that it unites the right and left and whoever knows them and is careful about them is beloved above and beloved below 139 Rabbi Shimon said all these letters the 27 letters of the alphabet are male and female some are male and some female the males are comprised within the waters of above and the females are comprised within the waters of below and all is one this is a complete unity therefore whoever knows of and is careful about them happy is he in this world and happy in the World to come this is the principal part of the unity properly complete there are three on each and every side namely the letters are divided into groups of three two males above and one female below in the middle they are in one unity for the right and left sides are united by the middle in one unity and so all is in wholeness and all are the mystery of the supernal order in Bina as ought to be a reflection of above where there is one order consisting of three in one mystery 140 the second order is on the south side she said there are three orders to that order the three columns three in each each column consists of three altogether there are nine as was said about the east side the letters are divided similarly among all the sides right left and middle the same as in the east in order to unite everything together since there are female letters and male letters and they all join to become as one they are one in the mystery of the complete holy name which is why you behave of it Appointed orders the groups of three as was said about the east side all issue from the order of the patriarchs above the three columns of Bina according to the order of the letters yet Havab in the holy name as we said these nine orders are all according to certain letters the three groups of three letters right left and middle as on the east side and the letters drive them and many armies and tens of thousands of angels below all travel according to that order 141 the third order is on the north side viewer there are three orders to that direction nine altogether for in each of the three orders there are three namely three columns for every column comprised of three columns and there are nine these orders are on three sides right left and middle all as we said like on the east and south sides 142 there are 27 orders in the mystery of the 27 letters and though there are only 22 letters in the alphabet in completeness together with final mem non p and cafa are 27 it is found and that just as there are 27 letters so is the order of these orders 27 three orders in every direction of the three directions east south and north hence the three of the one direction south are nine each of the three columns comprised of three and together there are nine the three of another direction north are nine and the three of yet another direction east are nine thus there are 27 altogether 143 the secret of there being 27 letters is that nine letters are in the secret of the female they are united with 18 other letters in the secret of the male and all is as should be 144 come and see like the letters in the upper world by so are the other letters below in malchute the upper letters in bina are big and the lower letters in malchute are small the one is like the other for all that applies for the letters in bina applies also for the letters in malchute also all the secrets of male and female of the letters apply to them and all is a Whole unity therefore whatever is in Malchut is in the high secret in Bina section 1845 kinds of lights from Gershid we read about how the world is divided into 45 kinds of lights it tells about the seven spirot divided into seven abyss stones that roll into the abyss and are pierced by light and then filled with water we read
The men strikes the four sides of the abyss, the lights are combined in each other and merge into one, and the water is divided 148 and the seventh rod of Zeir and can grasp the seven abysses and dig into the darkness therein. The darkness is intermingles and the waters come up and go and roll down by means of the lights. The lights mingle with the darkness to become unseen dark lights. 149 All the sides of Zeir and can strike and are divided into 75 pipes of the abyss wherein water is drawn. 150 Every pipe of Zeir and raises its voice and the abyss is shatter, and when that voice is heard, each abyss calls its fellow, saying, Divide your water so I may enter you. This is the meaning of deep calls to deep at the noise of your cataracts. Tangle 428 151 Underneath the pipes there are 365 tendons, some white, some black, and some red. They are mingled into one color. These tendons are woven into 17 nets, and each net is called tendons. They interweave and descend into the Bottom of the abyss beneath them there are two nets, one of the appearance of iron, the other of copper. 152 two chairs stand upon them, one to the right and one to the left. All the nets are merged together and the water goes down by the pipes and into the nets of these two chairs. One is of the black firmament and the other of the colorful firmament. When they ascend, they ascend by way of the chair of the black firmament and when they descend, they do so by way of the colorful firmament. 153. These two chairs are one on the right and one on the left. The chair of the black firmament net sash is on the right and the chair of the colorful firmament hot is on the left. When the lights mount by way of the chair of the black firmament, the chair of the left firmament descends and the lights descend through it from above downward. 154. The chairs are united, grasp all the nets and put them in the lowest part of the lowest abyss. 155. One chair stands and rises above all the abysses and the other chair stands down beneath the abysses between the two chairs all the abysses whirl and the pipes are fastened between the two chairs 156 there are 75 pipes 7 of which are superior to the others and the rest are included in them they are all fastened to the wheels of the chair on this side and fastened to the wheels of the chair on that side 157 the waters go up and down the chairs on the way down they dig into the abysses and cleave them asunder on the way up they enter the holes in the stones rise and fill in seven seas thus far the seven colors of lights in the supernal mystery section 19 mountains of brass rabbi shimon speaks about the brass that is used in the building of the tabernacle for the sockets and the ministering vessels of the altar and the brass clasps he says this is way brass that is called mountains of brass and that they are the male and female of brightness no god the brass sockets are compared to Sentries who guard what is inside the gates yet stand outside the gates the ministering vessels of the altar are so called because they help the souls to serve Rabbi Shimon also tells us about how the gold in the temple is connected to the gold above viewer the silver to the silver above Chesed and the brass to the brass above Tiferet the colors intermingle and become united the gold clasps bind the curtains together and the brass clasps bind the tabernacle together the clasps shine like the blazing stars in the sky and the fifty clasps of gold and the fifty clasps of brass face each other and shine 158 come and see the way brass we mentioned is the brass mountains called mountains of brass Zechariah 61 for there are two mountains male and female and they are called brass sockets there are sentries of the gates around all the gates they guard those who are inside and being sentries of the gates they stand outside they come and go out of the king's abode namely Malchut. 159 out of this brass all the ministering vessels of the altar are made they are ministering vessels of the altar for when the souls approach the altar which is Malchut they minister the service of the altar they all help the souls to serve and are called ministering vessels of the altar all the vessels and all the pigs of the tabernacle which are also outside it are all called vessels of service that serve the sanctuary upon them stand all the appointed chieftains appointed chariots and appointed spirits each one is in its appropriate place the temples of holiness are all known and subject to accounting namely in the secret of the verse that brings out their host by number Yeshayah 4026 160 the gold in the tabernacle is connected to the gold above which is pure the silver to the silver above which is Jesus and the brass of the tabernacle to the brass above which is Tiferet for the brass is below draw strength from the brass above which is Tiferet and so all the Colors intermingle and become united and bound to one another. 161 The gold clasps bind the curtains of blue PURPLE to one another, one coupling to another. The brass clasps bind together the tabernacle. The curtains of goat's hair, these are facing these. They are all like the stars in the sky as the stars shine and are seen in the sky. So the clasps shine within the tabernacle. We have already explained that, and the clasps are shining like glittering stars that stand out. The 50 clasps of gold and the 50 of brass shine facing each other. Section 20 Sacred Robes Rabbi Shimon describes how the sacred robes of Michael the high priest were made from the supernal light that sparked off purple and blue in the same way that Michael does not enter the sanctuary until he is robed. Moses did not go up into the mountain before he donned the cloud, as in Moses went into the midst of the cloud and went up into the mountain. These garments are called uniform sins. They were made from the residue of the supernal lights. It is because the high priest wears the robe that he is allowed to enter the temple. Rabbi Shimon talks about Yisrael is holy. Jehashim is zero first fruits of the increase, saying that Yisrael is holy because all the colors are in Yisrael and the colors are the priests, the levites, and Yisrael itself. They are also the colors of Chesed, Bura, and Tiferet. White, red, and green. We learn that the soul does not ascend until it is worthy of donning the highest garments, and that the soul does not descend to earth until it wears the clothes of this world. This is also true of the holy angels when they have a mission here. When Adam and Eve were still in the Garden of Eden, they wore clothes of celestial light, but when they were driven out, they wore the clothes of this world. Hashem Elohim made for Adam and for his white coats of skins and clothed them. Rabbi Shimon repeats that man's raiment of the next world is made from the good deeds. He performs in this world as they draw light from the supreme radiance to summarize the reason that the soul has special garments in the two worlds is so that it has wholeness both in the world below and the world above 162 out of the supernal light namely Zeir and a spark shines out and into the mirror which does not shine namely shines upon Malchut the spark is comprised of all the illuminating colors and is called purple when purple strikes giving plenty to that darkened light which is Malchut another spark not as glowing comes out which is blue they intermingle and form the sacred robes which Michael the high priest donned 163 and when Michael is attired with these glorious robes he enters to minister in the sanctuary he does not enter the sanctuary before he is thus attired in the same manner Moses went into the midst of the cloud and went up into the mountain Shema 2418 we learned that Moses donned the cloud and then went up into the mountain for he could not go up the mountain before he donned the cloud the high priest also did not enter the sanctuary before he put on these robes 164 since they emanate from high principles and are a reflection of above they are called uniforms have from residue have for they are the residue of the supernal garments being made of what was left of the light of the supernal splendors blue malchute and purple zeir and are the colors of the holy name that is considered a full name yud hey hey elohim for yud hey bab hey is the secret of purple and elohim the secret of blue this is the secret of what the high priest wears when he enters the sanctuary the scarlet is the red color corresponding to pure and blue and purple corresponding to malchute and zeir and which are comprised of all these colors and since the high priest wears garments of these colors he enters inside and is not ejected outside 165 come and see all is done in the secret of the faith namely in the grades of malchute Called faith so as to reflect what is above, therefore it is written the uniforms for service in the holy place. Shema 3941 They are called holy garments only when these colors are in them as it is written. These are holy garments. Vayikra 164 And Yisrael is holy to Hashem the first fruits of his increase. Yirmeyah 23 Yisrael is holy since all the colors are seen in Yisrael which are the priests levites and Yisrael. They are the colors of Chesed, Bura and Tiferet, white, red and green. The priests are white, the Levites, red and Yisrael, green. These are the colors that are seen inside the sanctuary. 166 Come and see the soul does not go up to be seen before the holy king before it is worthy of donning the garments of above so it may be seen there in the same manner it does not descend to below until it wears the clothes of this world. 167 It is the same with the holy angels of above of which it is written who makes the winds his messengers the flames of fire his ministers. Tehillim 1044 When they have a mission in this
For Adam and for his white coats of skins and clothed them all is as it should be in the same manner the uniforms were made for the service in the holy place to bring him there 170 and we established that the good deeds man performs in this world draw light from the supreme radiance and fix embodiment of that world so he may be seen before the holy one blessed be he and by that clothing which he dons he has pleasure and looks into the shining mirror as it is said to behold the beauty of Hashem and to inquire in his temple Tehillim 274 171 for that reason the soul dons special garments for the two worlds so it may have wholeness in all in this world below and in the world above therefore it is written surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name the upright shall dwell in your presence Tehillim 14014 surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name in this world and the upright shall dwell in your presence in that world section 21 Breastplate and Ephod Rabbi Yossi says that the Ephod and the Breastplate are the combination of Malchut and Zer and then he talks about the 12 stones on the Breastplate that have inscribed on them the names of the children of Israel and the 12 combinations of yod heh along with the supernal 12 tribes above we hear an explanation of the verse there went the tribes and learn that tribes refers to the supernal 12 tribes above these are the tribes of Yahweh Yamins. Testimony Rabbi Shia draws a distinction between the tribes below and the tribes above we hear that when Jacob went to Haran he took some of the stones of the place and put them under his head these are the 12 holy stones and all of them became one stone as in and this stone that I have set for a pillar the high priest carries the stones always on his heart in order to remember them forever the 12 supernal stones are the secret of the Torah we learn that the Shechinah is being referred to as a stone of Israel that is rolled into exile until they put the stone back upon the well's mouth in its place at the time of redemption we read a description of many kinds of stones and their relationship to the Sfirah and the directions and the tribes followed by the information that in all the names of the tribes the letters Chet and Tet are not used because they are the letters in sin Rabbi Shimon explains to Rabbi Abba about the meaning of Urim and Tumim comparing them to the Tephilin and the knot of Tephilin he says the Urim are the face and Tumim are the back and this is the secret of sound and speech for the speech completes the word and they are inseparable as are the breastplate and the Ephod Rabbi Shimon tells how things are often hidden by mentioning the less significant part so sometimes the Ephod is mentioned without the breastplate in the same way the hidden significant name of yod heh is not referred to the name mentioned is Adonai there is an internal hidden part to everything Rabbi Shimon turns to the question of why Gabriel is depicted as the man clothed in linen and says that Gabriel was appointed as a messenger to this world and must therefore wear the clothing of this world he uses the analogy of the breastplate in front and the ephod behind to clarify how God created male and female from Adam we learn that he bore Cain as the offspring of the serpent and that is why Cain was the first to bring death into the world Rabbi Shimon says he found in ancient books that when Cain killed Abel he bit him with serpent bites this throughout his soul until he died when Adam saw that Cain had killed Abel he separated from his wife for 130 years saying that he didn't wish to be a father any longer at that time unholy female spirits came and mated with him and he produced spirits and demons called the plagues of men after this he learned jealousy and returned to mate with he who produced Seth Seth was the first of his children that was exactly like him Rabbi Shimon then turns his explanation back to the breastplate and the ephod and says that the high priest's face shown and the letters on the stone stood out illuminating his face the four rings that connect the breastplate to the ephod are the secret of the chariots that connect the side below to the side above the two rings in the breastplate are the secret of the beast while the two rings in the ephod are the secret of the wheels as they are connected so are Yitzhara and Asiyah as in and when the living creatures moved the wheels went by them and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth the wheels were lifted up Rabbi Shimon concludes by reiterating how the lower world is connected to the upper world in all things and that this is the secret of the construction of the tabernacle 172 and he made the ephod of gold Shema 392 this was already explained Rabbi Yossi said the ephod and priestly garment and the Breastplate were as one for the EFOD is the secret of Malchut and the breastplate is ZEIR and it was established that in a place that maintains namely where there are whole Mokin are found the twelve stones with the names of the children of Israel upon them and they are the twelve high borders namely the twelve combinations of Yud Hey Bab the secret of Chesed Bure Tiferet and Malchut each including three columns twelve altogether all of them are in the secret of the tribes of Israel. For the twelve tribes of Israel are also in the secret of the twelve combinations of Yud Hey Bab transmitted to Malchut 173 this is the secret of the verse there went the tribes the tribes of Yah as a testimony of Israel to give thanks to the name of Hashem Tehillim 1224 for there went the tribes refers to the supernal twelve tribes above namely the twelve borders of ZEIR and the roots of the twelve tribes as said and these are the tribes of Yah for this name Yud is a Testimony of Israel a testimony being the secret of the first three Sfirot 174 Rabbi Shia said tribes is written twice the tribes the tribes of Yah there went the tribes refers to the tribes below in Malchut the tribes of Yah are the tribes above in Zeir and Ben a testimony of Israel is the secret of the supernal holy name Yah called testimony as it is said and my testimony that I shall teach them Tehillim 13212 therefore there are the names of the twelve tribes in the breastplate the counterpart of Zeir and Ben and there are the names of the twelve tribes in the EFOD the counterpart of Malchut the twelve supernal holy tribes in Zeir and Ben are the twelve holy stones in the breastplate they are therefore in the breastplate below as the ones above and the names of the twelve tribes are engraved upon the stones carried by the high priest 175 come and see when Jacob went to Jaron he took some of the stones of the place and put them under his head bare sheet. 2811 These are the twelve holy stones corresponding to the twelve tribes in Malchut, namely Chesed, Bure, Tiferet, and Malchut, each including three columns, and all of them became one stone as it is written, and this stone which I have set for a pillar of the twenty-two. Why does he call it a stone? Because the twelve stones became the one holy stone superior to them, namely Malchut called a stone as it is written, and this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be Elohim's house. Therefore, the aspect of the twelve tribes in it is also called stones 176. For that reason, the high priest carries it always on his heart to remember them forever, as it is written, and Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel upon his heart for a memorial before Hashem continually. Shema 2829 Everything is in the secret of twelve. There are twelve supernal stones hidden above stored in the high and holy secret Zeir and Ben. They are the secret of the Torah, namely Zeir and Ben called Torah and emanate. From one thin voice which is by this was established there are twelve other stones stored below in Malchut they resemble the ones above in Zeir and Ben and emanate from another voice stone as it is written the shepherd the stone of Israel bear sheet 4924 namely Malchut 177 the secret of this verse is explained by the scripture and there were all the flocks gathered and they rolled the stone from the well's mouth bear sheet 293 this refers to the Shechinah called the tribe stone a stone of Israel it is rolled into exile and they put the stone back upon the well's mouth in its place of it at the time of redemption the grades issuing from it are all named after its stones 178 there are many kinds of stones there are stones and there are stones some stones are the foundation of the house namely Malchut of the aspect of Shachma called house the secret of the verse through wisdom a house is built Mishle 243 as it is written and the king commanded and they carried Great stones costly stones to lay the foundation of the house with hewn stones I may 531 the Shachma and Bina in it are called great stones costly stones and there are high precious stones 12 in number in four orders three to each towards the four directions they are Chesed, Bure, Tiferet and Malchut each including three columns and all together 12 so there were four standards marching in the desert the 12 tribes three to each direction of the world to the east were Judah. Yisachar and Zebulun to the south Reuben Shimon and Gad to the north Ephraim Menasheh and Benjamin to the west Dan Asher and Naphtali the four directions of the world are the secret of Chesed, Bure, Tiferet and Malchut and the three tribes on each direction are the three columns all is one secret and it has been explained 179 come and see when the high priest wore these 12 stones on the breastplate and on the ephod the
The names of the tribes also the letter Tet is hidden and concealed as it indicates Yezid of Bun it illuminates with the light of all and there is no light to be found except from this letter because all the lights issue from Yezid of Bun as it is written and Elohim saw the light that it was good good being the illumination of that hidden and concealed light within the letter Tet it is concerning this letter that is written no good thing will he withhold from those who walk upright. Tehillim 8412, referring to the light of all the tribes since it is so concealed it is not found in the tribes also all the twelve tribes come out of that concealed compartment Yezid of Bun in the secret of the letter Tet and therefore it is hidden and concealed and not seen in the tribes 182 come and see all the stones in the breastplate were standing in a miraculous way and when they were shining the face of the high priest shone and the lights illuminated and stood out to be visible. From the stones when the face of the high priest shone the protrusion of the letters was considered to be favorable thus the priest was known to be either righteous or not all this was by way of miracle as was explained 183 Rabbi Abba was before Rabbi Shimon he said to him it is written and you shall put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Tumim Shema 2830 we learned that Urim and lights means that they illuminated that which was required namely whatever was asked Tumim complete means that they fulfilled what was said but this explanation is not enough we need to know more 184 he said to him surely it is so thus the breastplate and the ephod correspond to Urim and Tumim this is a secret of Tephilin and the knot of Tephilin that correspond to these two he opened the discussion and said and you shall see my back but my face shall not be seen Shema 3323 and you shall see my back we learned that the Holy One blessed be he showed Moses the knot of Tephilin. My face are the Tefilin themselves, he explains. My face are Tefilin, the high secret, the holy name. My back is the secret of the knot of Tefilin. It is known among the friends that Tefilin are the shining mirror, which is Zeir and and this the knot of Tefilin is the mirror which does not shine, which is Malchut 185. Correspondingly, these are Urim for they shine at Myram with their utterances, namely Zeir and the shining mirror, and these are Tumim so called for completing with their utterances, namely Malchut shining by the illumination of Chakma in the secret of and you shall see my back where all perfection lies. Urim are the face and Tumim are the back. This is the secret of sound and speech sound, which is Zeir and shines upon the speech which is Malchut, so it may speak for the speech completes the word, namely the voice is the main and substantial part, and the speech completes it. They always rise together and never separate, for you can never separate sound and speech. Hence the breastplate and the ephod the one is the face and the other the back and all pertain to the same principle with no separation whatsoever like sound and speech 186 he said to him if this is so that the breastplate and the ephod he never separate and whoever separates them it is said about him that he separates close friends Mishlei 1628 for they allude to Zeir and Ben and Malchut as mentioned and how do you explain the verse and it came to pass when Abiathar the son of Kimelech fled to David to Keilah that he came down with an ephod in his hands Ishmuel 236 yet the breastplate is not mentioned it appears as if he separated them 187 he said to him assuredly this is so all that is more significant is hidden and stored it is not mentioned too much in the same manner it is written that did wear a linen ephod Ishmuel 2218 and the breastplate is not mentioned due to its importance what is revealed is mentioned so as to cover what is hidden and concealed therefore. That which is the more revealed the EFOD is mentioned 188 for that reason the high name which is a secret concealed and stored is mentioned only through the uncovered name the one is mentioned and the other concealed the concealed name is yud hey and the mentioned name is Adonai therefore it is written with hidden letters yud hey and it is read with these letters Adonai this covers that the name Adonai covers the name yud hey so the high glory will be covered and concealed forever for all the ways of the Torah are like that covered and uncovered and all the matters of the world either of this world or the high world are covered and uncovered meaning that there is an internal part to everything 189 he opened the discussion and said then they said to him tell us we pray you in as much as to whose cause this evil is upon us yon 18 we should look at this verse for all the asked was in the secret of wisdom it is written tell us we pray you in as much as to whose cause they asked in as much with deep wisdom they asked for an uncovered secret to know whether he was of the seed of Joseph for the sea when it saw his coffin straightway divided itself and became dry land as it is written the sea saw and fled Tehillim 1143 the sea saw him of whom it is written and fled and went outside Beersheet 3915 immediately it split the Jordan turned backward Tehillim 1143 190 that is why they asked him in as much namely pray tell us in as much as to whose cause this evil for it is said about Joseph in as much as you are his wife Beersheet 399 they hinted at him by this word if you are of that seed of Joseph pray that the sea will be quiet by this word whose and whose cause this evil they hinted thus are you a descendant of Jacob who said whose are you and whither do you go Beersheet 3218 they whom Jacob addressed were the holy messengers he sent to Esau on an errand and so he was saved from that trouble now you too pray to your Master to send his messenger so we would be saved from this trouble 191 if this is not so then tell us what is your occupation namely what is your daily business and where do you come from who are your forefathers what is your country namely does it deserve punishment and of what people are you to see whether he is of Amalek or of one of the seven nations that deserve punishment all was properly asked 192 what did John answer and he said to them I am a Hebrew namely from the seed of Abraham a Hebrew who sanctified the name of his master every day and I fear Hashem the Elohim of heaven Yonah 19 they asked to know both openly and covertly namely they asked by hinting by the words inasmuch and whose covertly the rest of the questions were open and he Jonah answered all their questions openly 193 it is written then the men were exceedingly afraid of it and when they heard the name of the Holy One blessed be he they were afraid because they knew of it. Miracles and mighty deeds performed by the Holy One, blessed be he upon the sea. So when he mentioned the name of the Holy One, blessed be he, they were exceedingly afraid. He also told them that he flees the Holy One, blessed be he. So they asked him, Why have you done this running away from him and not obeying his commands? Therefore they asked, Why have you done this? You are transgressing your master's commands. 194 Come and see all of them converted afterwards when they saw the miracles and mighty deeds that the Holy One, blessed be he, did to Jonah at sea. They all saw him falling into the sea and the fish swallowing him in their presence. And when that great fish came before their eyes and vomited him onto the dry land, they came to him and became proselytes. This is the meaning of they that guard lying vanities forsake their loyalty. Yonah 29 195 Come and see they were all proselytes by conviction and became knowledgeable in the Torah and high sages because the Holy One blessed. Be he favored them and all those who approach him to sanctify his name openly for when his name is sanctified openly his hidden name Yudh Havah rises on his throne of glory which is Adonai so there is unison of Yudh Havah Adonai as it is written and I will be hallowed among the children of Israel Vayikra 2232 196 and they bound the breastplate by its rings to the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue Shema 3921 he asks why with a lace of blue and he answers to show that this blue the judgment part of Malchut bound with Chesed is connected to all therefore all is in the high secret the blue tying the breastplate which is Zeir and to the EFOD which is Malchut 197 it is written the golden bell and the pomegranate Shema 2834 and we explain that all pertains to the high secret as we said it is therefore written and its sound shall be heard when he goes into the holy place before Hashem 35 for he is in need of the sound that is heard which is Zeir and and blessings dwell in the world for the priest's sake who blesses all and performs everything the golden bell we explain to be the sound that is heard namely Zeir and of pomegranate is Malchut filled by all receiving from all the higher worlds and we explain all 198 and he made the robe of the EFOD of woven work all of blue Shema 3922 we already explained the secret of the breastplate and the EFOD and all is one that is the robe of the EFOD pertains to the same mystery as the EFOD namely Malchut it is all of blue as ought to be for blue is the secret of the light of the throne Malchut which is the black light of the candle burning and consuming whatever is beneath it blue is connected to the white light in the candle which is Jesus and therefore the EFOD is of blue being the light of Malchut 199 Rabbi Shimon
should wear the garments of this world we also explain this in the secret of the soul that when it goes up it wears the clothing up above to be there and when it descends it wears a garment and all and all the garment is according to where it goes in the same manner these appointed messengers on an errand to this world need clothes of this world and we established that 201 come and see the robe of the ephod covered him around his body when he wore it it is written you have beset me behind and before and laid your hand upon me Tehillim 1395 the breastplate being before and the EFOT from behind 202 this verse you have beset was already explained nevertheless come and see when the holy one blessed be he created Adam male and female were created bound to each other so the female was from behind and the male in front until the holy one blessed be he sought and separated them he prepared and put her in front of Adam so that they may see face to face when they look face to face love was increased in the world and they issued offspring something that was not beforehand and we explained 203 after Adam and his wife sinned and the serpent had intercourse with Eve and injected filth into her Eve or Cain he had the shape from above and from below in the secret of the filth of the other side and from the side below of the external forces therefore he was the first to bring death into the world caused by his side as he came of the filth of the serpent pit. Nature of the serpent is to lurk so as to kill and his issue Cain learned his ways and so it is written and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Bear she 48 204 I have found in ancient books that when Cain killed Abel he bit serpentine bites until he killed him 205 all things returned to the element from where they came unless Cain came from that side of the serpent he would have not behaved so towards his brother. Therefore when Adam saw Abel killed and Cain expelled he said why shall I henceforth be a father he separated from his wife for a hundred and thirty years and unholy female spirits would come and conceive from him and he begot spirits and demons called the plagues of men this was established two hundred and six after that he was jealous and were jealousy he united with his wife and begot Seth as written and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth bear she 53 which was not true for the first sons born before two hundred and seven for in the beginning before Eve he had another union with Lilith as explained until he came for the holy one blessed be he prepared her for Adam and they were united face to face therefore it is written this one shall be called woman bear she two hundred and twenty three but the other one Lilith is not so called as was explained two hundred and eight since Adam and Eve were created together it is written male and female he created them and blessed them bear she fifty two the two of them were together therefore it was written you have beset me behind and before two hundred and nine come and see the ephod and the breastplate were behind and before the breastplate before and the EFOD behind and when the priest wore them he had the likeness of the higher image ZEIR and, and Malchut the secret of behind and before and we have learned that his face shone and the letters stood out illuminating and rising up then he knew that which was needed two hundred and ten for that reason the function of it. Breastplate and the function of the ephod are closely connected and though their functions are not the same yet all is in the one secret they are connected so the breastplate which is Zeir and will be united with the ephod which is Malchut by four rings connected to this place and that place namely to the breastplate and the EFOD they are the secret of the chariots connecting the side below to those above all in the mystery of the wheels and the holy living creatures for the two rings in it. Breastplate are in the secret of the living creatures which are Yetzirah and the two rings in the EFOD are in the secret of the wheels which are Asiyah and they are interconnected as said and when the living creatures moved the wheels went by them and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth the wheels were lifted up Yashiskal 119 211 it is written in the beginning Elohim created the heaven and the earth Bear sheet 11 it was explained that the heaven is Zeir and and it. Earth is Malchut the tabernacle was made in the same manner in the likeness of the lower world which is Malchut and in the likeness of the upper world which is Zeir and and all the deeds of the Holy One blessed be he performed in this world are a reflection of above so is the tabernacle all its works are as the deeds and are reflections of the upper world 212 this is the secret of the construction of the tabernacle all our deeds and improvements of above and below to let the Sheshana dwell upon the world over the upper tenants of angels and the lower tenants people in the same manner the lower garden of Eden is like the upper bun and the lower Malchut and all the images and forms of the world are found there therefore the construction of the tabernacle and of heaven and earth Zeir and and Malchut are in one secret section 22 lift up your eyes on high Rabbi Shimon asks if anyone who lifts his eyes and looks up could see anything that he wasn't permitted to see he answers that the title verse means that whoever wants to see and know about God's deeds should look up and after seeing all the armies and legions of angels then he can ask who created these Rabbi Shimon says that who is Bina and that there is never an answer because Bina is always hidden and concealed and unknown next he talks about who brings out their host by number saying that Bina brings everything out with the sound of the shofar this is the secret of the divine faith that extends through all the levels from Zir and Ben and downward all the way to Malchut the armies are then divided up and numbered and named Rabbi Shimon extends another explanation for lift up your eyes on high and that is that whoever looked at the tabernacle saw in it both what was above and what was below all the works of both worlds were contained in it 213 it is written lift up your eyes on high and behold who has created these Yeshayah 4026 this verse was already Explained nevertheless come and see could anyone who lifts up his eyes and looks up know and behold what is not permitted for him to see 214 he replies no lift up your eyes on high means that whoever wishes to behold and know the deeds of the holy one blessed be he let him lift up his eyes and see how many are the armies and legions and how many are the deeds each different than the other one mightier than the other then you may look and ask who created these we explained this mystery. Who which is Bina created these for Bina is a place located up high hidden concealed and unknown it remains a constant question because this place is not revealed 215 who brings out their host by number he asks what does that brings out mean he answers since that place is hidden and concealed namely Bina it brings out all by the secret of the sound coming out of the shofar Zeir and called sound comes out of Bina called shofar that sound is the amount of all the supernal. Armies and the account of everything thence is found the secret of the divine faith which is Malchut on all the supernal sides Shesedim on the right and Chakma on the left where Chakma is revealed it extends in grades from Zeir and downward to Malchut the armies are then divided after their kind and all are numbered and called by name because of the greatness of his might Ibid refers to the right side he is strong in power Ibid refers to the left side no one is missing Ibid from it. Sides drawn from the two directions from the two columns right and left where nothing is missing because they comprehend all of reality even the central column adds nothing only comprises what is in the two columns right and left 216 another explanation to the verse lift up your eyes on high and behold who has created these this verse means that when the tabernacle was constructed and completed whoever saw the tabernacle beheld in it what was above and what was below and saw all that in. The tabernacle for all the works of the upper world and the lower world were all contained in the tabernacle and we established that whoever looked at the clasps could see in their illumination that of the stars because this is how the stars are situated in the firmament section 23 praise Hashem from the heavens Rabbi Shimon talks about two of the psalms of praise and how they correspond to the Sfirot and the names of God and then the parts of the body he says that praise him all his angels refers to the two pillars Netzach and Hod that stand underneath and support the body Tiferet these pillars are also the secret of the angels and the knees are the messengers speaking about praise him sun and moon Rabbi Shimon tells us that the sun includes all the Sfirot of Zir and, ben, and therefore it contains all the high stars and constellations when it has finished shining it goes up to a high place from where Briah Yitzhara and Asiyah all emanate he reveals that the stars below exist by virtue of what they can draw from the supernal pattern in Zir and so all the stars and constellations from the highest firmament rule the world beneath them from that high place there are levels all the way down to the stars below in this world that don't have anything under their command everything is ruled by the higher level 217 he opened the discussion and said hail you ya praise Hashem from the heavens tail 1481 come and see this praise was said by David in reference to the secret of the holy name Yudhi Hebab namely Zeir Anpin which is comprised of all the praises there are two praises reflecting the secret of the holy supernal name Yudhi Hebab which is comprised of all the praises there is this one praise Hashem from the heavens and the last praise in the
And according to the verse, for ask now of the days that are past which were before you, Devarim 432, they are the seven days, Chesed, Burit, Tiferet, Netzach, Hadjazit, and Valchud of Zeir and Pen, up to which one may investigate from the day of creation until the end of heaven of the Chesed of Zeir and Pen, from here and further, which are Keter, Shachma, and Bana of Zeir and Pen, one may not inquire there because that place is hidden and concealed 219, therefore praise Hashem from the heavens, praise. Him in the heights allude to the two sides right and left, namely Chesed and Burit of Zeir and Pen, whence emanate all the others, Firot downward in the mystery of the grades to be properly corrected, praise him, all his angels, Tehillim 1482, these are the two pillars, Netzach and Hod, standing underneath the body, Tiferet, so it may lean on them 220, come and see these pillars upon which the body stands pertain to the secret of the angels about whom it was said, praise him, all his angels for the these are the messengers of the body to go from place to place of the secret are also those called angels the messengers that go from place to place at the behest of their master 221 praise him all his hosts Sibidu. this is the place from where all the holy high armies come out it is the secret of the sign of the holy covenant namely is it of zeir and pen it is marked upon all the tens of thousands issuing from it as it is written hashem Sevi, it is his name yeshayah 482 meaning that this sign is marked upon all the rest of the armies and multitudes 222 praise him sun and moon tehillim 1483 the secret of all the spirit of zeir and pen is based on the sun because the sun is typhoid of zeir and pen its main part and all the rest of the spirit are but comprised within typhoid so the sun shines and in it are the illuminating high stars and the constellations as we explained afterwards it returns up high to the place in the height of heights by where all of them are stored Meaning that the Mokin of Zeir Anpin and Malchut and Briya Yitzra and Asiyah emanate from there. This place is alluded to in Praise Him Heavens of Heavens Ibit 7 because the heavens are Zeir Anpin and the heavens of heaven are Bunda Van. Praise Hashem from the earth Ibit which is Malchut of Zeir Anpin corresponding to the rest of the verse Fire and Hail Ibit 223. Come and see the stars below exist upon what they draw from the high secret in Zeir Anpin for their existence is based upon the supernal pattern as was already explained. That is why all the stars and constellations from the height of the firmament Zeir Anpin rule the world beneath them from that place. Grades are spread down to the stars below in this world which have nothing under their command for we have already explained that all are ruled by a higher authority about that speaks the verse. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers stand up and save you. Yeshayah 4713 all is by permission from above as explained. Section 24 The mountain of Hashem's house shall be established on top of the mountains. Rabbi Yussi explains that the end of days refers to the time when God will visit the daughter of Jacob and raise her up from the dust and the sun will be united with the moon. The mountain of Hashem's house refers to the higher Jerusalem that will shine with the supernal light of Zir and Pen and it will be seven times brighter than before. He tells us that the light of the sun is Zir and Pen and the light of the moon is Malchut. The top of the mountains refers to the high priest Chesed and the mountains are Chesed, Bura and Tiferet. Rabbi Yussi reveals the inner meaning of and they made the tunics of fine linen and the mitre of fine and goodly turbans of fine linen When the priest awakens below in the tabernacle when he spreads his hands over the congregation and the candles are burning, a priest also awakens above at the end of times God will depose all the Chieftains in charge over the other nations, and only he shall be exalted. Lastly, Rabbi Yossi speaks of the secret of 6224, and they made the tunics of fine line and the mitre of fine line in Shema 3927 to 28. Rabbi Yossi opened the discussion with the verse, and it shall come to pass in the end of days that the mountain of Hashem's house shall be established on the top of the mountains. Yeshua 22, and it shall come to pass in the end of days refers to the time when the Holy One, blessed be He, will visit the daughter of Jacob and raise her from the dust, and the sun will be united with the moon, namely Zeir and Pen and Malchut. Then the mountain of Hashem's house shall be established, referring to celestial Jerusalem, which is Malchut, which shall be constructed with all its establishments and shining with the supernal light, for all its lights are established only by the supernal light of Zeir and Pen. At that time, the supernal light will illuminate it seven times what was before as it is. Written and the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. Yeshua 30 26. The light of the sun is Zeir and Pen, and the light of the moon is Malchut 225. On the top of the mountains, he asks, Should it not be said, Tops of the mountains, what is top? He answers, The light it will then have is on the top of the mountains, who is the top of the mountains. The high priest, namely Chesed of Zeir and Pen, is the top of the mountains for Chesed Bura. And Tiferet are called mountains, and Chesed is their top. It is altogether of the right side, Chesed, and the one to build the house, which is Malchut, and bless it so its face may shine. Therefore, it is written, It shall be established 226. With what shall he ready it with garments resembling what is above, like Zeir and Pen, as explained, these garments are all in the secret of six Hepshish, Chesed Bura, Tiferet, Netzach, Hot, and Yezid, included in Chesed, the secret of the high priest. This is it. Inner meaning of and they made the tunics of fine linen hepshish and the mitre of fine linen hepshish and goodly turbans of fine linen hepshish and when the house is built on the top of the mountains the high priest Jesus of Zeir and it will be elevated into the high existence by and the world will be illuminated by that supernal light within by and shall be exalted above the hills Yeshua 222 means above the rest of the supernal armies and legions and all the nations shall flow to it of 227 come and see when the priest below in this world spreads his hands the upper spirit by comes out to illuminate then all the candles the spirit of Zeir and burn and lights flow shining and joining together until the face of the congregation of Israel Malchut becomes radiant all this is done by the first light the priest Jesus when the priest awakens below a priest awakens above by the deeds below there is awakening above 228 therefore the mountain of Hashem's house shall be established on the top of the mountains and all the nations shall flow to it whereas now all the rest of the heathen nations have a chieftain in charge over them in the firmament at that time the Holy One blessed be he shall set fire to them and depose them from their sovereignty as it is written and it shall come to pass on that day that Hashem shall punish the host of the high ones on high Yeshayah 24 21 since they will fall from power the Holy One blessed be he alone shall be exalted as says the verse and Hashem alone shall be exalted in that day Yeshayah 217 then all the nations shall flow to it and many people shall go and say come and let us go up to the mountain of Hashem to the house of the Elohim of Jacob Ibn 2 to 3 229 all this happens when the priest the top of the mountain Jesus will shine upon Malchut in the secret of six he will shine upon her through all the six directions in the secret of six section 25 Sometimes he praises himself and sometimes he humbles himself. Rabbi Lazar is walking with Rabbi Yitzhak and Rabbi Yehuda and he begins with I am small and despised yet have not forgotten your precepts. He says that at times King David used to praise himself when he was having success conquering his enemies yet when he found himself in trouble he would humble himself before God because of this God elevated him over everyone and wants him to be king in the world to come as well in the same way. That the moon is dark when the sun turns his face away from her yet radiant when the sun turns his face toward her David reflected the face of Zir and Pen 230 Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Yitzhak and Rabbi Yehuda were walking on the way Rabbi Lazar said it is time to walk with the Sheshanah because the Sheshanah will not hover above us unless we utter words of the Torah Rabbi Yehuda said let the leader begin 231 Rabbi Lazar opened the discussion and said I am small and despised yet have not Forgotten your precepts, Tehillim 119,141. I am small and despised. King David used to praise himself at times as it is written, and whose mercy to his anointed to David and to his seed forevermore. Tehillim 1851. And the saying of David, the son of Yeshai, and the saying of the man raised on high, the anointed of Elohim of Jacob, two small, 231. And sometimes he would abase himself, saying, For I am poor and needy. Tehillim 861. And I am small and despised. He said, The stone which the builders rejected is become the chief cornerstone. Tehillim 11,822, 
days. Hashia 35 David is a king in this world and David will be king in the world to come. Therefore he said the stone which the builders rejected is become the chief cornerstone 234. Come and see when the sun's eir and turns its face away and shines not upon the moon. Malchut the light passes from the moon and she does not shine. She is then poor on all sides and dark without light at all. And when the sun faces her again and shines upon her, her face is radiant and she adorns herself for him the sun like a female adorning herself for a man and then she rules the world 235 therefore David used to adorn himself in the same way like the moon for David corresponds to Malchut sometimes he is poor and sometimes rich in every way that is why he says I am small and despised and yet I have not forgotten your precepts thus it behooves a man to consider himself lowly and debase himself in also as to become a vessel favored by the holy one blessed be he this was already explained concerning the verse with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit Yeshua 5715 and after this introduction I will be the first to utter words of the Torah thus he answered the words of Rabbi Yehuda saying that the leader will speak first section 26 measuring line and measuring read Rabbi Lazar opens with and he brought me there and behold there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of brass with a thread of flax in his hand and a Measuring reed and he stood by the gate he explains that the appearance of brass meant that the man the messenger Gabriel shone with brightness and holiness he talks about the measuring reed and the measuring line and about how the measuring line was knotted to do the measurements for the tabernacle when it was under construction he reveals the meaning of how Cupid was used and mentions the 32 paths of wisdom he also emphasizes the numbers 4, 7 and 28 we are told that there is measurement both above and below in Bana and in Malchut he speaks of the 10 curtains and their measurements and the sacred colors alluding to Chesed, Vira, Tiferet and Malchut the curtains allude to poverty and judgment and they cover and protect holiness so that nothing outside can derive nourishment from them holiness is kept inside and the other side is outside therefore holiness is compared to a nut that has the fruit inside Rabbi Lazer explains how adding to letters to numbers actually Lessons their value we hear that the measuring line was also used to measure the size of the boards that are the secret of the seraphim and Bria he goes into great detail about the size of the proportions of the boards and the secret of the measurements the curtains of the tabernacle are the secret of heaven and their inner meaning comes out of the number 32 there are curtains of good and curtains of evil so that people can learn to distinguish between good and evil and can begin to know the wisdom and everything they can learn to distinguish between something that is established by wisdom and something that is not next there is a description of the measurements of the ark and we hear that it also enables the discernment of good and evil Rabbi Lazer tells us that all the measuring done by Ezekiel for the mansion was with the measuring reed rather than the measuring line because he was working with stone and things that would not change but in the future his mansion will expand on all sides and there will be no judgment in the world he concludes by saying that when God renews the world it will be finally connected to the upper world and all will be one 236 he opened the discussion with the verse and he brought me there and behold there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of brass with a thread of flax in his hand and a measuring reed and he stood by the gate Yashiskel 403 what Ezekiel saw in the mirror of prophecy was that man who was a messenger clothed in linen namely Gabriel 237 here he says man not the man clothed in linen Yashiskel 102 for when he is on errand to deal judgment or show it in a vision he is clothed in linen but on a different mission he is differently clothed as the mission differs so do his appearance and clothes according to the mission indeed he is always of the left side Gabriel is on the left side of the chariot dressed in various clothes and his attendants of his side 238 whose appearance was like the appearance of brass here he is clad with the garment of mountains of brass called in the scripture mountains of brass Zechariah 61 and he Gabriel brings measurement with him with which to measure 239 this measurement namely the measuring reed is not the hard spark stored and concealed but the measuring reed come down from the hard spark coated by the light left by the holy spark when it was gone up to be engraved upon the scintillating unknown sapphires therefore this measuring reed is present in the measuring below in this world 240 sometimes the measuring reed is used and sometimes the measuring line therefore there is the thread of flax which is the measuring line and the measuring reed with which to measure all the measurements done by Ezekiel were made by the measuring reed and not by the thread of flax which is the measuring line at the construction of the tabernacle all the measurements were made by the measuring line 241 in the tabernacle in the Lower measurement by the measuring line they used the thread of flax when it expanded there was a knot each cubit up to each knot there was one cubit length and he measured using the unit of cubit and though he measured a number of cubits it is termed cubit in the singular it is therefore written 28 cubit and the breadth 4 cubit Shema 369 and not 4 cubits because he was measuring using one cubit on each side meaning he was not using new cubits but the same cubit multiplying it along. Besides 242 this measurement line comes out of the mystery of the high luminary bina and the measurement below in Malchut is derived from the measurement above bina the measurement below contains 1500 aspects 12,000 cubits each and they are all measured by the same cubit as each cubit expands to grasp besides this cubit of the measuring line measures it and the measuring line expands to produce a second cubit and measures another cubit the same in all. Measurements 243 28 cubit is the length of 1 cubit and the breadth 4 cubit refers also to the same cubit it is found that 1 cubit is the length of 32 measures as it is said and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure Yeshayah 4012 these 32 measures correspond to the 32 paths of wisdom going out from above 244 when the length was measured and was found to contain 4 sides corresponding to Chesed Bura Tiferet and Malchut 7 cubits to each Chesed Bura Tiferet Net Sash and Malchut the 7 cubits to each of the 4 sides in the secret of 7 amounting to the length of 28 because 7 is the most high mystery for 7 is the secret of Malchut the secret of lower Chakma and all the 32 paths of wisdom are included in the 7 in the secret of the holy name namely the secret of Malchut called holy name 245 you may say that it is written the curtains were all of one size Shema 369 meaning that they are many cubits were curtain and the scripture should say they were all of one size to this he replies assuredly they were all of one size that is one cubit and though the measuring line expands one cubit after another it adds nothing to the first cubit all is in the secret of the mokin of the luminary above bina so there will be one measurement above and below in bina and in malchut 246 this is a measurement pertaining more to holiness and there is another measurement that covers the ten curtains which is inside namely the covering of the curtains of goat's hair one unit that covers the other is 34 in number the curtains inside are 32 in number this is the mystery of covering 32 inside and 34 outside 247 he explains since the former measurement is sacred with the sacred colors of fine twine linen and blue and purple and scarlet shema 368 these are sacred colors alluding to chesed bura tiferet and malchut linen being chesed scarlet bura purple tiferet and blue malchut it's wholesome Amounts to 32, 28 in length and 4 in breadth altogether 32 the other measurement of goat's hair curtains which is outside covering the former amounts to 34 in number dollar length namely 30 in length and 4 in breadth to this alludes a verse blessed is he who considers the poor Havdal Hashem will deliver him in the day of evil Tehillim 412 meaning that in the day of evil of judgment Hashem will deliver him for the curtains of goat's hair allude to poverty and judgment covering and protecting holiness which is curtains of fine twine linen so that the external forces would not nourish from them 248 the secret of reckoning inside of the curtains of fine twine linenis the secret of the 32 paths of wisdom of the reckoning outside it is said and you shall make curtains of goat's hair shema 267 why goat's hebizim if the name goats indicates severe hebizim and rigorous judgment he answers the secret of its color gives it a place in the secret of holiness by its Covering the holiness hence there is need of curtains of goat's hair for the judgment in them protects holiness so the external forces would not be united with it namely with the curtains of fine twine linen it is written I went down into the garden of nuts Sher Hasharim 611 this verse was explained nevertheless as the nut has a shell encircling it and covering its fruit and its fruit is inside so is everything pertaining to holiness holiness is inside and the other side outside this is the inner
It amounts to 34 dollar lane the most severe connotation of poverty being poor head down and that is why what is added lessens 250 but when it lessens the reckoning it is elevated rising to the secret of 32 paths of wisdom the secret of the whole faith malchute the secret of the holy name therefore diminishing is rising and adding is diminishing this one adds yet diminishes and that one diminishes yet adds the one inside is the curtains of fine twine blend in the secret of diminishing yet adding and the other outside namely the curtains of goat's hair is the secret of adding yet lessening 251 the measuring line started to stretch and measured the size of the boards as it is written and he made boards for the tabernacle of acacia wood standing up shema 3620 these boards are the secret of the seraphim in the world of Briah. it was established that it is said acacia wood standing up and seraphim were standing up yeshea 62 both verses refer to seraphim 252 the Measurements are, the length of the board was 10 cubits and the breadth of the board 1 cubit and a half shema 3621 it is written 10 cubits and not 10 cubit as said of the curtains these 10 cubit are 3 times 3 which are 9 corresponding to chakma bonnet at chesed viru tifer at net sash hot and yesed of the seraphim and one hovering above them the spirit hovering over them 253 we already mentioned the size of the cubit 28 in length and 4 in breadth 32 in all in. Here the proportions are 11 and a half 10 in length and 1 cubit and a half cubit in breadth 11 and a half cubits in all amounting to 12 but do not amount because they are one half short for the wheels are missing it was explained in relation to the mystery of the holy chariot that there are 20 boards 10 to the right side and 10 to the left side reaching up to the high seraphim and the secret of holiness rises until all are awakened in the secret of the middle bar that is. Why they have but an incomplete half being only 11 and a half instead of the complete 12 254 the secret of this measurement of 11 and a half multiplied by the 20 boards is 230 all this is subject to measuring and reckoning each number measured in the measuring pertains to the secret of the seraphim 255 the curtains of the tabernacle which we said to contain high mysteries are the secret of heaven namely zeir and it was explained in the secret of the verse who stretches out the heavens like a curtain tail in 1042 their inner meaning comes of the said reckoning 32 there are curtains pertaining to one principle the curtains of fine twine line and there are curtains pertaining to another principle the curtains of goat's hair all is within the secret of above of the aspect of heaven for us to know wisdom in each and every aspect and thing therefore man distinguishes between good and evil namely between the curtains of fine twine linen which are good and the curtains of goat's hair which are evil between the secret of chakma and something not established by chakma but by chesedim namely between the curtains of fine twine linen under the rule of chesedim and the boards under the rule of chakma in the secret of the first measurement in the secret of cubit it was explained how many aspects it embraced namely 1500 aspects 12000 cubit each 256 this is the secret of the ark which is reckoned whence it takes whence it receives and what it possesses he explains it takes from the two sides right and left also whatever it receives is from the same two sides therefore there is one cubit on the side right and one cubit on that side left and a half cubit it has on its own hence it is written two cubits and a half was the length of it shema 371 two cubits from the two sides right and left and a half of its own regarding length it is one cubit and a half wide and high one cubit from the side which takes more the same as it took from right and left and a half of its own for a thing dwells but upon some substance hence there is a half in each and every reckoning and that is why the ark which is Malchut receives from all and is found to contain the secret of the reckoning of them all 257 it was explained why the ark was inlaid with gold inside and outside which is the secret of the inclusion of the illumination of chakma that is called gold this is the dimension established in the first measurement of the said curtains and everything is based on the same principle the table two fits the first measurements of the curtains 258 but the dimensions of the ark found in the secret of the torah and the first dimensions of the curtains mentioned by my father rabbi shimon were not to be made more use of than he revealed to the superior wise men so they may know from it the secret of wisdom and distinguish between good and evil between supernal wisdom and the other Wisdom in Malchut all the other constructions of the tabernacle were measured by the cubit like the curtains except for the measuring of the breastplate which was made by the span as was explained 259 come and see all the tunics of Aaron and his sons were made in the mystery of holiness and though there are no sizes mentioned it was all in the secret of six chesed including the six directions chesed bura tifer at net sash hot and yezid and made by six threads the secret of chesed bura tifer at net sash hot and yezid of zeir and been established and existing by six all that was made in the tabernacle was to be dressed by and corrected by the six chesed bura tifer at net sash hot and yezid of zeir and been and in the secret of six chesed 260 all the measurements in the tabernacle were in the secret of the measuring line the measurements made by Ezekiel were made by the measuring reed because that house is destined to remain with the same walls and stone walls the same entrances. And the same doors everything according to measure but in the future by the measurements of the mansion of Ezekiel which will be in the future it is said of that measure the side chambers were broader as they wound higher and higher yes 417 for when they will start to build using the measuring reed it will stretch higher and higher in length and breadth the mansion will expand on all sides and none will think ill of it as explained by the verse and Damascus shall be his resting place. Zechariah 91 for at that time there will be no judgment upon the world and all will be established firmly and completely as it is said and be troubled no more neither shall the children of wickedness torment them anymore 2 Samuel 710 261 come and see all the measuring and measurements mentioned of the house of Ezekiel are all present in this world so it may be a reflection of above to connect this world to the upper world so all will be one in one mystery but at that time when the holy one blessed be he will bestir himself to renew the world and all the worlds will be in the secret of one like the upper world and the glory of the holy one blessed be he will be in them all and in that day shall Hashem be one and his name one Zechariah 149 his name the secret of Malchut is one on its own like Yudhi Hei Bavhi section 27 the names of Mem Bet 42 and I in Bet 72 Rabbi Yehuda opens with the council secret of Hashem is with them that fear him and his covenant to make them know it one of the explanations he offers is that people who fear sin are afraid of the sublime mysteries and therefore do not study them but they may know and understand the secrets he talks about the world being engraved with 42 letters engraving is explained as the light being covered and withheld the letters create the world above and the world below the world of unity and the world of duality when the letters are then called mountains of separation next Rabbi. Yehuda returns to a discussion of the Urim and the Tumim that are described as the secret of 72 engraved letters that reveal the light of Chakma. Rabbi Yehuda talks about the letters Hay and Bob and how the tabernacle was created using these letters when he built the tabernacle. Bet Salal combined the letters and did the work with different combinations of them, also using the combinations of the letters of the holy name. But when he started to erect the tabernacle, he couldn't do it because only Moses knew what the letters wanted. Therefore, the tabernacle was erected by Moses 262. Rabbi Yehuda then opened the discussion with the verse The council secret of Hashem is with them that fear him and his covenant to make them know it. Tehillim 2514 It means that the sublime secret is stored and available only for them that fear him who fear the Holy One. Blessed be he always, they are worthy of these sublime secrets to keep them which are hidden and concealed, being supernal mysteries. But the secret of and his covenant to make them know it is that it refers to the holy covenant to make them know it as this place may be revealed and known 263 there is another explanation of the council secret of Hashem is with them that fear him these secrets have the aspect of fear they who fear sin are afraid of these sublime mysteries and do not study them but and his covenant to make them know it means they may know and understand the things that will explain the secrets 264 come and see the world Malchut had been engraved with and exists by 42 letters covering the lights and withholding them is engraving revealing them is existing namely Mokin that sustains that grade they are all a crown for the holy name for the name of 42 is the secret of the first three Sphira Kita Shakma and Bana that are made a crown to Malchut called name when they are united the 42 letters to give plenty they go up with its letters to Bana where they were first revealed and go down to Zeir and, and make themselves in IT into crowns to the four directions which are Chesed, B
and the lower world Malchut they establish and contain the mystery of all the worlds and for their being their secret it is written the secret of Hashem is with them that fear him this is a secret of the engraved letters in the name of 42 which is revealed in its engravings 268 it is written and you shall put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Tumim Shema 2830 it was explained that the meaning of Urim and lights is that they illuminate in the secret of the shining Mirror namely Zeir and Pen and this is the engravings of the letters of the holy name in the secret of 42 with which the worlds were created the letters were sunken into it the Tumim refer to the secret of the letters contained in the mirror which does not shine which is Malchut shining with the 72 engraved letters in the secret of the holy name the name of 72 is the secret of revealing the light of Shachma that is within Malchut together they are called Urim and Tumim 269 come and see. When the letters of the name of 42 are sunken into the breastplate of judgment by that power of the sunken letters other letters of the tribes shine now illuminating now darkening according to the secret of the letters of the holy names we mentioned the name of 42 these letters of the holy names of 42 embrace the secret of the Torah they are revealed within Zeir and been called Torah and all the worlds were created in the secret of these letters these names of 42 were hidden and sunken in the breastplate and the letters of the names of the tribes stood out above hence everything springs from the secret of these letters we already explained everything 270 we learned in relation to the secret of the letters in the Torah that the letter bet starts the Torah the letter bet of Bereshit in the beginning it has been explained that it created with the supernal power using the strength of the mystery of the 42 letters meaning the name 42 bet is female namely Malchut and Aleph is Male namely Zeir and Ben as Bet created so did Aleph issue all the 22 letters the secret of the particle E.T. Aleph Tav including all the letters from Aleph to Tav 271 the letter A of the Heb High Heaven indicates uniting with the Heaven namely the influence of Bina upon the Heaven which is Zeir and Ben to give it life and inspire it with Mokin it is upon the letter Vav of Enhebi the Earth which is Zeir and Ben to nourish Malchut called Earth and supply it with what it needs this is the secret of in the beginning Heaven and the Heb E.T. Earth Bereshit 11 Vav joins the particle E.T. though it should have joined the Earth this indicates the set of 22 letters issued by Vav for E.T. includes the 22 letters from Aleph to Tav from which the Earth Malchut is sustained the Earth then embraces them into itself according to the verse all the rivers run into the sea at the sea is not full Kahilat 17 meaning that all the channels of plenty of Zeir and Ben flow into Malchut. Called C, this is the secret of and the heavy ET earth as Malchut gathers all into her and receives them. The earth took the letter Bob and nourished upon IT 272. This is a mystery. Why the tabernacle was erected only by Moses since from that side of Moses Zeir and another high grade by the best bird itself to establish the tabernacle Malchut. So there will be sustenance for all. This is the secret of and Moses erected the tabernacle Shema 4018 erecting it by these letters with which heaven and earth were created referring to the name of 42 273. So Betzalel carried out all the work of the tabernacle using the secret of the engraved letters with which heaven and earth were created namely the name 42. He was therefore called Betzalel since he knew the engraving of these letters with which heaven and earth were created unless he knew them he could not have done the work in the tabernacle. The sense thereof is that as the upper tabernacle was built and all its actions. Done only by the secret of these letters of the name 42 so here in the tabernacle below nothing was built save by the secrets of these letters 274 bits Allah was combining the letters of the name 42 and did the various works with different combinations thereof he used each combination to do one task and all that pertains to it and so with all the works in the tabernacle together with its parts and amendments he used combinations of the letters of the holy name 42 275 when he started to erect the tabernacle he could not set it up why because the will and meditation regarding coming from these letters of the name 42 was given to no one but Moses who knew the wish concerning these letters and therefore the tabernacle was erected by him as it is written and Moses erected and Putan set Shema 4018 to 19 but bits Allah did not know and therefore could not build it section 28 he asked life of you Rabbi Yitzhak begins with the king joys in your strength Hashem and in your salvation how greatly he rejoices you have given him his heart's desire he asked life of you and tells us that David sang this in praise strength is the joy of studying the Torah and the king refers to God in he asked life of you and you did give it him length of days forever and ever we learned that King David only lived 72 years and that these years were actually taken from Adam who had a thousand years but only used 930 lastly Rabbi Yitzhak talks about the time when the temple will be rebuilt again in the future 276 Rabbi Yitzhak then opened the discussion and said the king joys in your strength Hashem and in your salvation how greatly he rejoices you have given him his heart's desire he asked life of you tell him 212 to 5 David sang this in praise of the congregation of Israel Malchut which the Holy One blessed be he gladdens with the joy of Torah called strength as it is written Hashem will give strength to his people tell him. 2911 This is the meaning of the king joys in your strength. The king joys refers to the Holy One. Blessed be he called king as it is written and there was a king in Yeshurun Devarim 335 277 and in your salvation how greatly he rejoices. This is the salvation of the right which is Chesedim as you say save with your right hand Tehillim 607 and his right hand shall save him in how greatly he rejoices. Have Yagel and extra Yad written Yagel instead of Yagel it is the secret of the sign of the Holy Covenant in which all rejoice namely is it all is said of the king who is Zeir and Pen 278 he asked life of you and you did give it him length of days forever and ever Tehillim 215 we learn from here that King David had no life whatsoever except what Adam gave him of his own it was established that King David lived 72 years the 70 years given him by the Holy One blessed be he from the years of Adam who had 8,000 years to live according to the secret of the verse on the day that you eat, Bereshit 217, a day of the Holy One, blessed be he last 8,000 years, but Adam lived only 930 years, and the 70 he gave to King David, David lived upon them and was given longevity in this world and in the world to come. The verse he asked life of you and you did give him refers to this matter 279, his glory is great, Tehillim 216, because he is great as it is written, great is our master and of great power, Tehillim 1475, assuredly. Zeir and Pen is called great, this is the secret of an Elohim made the two great lights, Bereshit 16, surely they were great, even Malchut called moon was as great as Zeir and Pen called sun with all that Zeir and Pen is called great as it is said, great is our master and of great power, but Malchut is not called great since it diminished the Holy One, blessed be he is not called great only by the words great is Hashem and highly to be praised in the city of our Elohim in the mountain of his Holiness Tehillim 482 meaning that Zeir and Pen is great only in the city of our Elohim in the mountain of His Holiness which is Malchut 284 you put blessings upon him forever Tehillim 217 for you put blessings upon him because Malchut is a blessing of the whole world and all the blessings of the world emerge from here and it is a blessing this is the secret of and you shall be a blessing Bereshit 122 because here in Malchut dwell all the blessings of above and hence they go into the whole world it is therefore called a blessing 281 it is written here you make him glad Tehillim 217 and Jethro rejoiced Shema 189 in the latter verse there was joy for the redemption of Israel from Egypt in the former also for redemption that the Holy One blessed be he is destined to raise the congregation of Israel Malchut from the dust keep it in the secret of the right and renew it like the moon is renewed by the sun 282 it is written you make him glad with your Countenance Tehillim 217 meaning that he will be before you gladly in front of you with the perfection achieved at the time namely in the future for at the time the temple was destroyed Malchut emptied of her fullness as it is said she that has borne seven languages here Maya 159 and I shall be filled with her that is laid waste Yashiskel 262 for in the future she will be renewed again section 29 and they brought the tabernacle to Moses we are told here of it. Time when Moses erected the tabernacle and everything in it was brought before him he was unable to enter into the tent of testimony because of the cloud that was in it a comparison is drawn to a wife preparing herself and adorning herself for her husband as Mal
Answers it was then the time of the spousals of Moses Zeir and Ben and therefore they brought the tabernacle Malchut to Moses like a bride coming to the house of the groom for first the bride should be brought to the groom as it is written I gave my daughter to this man to wife the barum 2216 then he comes to her as said and went into her bear she 382 and Moses went into the tent of testimony Bimit bar 1723 which is Malchut 285 it is written and Moses was not able to enter into the tent of testimony because the cloud rested on it Shema 4035 the senses that it adorned itself as a woman prepares and adorns herself for her husband and when she does so it is not fit that her husband should enter to her therefore Moses was not able to enter into the tent of testimony because the cloud rested on it for this reason they brought the tabernacle to Moses also Moses saw all the work Shema 3943 286 come and see in all the works of the tabernacle the blue color was present because it is adorned in the secret of all the colors being the secret of the black light in the candle upon which rests the white light it is written and they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold and they tied to it a lace of blue Shema 3930 this we explained in the secret of the verse and you shall make a plate of pure gold and engrave upon it like the engravings of a signet holiness to Hashem Shema 2836 and wrote upon it a writing like the engravings of a signet holiness to Hashem Shema 3930 section 30 the traps the section tells about the turning wheels of light that are called traps they are described as the judgments of the left column and they travel and turn around the world there is one great pillar thrust into the abyss and stones within the abyss and many wheels revolving around the pillar we read that above the pillar is a wheel that is present in 12,000 worlds and it revolves within the tabernacle at both turns and does not turn in the tabernacle is a crier who proclaims beware of the turning wheel Rabbi Shimon says that anyone who understands may have access to the high secrets and the keys hidden within the holy tabernacle he ends by saying how happy those people are who put their strength in God and who are chosen by him to sift it and 287 in the high mysteries namely the highlights there are traps the judgments of the left column these lights go up and down and the traps remain at there Place these lights are turning wheels they exist from the time that the dust was gathered and the wheels turn around the world and circle at 288 when they circle the deserts the ruling of the receiving of chakma is within them there is one wheel among them which turns and turns not present in 12,000 worlds it is in the midst of the wheels rising and traveling among them 289 under that fourth wheel stands one pillar thrust into the great abyss in the great abyss stones roll within abysses going up and down that one pillar stands upon them moving yet not moving thrust from above to below 220 other wheels are turning around that pillar 290 he explains the other wheel above the thrust pillar namely the fourth wheel that is present in 12,000 worlds turns around within the tabernacle look of zeir and been turning and turning not that tabernacle stands upon 12,000 worlds in it there is a crier proclaiming beware of the turning Will 291 Whoever has understanding eyes he may know and behold the wisdom of his master and know most high matters where the keys of his master are found hidden within the holy tabernacle they are happy in this world and happy in the world to come of them it is written happy is the man whose strength is in you and whose heart are your highways tell him 846 and happy is the man whom you choose and causes to approach to you that he may dwell in your courts we will be satisfied with the goodness of your house your temple tell him 655 end of Tisipta section 31 the letters of Yudhei Vavhei are like the letters of Adonai we are told that the mystery of the tabernacle that is like the mystery of the ark includes the secrets of the holy name Adonai as can be seen in behold the ark of the covenant of the Lord Adon of all the earth Rabbi Shimon explains how the letters in Adonai are like the letters Yudhei Vavhei and tells about their numerical Significance he says that the tabernacle below on earth and the upper tabernacle Adonai and the third tabernacle that is even higher by are all comprised within each other that the tabernacle may be one two hundred and ninety two within the mystery of the tabernacle are found high secrets of the holy name Adonai the mystery of the tabernacle resembles the supernal mystery of the ark as it is written behold the ark of the covenant of the master Hebadon of all the earth Yahashua three hundred and eleven the master of all the earth is the holy secret of the name Adonai it reflects the holy name Yudhei Vavhei because the letters Adonai are like the letters Yudhei Vavhei two hundred and ninety three he explains Aleph of Adonai is like Yud of Yudhei Vavhei which is half of the mystery of the Yud fully spelled is like Aleph for in the shape of the letter Aleph there is Yudhei Vavhei in the middle and Dalit below namely Yudhei Yudhei Vav Dalit this was established Dalit of Adonai is the secret of Hey of Yudhei Vavhei which is I am a because when Malchut serves as a garment to the left column of Ima, it is called Dalit. The one resembles the other, all in one mystery and manner. It was explained that none of Adonai is the secret of the letter Vav of Yudhi Vav, which is Tiferet. The central column and the Vav is male and none is female. They were combined within one another. Tiferet of Adonai, which is Malchut. The secret of none is included within Tiferet of Yudhi Vav, which is Zeir. And the secret of Vav it was explained that none and Vav are in the middle combined together. None is the center of the letters numerically counted in units of tens. Yudhi equals ten. Caf equals twenty. Lamet equals thirty. Mem none same. Ayin pays eighty. And Vav is the center of the letters numerically counted in units of one. Aleph equals one. Bet equals two. Gimel Dalit Vav Zayin Chetet of Yudhi Vav is the secret of Yud of Adonai, which is Malchut. Since the Yudhi in here is little Chakma called the wisdom of Solomon. Two hundred and ninety-four. The letters are comprised within. One another, the four letters of Adonai included within the four letters Yudhi Hei Vav Hei, they all belong to the same principle, including the one and the other, everything being one, everything is one mystery by the holy letters. Therefore, the tabernacle below on earth is based on the secret of the upper tabernacle, which is Malchut called Adonai, and that upper tabernacle is in the secret of yet another tabernacle superior to all, which is by all are comprised within one another, so as to form one. Whole hence it is written that the tabernacle may be one. Shema 266, section 32, and Moses erected the tabernacle. Rabbi Shimon tells us that there is another tabernacle above, like the one that Moses erected on the earth, the wise men in, and all the wise men that carried out all the work of the sanctuary who labor on the tabernacle above are the directions of Zerant, and these directions are the paths to the sea Malchut Petzal work from the right and Haliv. Work from the left, just as the higher tabernacle is built from the right and left sides of Zerantham, we learned that on the day the tabernacle was finished, death was removed from the world, or at least it lost its dominion. The angel of death will not be removed from the world altogether until the return of Messiah. Then he will swallow up death forever. Rabbi Yehudin next tells us that when Israel made the golden calf, Moses pitched his tent outside the camp so that holiness would not be defiled. By their unholy actions, he says that when Jerusalem is finally fulfilled, the evil tire will be in ruins. Two hundred and ninety-five. It is written, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be everlasting perdition. Bimit bar two thousand four hundred and twenty. Come and see when the tabernacle was erected. It was erected by Moses, as we learned from the verse. And Moses erected the tabernacle. Shema four thousand and eighteen. No one could raise it up until Moses raised it up. It is like a queen whom no one has permission to raise up, save her husband. Also here all the craftsmen came to erect the tabernacle but could not until Moses came who was a chariot of Zeir and the husband of the queen and raised it up for he is a landlord 296 since Moses erected the tabernacle below another tabernacle was raised above it is explained that it is written was erected Shema 4017 not mentioning by whom because it was erected out of the secret of the upper world hidden and concealed by the hands of the mystery of Moses who is Zeir and to be perfected together with him 297 it is written above and all the wise men that carried out all the work of the sanctuary Shema 364 he asks if this refers to the tabernacle above who then are the wise men that carry out the work of the sanctuary there he answers these are right left and all the rest of the directions of Zeir and which are the paths and ways that gather in the sea which is Malchut the secret of the tabernacle to fill it up it is they who built and prepared the tabernacle. Above 298, the tabernacle below was built in the same manner. Betzalel and Haliaf worked one on the right side, Shesedim, and
Tabernacle was erected by Moses the strength of evil inclination departed and became subdued and lost its power at that time Samael separated the strength of the harshness of the left from the strength of the evil serpent so it could not rule over the world nor join man and lead him astray 300 Rabbi Yehuda said when Yisrael made the golden calf Moses would take the tent and pitch it outside the camp Shema 337 the sense thereof is that he saw the evil inclination walking among the men. He said the side of holiness shall not dwell within the side of defilement Rabbi Lazar said as long as the side of holiness has dominion the side of defilement does not end is subdued before holiness from here we learn that when Jerusalem will be full the evil tire shall be in ruin section 33 the secret of the camel Rabbi Yehuda wonders why Rebecca got down from the camel when she saw Isaac coming and if it was because she saw how beautiful he was Rabbi Shimon. Says that when she met Isaac it was Minja time during which there is a strict judgment she saw that this was symbolized by the camel as the secret of death Rabbi Shimon explains how the camel gamal is like requital below and says that the camel is all devouring and all exterminating always ready to work against men just like judgment and death he says that the camel brought death into the world by inciting Adam and Eve to eat from the tree of knowledge the camel's rider is Samael who came to confuse and bring death to everyone Adam attracted him and then Samael led them all astray therefore Rivka got off the camel because she saw that Isaac had strict judgment attached to him Rabbi Shimon also mentions the dross of gold that is another aspect of strict judgment 301 he opened the discussion with the verse and she said to the servant what man is this that walks in the field to meet us and the servant said Bear she 2465 in the preceding verse it is written and Rivka lifted up her eyes and when she saw Isaac she alighted from the camel of it 64 he asks why is this verse in the Torah and is it because she saw the beauty of Isaac that she alighted from the camel 302 he responds this verse contains a mystery come and see when Ripka met Isaac it was Mincha time and at that time a strict judgment bestirs itself in the world she saw the rigor of harsh judgment and that its lower part ends in a camel this is the secret of death hence she alighted from the camel for when harsh judgment is watching that camel is strengthened that is why she slipped off and did not remain seated 303 come and see this camel had Gamal is the secret of the verse and that which he has given had below he will pay him back Michelin 1917 for Gamal and Camel is similar to GMUL and requital which refers to the requital to the wicked as said alas it shall deal with the wicked for according to the deserving had Mule of his hands shall be done to him Yeshayah 311 this is a camel all devouring and all exterminating always ready against men therefore whoever sees a camel in his dream he is shown that death was decreed upon him but he was saved 304 come and see the side of defilement is called camel because it brought death to the whole world and instigated Adam and his wife to the tree of knowledge of good and evil his rider is Samael come to confuse the world and cause death to all hence he became ruler over everything it was Adam who drew him and once he did he was drawn after them until he led them astray for that reason Solomon said and come not nigh the door of her house Mishlei 58 for whoever approaches her house she comes out and attaches herself and is drawn to him 305 therefore Rivka saw Isaac with strict judgment attached to him and when she saw that he is in the secret of harsh judgment and that from that side another harsh judgment comes from the dross of gold she immediately alighted from the camel to break from it Judgment of that dross it is written the voice of Hashem rendering recompense to his enemies Yeshua 666 namely from that filth section 34 the dross of gold Rabbi Yehuda wonders why Israel chose a calf to make from the gold and not something else and he wonders who chose it as an image for Elohim Rabbi Shimon tells how the chieftain who is in charge of the strength of the sun looks like a calf and it is the sun that generates the red gold on earth he says that red is the spirit of unholiness and it is also the evil serpent that Samael rides on he draws a distinction between this referring to the Holy Spirit and these referring to the spirit of unholiness this and these being found in many verses of the Torah 306 come and see when Israel did what they did and committed that sin why did they choose a calf and not something else if you say they chose the calf this is not so they only said arise make us Elohim which shall go before us Shema 321 and Aaron wanted to detain them who then chose the calf 307 he replies assuredly this was done properly for from the side of gold the left column the dross comes out when the gold is refined from the dross of gold are spread all the aspects of the left the fusion of the refuse spread to different directions they are all of a red color the hue of gold found in the mountains when the sun is strong for the strength of the sun shines upon the gold and generates it on earth it chieftain in charge of the strength of the sun resembles a calf in his looks and is called the destruction that wastes at noonday Tehillim 916 the red fusion of the gold is coming out of the calf namely that chieftain and also all those coming from that red which is the spirit of unholiness and also all those issuing from that spirit of unholiness and spreading in the world therefore the calf was made by the fusion of the gold that Aaron threw into the fire 308 the spirit of unholiness is the evil serpent upon which rides a male, a male and a female called these so called for appearing in the world in all their several aspects the holy spirit is called this hebzot the secret of the covenant the holy sign always found on men namely the crown of yes it is also called this hebzi emask as it is written this is hashem yeshayah 259 and this is my el shema 152 but the others are called these as it is written these are your elohim israel shema 324 and these may forget yeshayah 4915 referring to the making of the golden calf yet i the secret of this shall not forget you but it is also written for these i weep each 116 because the sin of the calf called these cost them much weeping 309 another explanation of the verse for these i weep because the place called these was given permission to rule over israel and destroy the temple it is written for these i weep the secret of the matter is that for these is the side of defilement Called these which was given permission to rule I we prefers to the Holy Spirit namely Malchut called I 310 and if you say these are the words of the covenant Devarim 2869 is written as chastisement he answers assuredly so for here also there is an allusion to the other side because all these curses have existence only in these where are all the curses are found as explained that the other side is damned as it is written you are cursed above every beast Bereshit 314 for that reason these precede referring to whoever transgresses the words of the covenant also these are commandments which Hashem commanded Moses Vayikra 2734 for the precepts of the Torah purify man so he would not stray to the path of these but beware of them and stay away from them 311 you may say these are the generations of Noah Bereshit 69 assuredly the other side was there too because he begot him the father of Canaan upon which it is written curse be Canaan Bereshit 925 this is the secret of writing these that he is cursed 312 hence they are all the fusion of the dross of gold and Aaron offered gold which is of his own side the aspect thereof included in the strength of fire meaning that right is included in the left and therefore Aaron who is right was comprised within the left which is the strength of fire and all is one the side left is gold and fire section 35 the calf we learned that the golden calf gave the spirit of unholiness a place of focus in which it could strengthen furthermore even though Israel had been free of death from the time they stood upon Mount Sinai they now brought death upon themselves and upon all future generations we are told that Aaron had to be purified for seven days because if it were not for him the golden calf would not have existed Rabbi Shimon says that the golden calf is from the left side Israel had drawn upon itself the evil inclination with their worship of the calf and when they wanted to become purified again they had to offer a goat the goat being a part of the evil inclination next we are told that when the calf was made as in I threw it into the fire and there came out this calf it was made by sorcerers Rabbi Shimon tells us of successful and unsuccessful sorcerers some men are fit for sorcery and some are not in the event of the creation of the golden calf everything that was necessary for the spirit of defilement was ready and waiting a completely wasted desert enough gold and Aaron who was willing to sin in this way everything was ready for the other side and the deed was done when Aaron was ready to be redeemed he offered a calf on the altar thus executing judgment and subduing the rulers of the other side 313 the spirit of unholiness that forever dwells in the desert and found a place in which to strengthen and Yisrael though purified from the first defilement thrown by the serpent upon the world bringing death to all from it Time they stood upon Mount Sinai now the sin of the calf caused them to be defiled as before and brought death upon them again and
Because of the golden calf which is of the left side the bull is of the left side once the calf emerged there are four aspects to the left a bull a cow a calf and a heifer which are chakma and bonnet and maljud of the left it is of the left as it is written and they four had the face of an ox on the left side yashiskal 110 and an Aaron who is right the left was included once it emerged therefore he offered as a sin offering a calf as the one he made 316 that is why the spirit of defilement became stronger and ruled again over the world as before for when Yisrael committed the sin of the calf they drew upon themselves the evil inclination as before and when Yisrael became purified and wanted to purge themselves they had to offer a goat being a part of the evil inclination the said spirit of defilement 317 it is written thus they exchanged their glory for the likeness of an ox that eats grass tailum 10620 the likeness of an ox is a calf and ox is of the left side and Aaron is of the right the left was included in it strengthened by it and came out of it come and see they exchanged their glory referring to the Sheshanah that went before them for a place of defilement another L therefore defilement does not pass from the world until the time the Holy One blessed be he will remove it thence this is the meaning of and I will cause the unclean spirit to pass out of the earth Zechariah 132 as explained 318 it is written and made it a molten calf Shema 324 and I threw it into the fire and there came out this calf of it 24 indicating that he did not make it but it was made by another what does it mean then and made it he answers assuredly it is as we stated that if it were not for Aaron the spirit of defilement was not strong enough to become a part of the gold but every work needs to be done and this one was done by sorcerers 319 come and see some practice sorcery and do well and some do not succeed though they Practice in the same manner because for these practices there is need for a suitable man. 320 We know this from Bilam who was suitable for sorcery as it is written the speech of the man whose eye is open have sat him. Bimidbar 243 An open eye have sat him lit covered and a closed eye have sat him are the same for he had one of his eyes always closed and was looking askance in the other he was therefore suitable for practicing the art of sorcery it is written and shall send him away by the hand of an appointed man. Vayikra 1622 Meaning that the man is fit to do this errand and that he would not look straight before him namely he too should be deformed because the other side clings to deformity and want but whoever serves the Holy Spirit it is said for whatsoever he be that has a blemish he shall not approach a blind man nor lame. Vayikra 2118 321 In here the sin of the golden calf everything was ready to give way to the spirit of defilement so it may rule for it found a desert. Completely wasted as said venomous serpents and scorpions devarim 815 whence its power issues it found enough gold to fit it found Aaron through whom it may be strengthened by the right and be included into then the place of the other side was ready on all sides as fit it came out and the deed was done 322 whence do we know the spirit of defilement was there from what is written oh this people has sinned a great sin Shema 3231 referring to the spirit of defilement the primordial serpent we mentioned in several places when Aaron wanted to be purged he offered a calf as a sin offering to deal punishment to that side by slaughtering and offering it on the altar at first he let it rule and now he deals a judgment to subdue it because when judgment is executed upon that side all its rulers are subdued section 36 a red heifer rabbi Abba asks rabbi Shimon why the red heifer in a red heifer faultless without blemish is compared to the calf and the lemon why it should be cleansed just through roasting it Rabbi Shimon says the essence of the message is that a clean thing can be brought out of an unclean thing the heifer was unclean but by burning her to ashes she became clean she had to be burned to ashes because it is like the verse and you shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the solace of your feet when water was sprinkled on the ashes they became clean the secret of the clean water is the verse water of purifying sin after judgment was executed on the heifer she became clean and the holy spirit had dominion the spirit of defilement was no longer found in the camp 323 come and see in Egypt it was written of their side the lamb they worshipped eat not of it rob it roast with fire so its odor will rise its head with its legs Shema 129 in order to break and subdue it so all that issue from that side may not rule in the same manner it is written a red heifer faultless without blemish Bimidbar 192 that may subjugate all the sides of defilement so they may not rule 324 Rabbi Abba said to him but the red heifer is pure why then compare it to the calf and the lamb which the Egyptians worshipped and why will its burning subdue the aspects of uncleanliness he told him it is so that the heifer alludes also to their side as explained that the heifer is comprised of the four kingdoms a heifer is as is written for Israel is stubborn like a stubborn heifer Hashia 416 red alludes to the kingdom of Babylon as it is written you are the head of gold Daniel 238 gold being red faultless is the kingdom of media it is without blemish referring to the Greek kingdom upon which never came a yoke alludes to the kingdom of Edom which was never under any yoke the secret meaning is that though this verse was given several explanations they all pertain to the same mystery 325 we have studied the verse who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean not one yoke. 144 The secret of this verse is that the red heifer is a clean thing brought out of an unclean because at first she was unclean including the foresaid kingdoms now that judgment was executed on her and she was cremated by burning fire to become ashes she is a clean thing out of an unclean a clean thing brought out of an unclean 326 hence all those who busied themselves with her became defiled indeed because she was unholy and though she turned into ashes yet before being gathered and taken away she defiles them all and so it is written and he that gathers shall wash his clothes and be unclean Demid bar 19 why did she have to become ashes it resembles the verse and you shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the solace of your feet Malachi 321 for when water was sprinkled upon the ashes they became a clean thing out of an unclean 327 the secret of this matter is the verse water of purifying sin Demid bar 87 same as in sin crouches at the door Bear she 47 the heifer is also a sin crouches at the door and since she is a sin crouching at the door it is written first that he may bring her outside the camp Bimidbar 193 therefore the work was given to the adjutant priest and not to the high priest and a clean thing out of an unclean starts as impure and becomes pure and all the aspects of the side of defilement when they saw this ran away and left that place she therefore purifies the unclean 328 therefore she is of water of purifying sin and water of sprinkling unclean all of which is impure therefore after judgment was executed under the holy spirit had dominion and the spirit of defilement surrendered all its power the judgment executed on the spirit of defilement was outside the camp since that spirit is defiled it is written therefore shall your camp be holy devarim 2315 rabbi Abba approached and kissed him section 37 the hair in the tefillin rabbi shimon tells us that god gave the other side power to rule over the world in several areas we should be careful to avoid the other side's judgment and there are some secret means of doing this in the tea file and we enclose a small calf's hair with a little bit of it poking out so that the other side can see it and leave us alone seeing that we have given the other side its due if the other side is not given its due it may inflict harm and judgment on us Israel knew the secret so that when they were purifying themselves during Yom Kippur they gave the other side its share Rabbi Abba is crying because he does not understand this explanation and Rabbi Shimon comforts him saying that on the day of Rosh Hashanah God sits in judgment over the world while the other side watches carefully but the other side gets distracted by the sound of the shofar that awakens mercy and then it forgets who has been condemned to death people should protect themselves from the prosecutor's attention by sacrificing a he once a month when the moon is new he concludes by saying that Israel is blessed by the fact that God tells them how to be saved 329 Rabbi Shimon said though it is all as we said yet the Holy One blessed be he lets the other side rule and we should subjugate the spirit of defilement on all sides come and I will tell you a high secret that may not be revealed outside the circle of exalted saints 330 come and see the Holy One blessed be he gave that place the spirit of defilement power to rule over the world in several ways it can inflict harm and we may not treat it with contempt but should be careful to avoid it so it may not denounce our holiness therefore we have a secret means that we give it a small place within that which is holy for its power originates in holiness 331 ITIS in the secret of Tefilin we enclose a small calf's hair jutting out to be seen this hair does not defile unless it is big as a barley grain less than that does not bring uncleanness
he who is able to guard himself so his sins may not be mentioned above and he would not be noticed for the worst 334 meanwhile the eyes of Rabbi Abba were pouring tears because he did not understand that mystery completely Rabbi Shimon told him Abba Abba unless your girdle and see to it that you perceive because the mysteries in heaven were revealed to the meritorious as it is written the secret of Hashem is for them that fear him Tehillim 2514 335 come and see on the day of Rosh Hashanah the Jewish New Year the world is judged and the Holy One blessed be he sits in judgment over the world the other side stands on one side looking closely at and registering those condemned to death when Israel awakens mercy by the sound of the shofar it loses count and does not know nor notices the condemned until after those who do not repent are condemned to death and the orders come out of the house of the king and delivered to the other side once the orders are delivered they are not revoked until judgment is executed 336 Israel should beware of it of the prosecutor all the more so a person alone and they should be protected by means of the holy secret above because it has its root in holiness they should give it monthly when the moon balchud is new a he goat so it would not denounce the waxing but will take its deserved portion from the he goat while the holy moon balchud will suck from holiness and wax properly 337 since it waxes every month it is called a Youth as we already explained and that one the other side always immersed in defilement never to leave is called old and foolish king Kahila 413 for that reason holy Israel is the one nation in holy unison to whom the holy one blessed be he gives them advice on how to be saved from all happy are they in this world and in the world to come as it is written your people also shall be all righteous they shall inherit the land forever they shall be the branch of my planting the work of my hence that I may be glorified Yeshua 60 21 section 38 and they brought the tabernacle to Moses part 2 Rabbi Shimon talks about the vision of Ezekiel as in and above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne in appearance like a sapphire stone saying that the firmament is supported by the four animals he tells how the creatures and the wheels are lifted up to Atzalot so that Malchut goes up to Zer and Penazin and bore up the ark and it was lifted up above the earth in the verse, and they brought the tabernacle to Moses. Tabernacle is Malchut, and Moses is the secret of Zer and Ben. The likeness is the appearance of a man above upon it is the secret of man, namely Moses. Here Rabbi Shimon says that Moses is Zer and Ben. Next he offers several explanations for, and they brought the tabernacle, all of which include the concept of Malchut joining with Zer and Ben. When the wise men brought all the parts of the tabernacle to Moses, they were unable to join them all together, but he had no difficulty. This is the secret of, and Moses erected the tabernacle. Rabbi Shimon says that as the holy side gets stronger, the other side gets weaker. This is why Moses strengthened the holy side by constructing the tabernacle. Three hundred and thirty-eight, and they brought the tabernacle to Moses. Shema three thousand nine hundred and thirty-three. It is written, and above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne in appearance like a sapphire stone. Yeshua one hundred and twenty-six. This. Firmament is supported by the four living creatures when they are raised by a certain air that strikes them to raise the throne Malchut they do not lift up their heads to behold the Shechina which is the throne because of the firmament that is above them 339 once the spirit of the animal Malchut strikes them all the animals and the wheels all of them in the worlds of Bria Yitzhara and Asiyah are raised by it as it is written and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth the wheels were lifted up along with them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels Ibid 19-20 for the spirit of the animal which is Malchut raises them all 340 he asks why are they raised to Atzala and he answers that the air of Malchut strikes the four living creatures raises the four living creatures beneath that living creature Malchut and they raise it until they bring it to the supernal splendors Eir and this is the secret meaning of the verse the virgins her. Companions that follow her shall be brought to you. Tehillim 4515 for the four living creatures are thus called. They never budge from the animal which is the throne, namely Malchut, and they raise it from below upward so as to fix the throne Malchut upward towards Zeir and this is the secret of the verse and bore up the ark and it was lifted up above the earth. Bear sheet 717 and when Malchut mounts up to Zeir and and the four living creatures raise it then it is written and they brought it. Tabernacle to Moses for Malchut is called Tabernacle and Moses is the secret of Zeir and and it is the four living creatures who bring IT 341 and they brought the Tabernacle to Moses resembles the verse shall be brought to you which means that the living creatures bring Malchut it is written and they bore up the ark referring to the living creatures carrying Malchut to Moses as it is said the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. Yeshua 126 this is the secret. Of man's eir and from where do we know that Moses is called a man? Also, Adam from the verse, my spirit shall not always strive on account of man for that have Bishgam. He also is flesh. Bear sheet 63. This alludes to Moses for Bishgam has the same numerical value as Moses for that reason. Upon the throne which is Malchut stands the appearance of man, namely Moses, who is eir and therefore the scripture says, and above the firmament that was over their heads of the four living creatures in appearance like a sapphire stone was the likeness of a throne which is Malchut, and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. Yeshua 126 refers to eir and 342, and they brought the tabernacle. They being the four living creatures, bringing Malchut when they mount to Atzilut, as we said also, they and they brought the tabernacle refers to the members of the body, the sfirot of eir and all with holy yearning grasping the. Tabernacle which is Malchut so male and female may be united another explanation for and they brought the tabernacle is bringing the bride Malchut under the wedding canopy first they have to raise and bring her up to him and he will always come to her as we already explained 343 and they brought the tabernacle refers to all those righteous daily binding the knots of unison and bringing together the unison of the secret of the faith Malchut called tabernacle daily they raise the throne which is Malchut until it is brought before Moses Zeir and this verse is written of them once they connected with Moses these righteous men gain blessings from the source of life for the secret for the knots of unison they bind the secret lies in binding it properly this is the reckoned meaning of the verse and Moses saw all the work namely the UNIS own and Moses blessed them Shema 3943 for they gain the blessings from the place where lies the grade of Moses namely Zeir and are the wise men that carried out all the work of the sanctuary Shema 364 since they know how to properly carry out the work of the sanctuary by the unisons they make 344 and so whoever says his prayer and ties the knot of union he is checked to see whether the prayer and knot are in order and if they are in order he is then blessed first from the place from where all the blessings issue this is the meaning of they had done it immediately and Moses blessed them Shema 3943 345 for that reason it is written and they brought the tabernacle to Moses Zeir and the landlord to see how the house which is Malchut is fixed he should see all its constructions and secrets for no one may look and behold its secrets and mystery save Moses alone 346 therefore they brought the tabernacle to Moses the tent and all its furniture Shema 3933 when they brought it all to Moses they brought all its parts so each may be joined one to the other when they wanted to insert them one within the other themselves they could not do it only when they brought it to Moses he straightway succeeded each part advanced and fit into its place this is the mystery of and Moses erected the tabernacle Shema 4018 and the tabernacle was reared up a bit 17 which we already explained 347 come and see when Moses started to construct the tabernacle he started by fixing the parts and putting them together then all the parts and constructions of the other side became enfeebled once the holy side strengthens the other side became weak one gets stronger and the other gets weaker we already explained that while holiness is strong all the members of the other side become enfeebled the one becomes full and the other dry this is the secret of Jerusalem and the evil tire when one is full the other is ruined therefore when holiness gets stronger the other side becomes weak 348 that is why Moses erected the tabernacle so as to be strengthened by the mystery above Zeir and for Moses was a chariot to Zeir and not to be strengthened from below. Therefore Moses who was of the secret of the shining mirror Zeir and had to erect a tabernacle that would shine by his light and not by another's. The moon which is Malchut must illuminate by the light of the sun and not by that of another. Come and see the congregation of Israel. Malchut must
The two angels Michael and Gabriel the two birds offered in sacrifice are a turtle dove and a pigeon that sacrifice raises the Holy Spirit. Rabbi Laser wants to know how high the burnt offerings of the priests, the Levites and Yisrael rise. Rabbi Shimon answers that their devotion reaches all the way up to infinity. Infinity is not subject to comprehension and there are no desires, no lights and no candles. There we hear about the odor of the supernal point and the world to come and the distinction. Between odor and smell he tells about the meanings in command Aaron and his son saying and says that one of them is that when the children of Israel do as God wishes the other side cannot rule over them he also explains the various meanings of the title verse through the burnt offering we separate the other side from the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit may rise up high 349 he opened the discussion with the verse this is the Torah of the burnt offering it is the burnt offering. Vi cross 62 Rabbi Shimon said it is written Hashem you preserve man and beast tail 367 a burnt offering lit ascension is the ascension of and the bond between the congregation of Israel Malchut and Zeir and above it is its unity with the world to combine it so that everything becomes one the burnt offering considered the highest class of sacrifices lit holy of holies because of its connection to bind Malchut is therefore called burnt offering lit ascension for it ascends and Adorns itself with Zeir and Ben and Bina, so all may be in one not enjoy 350 since it goes up and up to Zeir and Ben and Bina. It is written, This is the Torah of the burnt offering, the secret of unity between male and female for this. Is the Mukba called this Torah, Is Zeir and Ben called Torah, namely the written law Zeir and Ben and the oral law Malchut. The ascension for it ascends to the world to come Bina to be connected to it for Bina is called the Holy of Holies and ascension. Is also Holy of Holies 351 for that reason it is slaughtered on the north side which is the left side because the oral law namely Malchut does not mount in love unless the north side is awakened which is the secret of the left side from where it is built as it is written, His left hand is under my head and his right hand embraces me. Sure Hasherim 26 then it ascends in love and is adorned with the right, the light of Jesus and joins the central column that combines right and left end. Shines upon everything from the secret of the Holy of Holies, which is by influenced by the mystery of man, the service of the priests, the secret of the right column, the singing of the levites, the secret of the left column, and the prayer of Israel, the secret of the central column. 352. We explain that the burnt offering is of the highest class of sacrifices in the secret of the supernal spirit to which it is a garment for three spirits are connected together to the burnt offering. The first is a lower spirit called the Holy Spirit, namely Malchut. The second is the spirit in the middle called the spirit of Shachma and Bina, which is Zeir and between Shachma and Bina, also called the lower spirit in comparison with Bina that is superior to it. But Zeir and is called the spirit coming out of the shofar comprising of fire and water. The third is the upper spirit secretly concealed, which is Bina, where all the holy spirits are and all faces shine. That is why the burnt. Offering returns to be the actual upper spirit 353 afterwards from the secret of the beast offered the external forces are sustained and nourished so as to connect and let out through IT another spirit within defilement so it may be let out namely so holy sparks may be removed from the other side by offering fat and marrow as we learn the burnt offering is the highest class of sacrifices meant holy for that which is high and there is no food in it for the external forces but the rest of the offerings bring peace to the whole world from the aspects of the forces of judgment in the world by removing them and shining and trying to mitigate them by the offerings they are called lesser holy offerings because they are not adorned above in the holy of holies by the therefore they are lesser holy offerings and may be slaughtered any place as we explained but the burnt offering which is the secret of the highest class of sacrifices is not like the rest of the offerings for all of it is holy 354 come and see it is written and the priest shall put on his linen garment vi cross 63 this is a garment for holiness alone linen had bad bet dalit means alone had blood linen bet dalit namely it is for holiness alone it is also written these are holy garments therefore shall he bathe his flesh in water and so put them on vi cross 164 why do we need all these the secret meaning of this is as we said that the burnt offering is of the highest class of sacrifices since it ascends entirely and is bedecked in the holy of holies which is bind into one bond and the spirit of defilement that defiles everything passes away and does not rule nor approaches the temples and it is removed from all the sides of holiness and all that is holy remains in holiness alone 355 rabbi shimon said we studied the verse hashem you preserve man and beast tail 367 the offering of man assuredly comes from the side of man namely studying torah and prayer and the beast comes from the side of the beast namely offering upon the altar it is therefore written if any man of you bring an offering may I cross 12 assuredly this refers to a man whose offering it is of Torah and prayer so it may tie above but not in the secret of man who is Zeir and in the secret of Yud Hey Bav Hey of 45 in numerical value the numerical value of man Adam and afterwards to be offered on the altar then ascends to Malchut the secret of Yud Hey Bav Hey of 52 in numerical value the numerical value of beast Hebbehima of the cattle of it all is in the secret of man and beast as we said this is the secret reason an offering of both man and beast is needed come and see when the Holy One blessed be he created the world he made them so man and beast 356 you may say it is written and let birds fly above the earth Beersheet 120 from which sacrifices are offered and even burnt offerings as it is written and if his offering be a burnt offering of fowls may I cross 114 come and see of the fowls only the turtle dove and young pigeons are offered and what qualifies the one disqualifies the other red qualifies the turtle dove and disqualifies the young pigeon because this one the young pigeon is of the right and red disqualifies it and that turtle dove is of the left and that is why red the color of the left qualifies it 357 but we stated that and let birds fly above the earth refers to the secret of the chariot namely the angel Michi Lupin whom rides Malchut and they are called birds by them the holy spirit Malchut is raised up to Zeir and they are two one to the right and one to the left birds to the right referring to Michael and fly to the left referring to Gabriel therefore these two birds are offered a turtle dove and a young pigeon to raise the holy spirit Malchut the left of Zeir and crowns and arms the left side below of Malchut and the same happens with the right and the wife Malchut is united with her husband Zeir and to become one and all is connected together above and below and the Holy One blessed be he alone is elevated and strengthened 358 in ancient books it is said that the poor man who sacrifices turtle doves and young pigeons does not give a portion to sustain the worlds but only to the upper union but everything above and below is joined each to its side as deserved and we already explained 359 Rabbi Lazar asked Rabbi Shimon the burnt offering is bound to the Holy of Holies by so it may shine the devotion of the service of the priests Levites and Yisrael rises above by offering sacrifice how far does it go 360 he told him we stated that their devotion reaches the endless world the object of bond unison and completeness is to hide well that which cannot be perceived or known where abides the will of all wills namely the endless world it is endless and not subject to knowledge nor did it create an end or beginning unlike the first not have I in which is Keter that produced the beginning end. And end the beginning is the supernal point, the beginning of all that is concealed existing within thought, which is Chakma for Chakma issued from Keter. It is the secret meaning of the verse, but where have I and shall wisdom be found? Iyov 2812 it also produced an end called the end of the matter. Kahilat 1213 namely Malchut the end of all the lights, but there in the endless world there is no end. 361 there are no desires, no lights and no candles, namely the lights of Bureau within that. Endless world all the candles and lights in Atzalat are dependent upon the endless world for their existence, but it in itself is not subject to comprehension that which is known but not known, namely that knowledge pertains to it, but it is not known is but the high desire most concealed of all called I in the sphere of Keter, but there is no word to describe the endless world because there is no perceiving IT 362 when the supernal point Chakma and the world to come by the mount by there. Illumination the odor alone is known the secret of the six ends of the illumination of Chakma called odor but not the first three Sfirat is known it is as if they perfume themselves by that smell this is not considered the satisfaction had Nakat called odor had Nishawash as it is written and I will not smell the savor of your sweet odors Vayikra 2631 for
Secret meaning of the matter to adorn the Holy Spirit Malchud high above and to separate the spirit of defilement and bring it down below Yisrael do this by their desire and pray the priests by offering sacrifices each one as befits him 365 this verse proves it it is written command Aaron and his son saying command refers to idolatry the spirit of defilement saying is a woman called who fears Hashem Mishlei 3130 that is Malchud it written here saying and it is written there. Saying if a man put away his wife Yermeah 31 in both cases there is reference to women and we already explained that all was said to adorn Malchud and lower the other side it is for the priest to fix everything in the secret of man and beast happy is the portion of the righteous in this world and in the world to come for they know the ways of the Torah and walk in it in the way of truth of them it is written Hashem with these things men live Yeshayah 3818 what are these things they are? The ways of the Torah men live namely in this world and the world to come 366 come and see it is written this is the Torah of the burnt offering Vayikra 62 Rabbi Shia said I explained this verse in this manner this is the Torah refers to the congregation of Israel namely Malchud it is a burnt offering lit ascension for it ascends and adorns itself up high to be bound properly to the place called Holy of Holies by the 367 another explanation this is the Torah refers to the congregation of Israel which is Malchud the burnt offering is an evil thought taking over the desire of man to lead him astray from the way of truth the burnt offering rises and denounces man it should be burnt by fire so it will not increase 368 it shall therefore be burning upon the altar all night Vayikra 62 the night is the congregation of Israel namely Malchud that purifies man from that desire it is upon the altar because the river of fire is where those should be. Burnt who are not well established, all who are made defective by the other side, they are put in the burning fire and their power is broken. It must be put upon the altar all night to subdue it, for then it is subdued and loses its power. 369 Hence, when the other side is subdued, the congregation of Israel, which is the Holy Spirit, namely Malchud, ascends to be adorned up high because it ascends whenever the other force is subjugated and separated from it. Therefore, we need by the secret of it. Offering to separate that side from the Holy Spirit, which is Malchud, and give it a portion so the Holy Spirit may rise above. Section 40 And Moses erected the tabernacle. Rabbi Shimon discusses the verse in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and talks about how Moses raised the tabernacle as if lifting someone who has fallen. He tells us that God lifted up Israel from the exile in Egypt while God did not perform miracles to raise up. Israel from the exile in Babylon he will do so in future Rabbi Shimon talks about the tabernacle that Moses built and the upper tabernacle by the that Zerampin built saying that Zerampin is the grade of Moses we hear of the three aspects that went into the erection of the tabernacle and how they subdued the other side he turns to and fastened its sockets explaining that when the sockets were fastened Samael was flushed out and fled to hide himself in a hole in the dust in that day. Refers to the day that God will judge the world Rabbi Shimon tells us how the ruins of the tabernacle will be raised on that day and the breach against the wicked will be repaired God will build the foundations of Jerusalem with sapphires because sapphires are full of the highest illumination and provide a firm foundation that the other nations will not be able to rule over at that time a supernal illumination will be added to the sapphires as well the original stones from the foundations of Zion and Jerusalem were hidden and treasured by God and he will restore them to the new foundations the angel of death will be swallowed up just as he swallowed the people for all these years Rabbi Shimon tells us that when Moses fastened the sockets in the tabernacle he bound the evil Samael up so he could not move Rabbi Shimon tells Rabbi Yossi about the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool saying that they are the firmaments where Jacob lives and the firmament where King David lives he explains the difference between a tabernacle and a temple or house emphasizing that a tabernacle travels from place to place it is not an eternal resting place it is a secret small place we learn why Moses withdrew from the construction of the tabernacle and why Bethsalel and Ahaliaf built it and are told that Moses is still considered to be the builder since he finished it 370 come and see when the temple was built and erected the other side was subdued and departed from the world when it left the world and the tabernacle was raised by Moses it was raised above and below this is the meaning of Moses erected lit raised the tabernacle Shema 4018 raised means that he raised Malchut so she would rise up high therefore scripture says and Moses erected he raised what was low as if lifting someone who fell in the same manner it is written of the future in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen Amos 911 371 it is written the virgin of Israel is fallen she shall no more rise Amos 52 he asks what is the meaning of she shall no more rise he answers she rose on another time on her own and not raised by the Holy One blessed be he for from the exile in Egypt she was raised by the Holy One blessed be he who performed many miracles in order to raise her in exile in Babylon the Holy One blessed be he did not raise her he did not perform miracles because of the sin so Malchut rose on her own and the exiles went up to Jerusalem as if they were not redeemed and as if the Holy One blessed be he had no interest in them that was because they sinned with foreign women 372 therefore the Holy One blessed be he did not raise the congregation of Israel nor performed miracles and mighty deeds as fit at that time when they returned from Babylon but in the future it is written she shall no more rise namely on her own like after the exile in Babylon but the Holy One blessed be he will raise her as it is written in that day. Will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and David their king whom I will raise up for them. Yermeah 309 that is why it is written and Moses erected the tabernacle meaning that the Holy One blessed be he erected the tabernacle for Moses is a chariot to Zeir and as Moses erected the tabernacle below so did the Holy One blessed be he erected the tabernacle which is Malchut above 373 come and see when Moses erected the tabernacle another one was erected at the same time. Namely Malchut the upper tabernacle which is by establishes and supports everything because it is concealed and stored high above and another tabernacle Malchut was erected above the tabernacle below that Moses erected and stood upon it by the strength of the tabernacle superior to all by as the tabernacle below was erected by Moses so the one above Malchut was erected by the grade of Moses Zeir and from where do we know that from the verse and Moses erected the tabernacle the particle et lit indicating that two tabernacles were established by the secret of Moses the one below and the one above which is Malchut which was also built by the grade of Moses which is Zeir and 374 Rabbi Yossi said when Moses erected not always yet made for the following verse says and fastened its sockets Shema 4018 there is no raising up until all is completed and the parts intertwined why then is it written erected Rabbi Yitzhak said Moses erected the tabernacle on Three sides of words and Moses erected the tabernacle imply the central column called Moses and fastened its sockets imply the left column for sockets have are spelled with the letters of judgment have that pertains to the left and set up its boards imply the right column by these three aspects Moses erected the tabernacle and by these aspects the tabernacle Malchut was erected and the other side subdued since Moses erected the side of holiness the other side of defilement was subjugated that is why Moses erected it and none other 375 come and see it is written and fastened its sockets at that time Samael was shaken from his place together with his forty chariots and fled four hundred parasangs to hide himself in a hole in the dust Moses brought the sockets and that side was strengthened the sockets of the other side were loosened and fell 376 he opened the discussion and said in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen Amos 911. He asks which day and he answers on the day the Holy One blessed be he will judge the world and visit the deeds of the wicked for the congregation of Israel cannot rise from the dust while the wicked still prevail it is written above all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword those that say the evil shall not overtake nor confront us if it ten the following verse says in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen 377 we should look at this verse it is written their breaches if it eleven which should have been her its breaches and his ruins if it which should have been her ruins for these words refer to the tabernacle fem of David he answers I will repair their breaches if it against the wicked of whom it is written all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword then the breach will be fixed that they did to Israel it is therefore written I will repair their breaches and not her breaches and I will raise up his ruins whose Ruins those of the t
Doors will revolve upon them because the hinges underneath give support and firmness upon which they can revolve. Why is it written fastened? Because he fixed and strengthened them with all his might at that time. The other sockets of the other side were removed. 380 come and see it is written. Remember, O Hashem, against the children of Edom, the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation thereof. Tehillim 1377. Therefore, the Holy One, blessed be he, will build it. Foundations of Jerusalem of other materials that will have power over everything. What are they? They are sapphires, as it is written, and lay your foundations with sapphires. Yeshua 5411, which make strong and superior foundations, not weak as the first ones. What is the sense thereof? The other nations could rule over the stones of the first foundations. Why? Because there is no high illumination in them, as is fitting, because their illumination is not their own, but drawn from Bina, but these. Illuminate from the high illumination, namely they will illuminate on their own and will not need joining from Bina. The illumination sinks into the abysses, so the other nations will not be able to rule over them. These sapphires will illuminate above and below. For at that time a supernal illumination will be added above and below. 381. If you say that the first foundations which were in use before the correction will be discarded, it is not so. For it is written, Behold, I will set your stones. In antimony of it said to fix what is broken with antimony, as it is said, and she painted her eyes to Melashim 930. There are stones called antimony, black by color, which women use to paint their eyes. Why does he use this? Rabbi Laser said this is a secret known to the reapers of the field, namely to those who had the merit of establishing all the corrections of the field, which is Malchut. They already reap the harvest of the field and enjoy its fruit. 382. Come and see the stones of it. Foundation of Zion and Jerusalem, heaven forbid that other nations had power over them or that they burned them, they were not burned but hidden and treasured by the Holy One, blessed be he. The foundations of the Holy Mansion were all stored and not one was lost, and when the Holy One, blessed be he, will restore Jerusalem again, these foundations of the first stones will be returned to their places and no other eyes will rule them by sight except when a man will paint his eyes with that antimony and fill his eyes with it, he will then see all the stones and all the foundations of Jerusalem standing in their places not ruled by other nations and all the other precious stones and stone buildings are all standing erect. 383 Then it is written, for they shall see I to I Hashem returning to Zion, also Hashem causing Zion to return. Yeshua 528 What does this mean? He answers when the other nations ruled over it, the Holy One, blessed be he raised it high, but at that time he will return it. To its place as it is written Hashem causing Zion to return assuredly he will return it to its place 384 come and see all that was concealed to the eye and that the eye had no permission to rule namely when the left is without the right the eye cannot control except when coal is applied to the eye namely antimony then it may see certain things that is why it is written behold I will set your stones in antimony Yeshua 5411 come and see all these stones before they were mended will be erected as foundations as before and the sapphire foundations will stand around them this is the meaning of and lay your foundations with sapphires 385 when the holy one blessed be he will erect his house Malchut then it is written he will destroy also swallow death forever Yeshua 258 swallow as in Hashem has swallowed up without pity Egypt 22 as he drank of this cup so he will drink of that as the angel of death swallowed the inhabitants of the world so he will be swallowed Himself 386 you may say that he swallowed him for a fixed time as Yisrael who were in exile for a fixed period this is not so because it is written forever forever is for all generations unlike Yisrael and unlike that time that Moses erected the tabernacle for a fixed period but forever and ever 387 and the Holy One blessed be he will raise the congregation of Yisrael which is Malchut and set the sockets of beams and the ceilings of the house in their proper settings forever and ever and ever it is written enlarge the place of your tent Yeshua 542 so that the other side will be swallowed never to rise again then the insult of his people shall he take away from off all the earth for Hashem has spoken it Yeshua 258 388 and Moses erected the tabernacle at the time when the sockets were made and put in their place the sockets of the other side were loosened and removed from their place hence it is written and fastened its sockets 389 he asks what is the meaning of fastened in and fastened its sockets Shema 4018 and he answers we learned that when Moses saw the evil Samael before him coming to accuse him Moses attacked him and bound him and erected the tabernacle and fastened the sockets as it is written and fastened its sockets fastened with force for no one was able to rule over Samael and fastened the sockets in their place like Moses because he used great force to erect them 390 the day the tabernacle was erected when Moses started to erect it was the first day of Nisan at that time the other side is loose in the world for we learned that in the days of Nisan though the head of a bull is in its fodder basket run up to the attic and drop the ladder down so it will not follow to harm you Moses started to erect the tabernacle in Nisan and saw Samael walking around him to confuse him so Moses overpowered him and then fastened its sockets he started below to fasten the sockets and one started it namely the holy one blessed be he to fasten the sockets above the one corresponds to the other 391 on the day the tabernacle was erected below another holy tabernacle was erected above which is Malchut and the upper tabernacle hidden and concealed which is binding emitted lights in every direction and the world's illuminated 392 Rabbi Yossi asked Rabbi Shimon saying three tabernacles are mentioned in the verse and on the day that the tabernacle was erected the cloud covered the tabernacle even the tent of the testimony and at evening there was upon the tabernacle as it were the appearance of fire until the morning Bimidbar 915 altogether there is mention of three tabernacles also why is it called a tabernacle and not a house for a house is needed rather than a tabernacle 393 he opened the discussion and said thus says Hashem the heaven is my throne Yeshua 661 come and see the holy one blessed be he chose Israel as his inheritance and portion and brought them near him we Established that he formed from them certain grades, namely the patriarchs reflecting those above, so as to make of all the worlds one unity above and below, as it is written, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool of it, so the high and low would form one unity. 394 Come and see, the heaven is my throne, is the firmament where Jacob dwells, who is the supernal image of the supernal holy throne, namely Jesus, Bura, and Tiferet of Zeir and Pen, and the earth is my footstool, is it? Firmament where King David dwells, Malchut, to derive pleasure from the shining mirror, Zeir and Pen, and when he wanted to expand further down from the supernal throne, he said, My footstool, which is Malchut, the house that you would build for me, if it is the temple, and where is the place of my rest, if it is the holy of holies in the lower temple. 395 Yet come and see, as long as Israel walked through the desert, they had a tabernacle until they reached Shiloh, where there was a tabernacle. Already and this tabernacle is the secret of continuation one from the other unity between one and the other so as to spread light but it was not meant for a resting place because there was no rest only when the temple was built in the days of King Solomon and there is rest above and below because rest stays there and does not travel from place to place like the tabernacle 396 therefore there is a tabernacle and a temple a tabernacle as in and I will set my tabernacle among you and my soul shall not abhor you they I cry 2611 my tabernacle means that the dwelling of the holy one blessed be he will be among Israel because it is written and my soul shall not abhor you for the illumination is not so strong since it is qualified by my soul shall not abhor you 397 he asks what is the difference between them between the tabernacle and a temple and he answers in regard to the tabernacle it is as if a king comes to his friend without all his retinue but in order not to Trouble his friend he brings with him only a small escort in regard to a temple it is as if he brought all his army and retinue to live with him in that house this is the difference between a tabernacle and a house for a temple house is an apartment for eternal resting place with all the chariots with all images all the deeds as above so that deeds below may be connected as those above a tabernacle deals in small forms few deeds it travels from place to place all is in supernal secret 398 come and see when the holy one blessed be he commanded Moses to erect the tabernacle he could not grasp it until the holy one blessed be he showed him the shape of each and everything by what means did he show him namely by white fire black fire red fire and a green fire corresponding to Chesed Bura Tiferet and Malchut it is written and see that you make them after their pattern which is being shown to you in the mountain Shema 2540 with all that it was difficult for Moses
Though he retired from the construction of the tabernacle, everything was under his supervision and under him all was done. It was named after him, and therefore it is written, and see that you make Shema 2544. Another explanation Moses withdrew from the construction of the tabernacle and gave his place to another because he wanted others to have the merit. So the Holy One blessed be he told him, See, I have called by name Betsalel with him Halif Shema 312, and it is written, and Betsalel and Halif and every was hearted man of it 361, and if that honor was reserved for Moses that he will make the tabernacle as it is written, and see that you make it will be forever his wife, and did the Holy One blessed be he order and Betsalel and Halif did because from this we understand, and Moses himself withdrew from the work to give merit to others 401 with all that since he ordered and all was done by his command, it is considered as if he had done it all, also all the work. Is done only when it is finished and named after whoever finished it. Therefore Moses erected the tabernacle when the was hearted men wanted to erect it. It did not stand because of the honor of Moses until Moses came and erected it. Since he finished the work, it is called after him. This was explained. Section 41. When I fall, I shall arise. Rabbi Yehuda begins with the verse, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. He says that this means the evil kingdom of the other side will not rise again, unlike the congregation of Israel that will always rise again, even though the other nations of the world have tried to exterminate Israel so many times. God always raised them up again. When Moses brought them out of Egypt, God did many miracles to help them. And after that, Moses erected the tabernacle. 402. And Moses erected the tabernacle. Shema 4018. Rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion with the verse, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall. I shall arise, Misha 78, my enemy refers to the evil kingdom, the enemy of the holy kingdom. This verse is said by the congregation of Israel, the holy kingdom, rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall, I shall arise. Not so the other evil kingdom, once it falls, it will never rise again, but the congregation of Israel, though she fell, she rises and has risen many times, as it is written, when I fall, I shall arise. 403, how many times did the congregation of Israel fall into exile and sat? In the midst of all these enemies and the rest of the nations and idolaters rose against Israel to exterminate them, as it is said, they hold crafty converse against your people, for they have consulted together with one consent, they have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Tehillim 834 to 6, with all that, and though the rest of the nations rose against them, the holy one blessed be, he did not leave them in their hands, and if they fell, they arose, as it is written, when I fall, I shall arise as the Holy One blessed be he always raises her 404 and when the Holy One blessed be he will raise her from the dust of exile the congregation of Israel Malchud will say rejoice not against me O my enemy when I fall I shall arise because I fall into exile and my children became slaves I shall arise now for at the time when Moses brought Israel out of Egypt and when the Holy One blessed be he performed miracles and mighty deeds then it is written Moses erected the tabernacle because through the hands of Moses the secret of Zeir and then the tabernacle was erected which is Malchud each time section 42 when those move these move Rabbi Shimon explores the verse when those move these move and when those stood still these stood still he tells us that the living creatures move and when they move the wheels move the turnings of the wheels depend on the movement of the living creatures the living creatures and the wheels move Together Rabbi Shimon turns to the twenty-four watches who guard the gates and who are hidden in the intensity of the flame surrounding the threshold. There are twenty-four thresholds and twenty-four sockets. These watches or guards of Zir and Ben fly all over the world watching things and listening to sounds and raising words up higher. Rabbi Shimon returns to the wheels moving and says, For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels, meaning that the Holy Spirit Malchut makes the wheels move. He explains that living creature means four living creatures corresponding to Chesed, Bure, Tiferet, and Malchut. They turn to the four directions of the world. He mentions the throne for the likeness of a man to sit on and says the throne is Zir and Ben. The higher throne has the image of Jacob who is Zir and Ben, while the lower throne has the image of David who is Malchut. We learn that a spirit emerges from Bina above and flows down to the lower worlds where it has power over everything. Rabbi Shimon concludes by Saying that in the same way Moses became a spirit in relation to the tabernacle for the purpose of correcting everything below 405, Rabbi Shimon opened the discussion and said, When those move these move, and when those stood still these stood still, Yeshua 121, we have to look at this verse, when those move these move, now do I not know that when those move these move, and when those stand still these stand still, he answers who moves the living creatures move, and when they move it, wheels move as it is written, and when the living creatures move, the wheels went by them, Ibid 19, therefore when those move these move, and when those stood still these stood still, for all the goings of the wheels depend upon the going of the living creatures, they do not exist independently on their own, but depend upon the living creatures, it is further written, and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up along with them, Ibid because the living. Creatures and the wheels move together. 406 come and see there are 24 thresholds of open spaces within the door panes of the supernal watches within the one opening on the east side. 24 watches stand guarding at that gate hidden within the intensity of the flame surrounding that threshold on the east side. 407 there are 24 sockets beneath them and upon the sockets 24 pillars. These always stand and do not soar in the air like the others. They are called standing ones according to the verse. I will give you access among these who stand by Zechariah 37. The pillars stand upon the sockets and turn in them so they may remain in their places. 408 when these pillars stand firm all the rulers standing above them namely the said guards of Zeir and Pensor and fly over the world surveying with their eyes those who listen to sound raise words above as it is written for a bird of the sky shall carry the sound. Kahila 1020 therefore all these sockets are always firm. 409 come and see the meaning of when those move these move Yeshua 117 is as we said with the movement of the living creatures and when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth the wheels were lifted up along with them Ibid 19 because as the living creatures move and are lifted up so do the wheels why for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels Ibid 20 the spirit of the living creature is the holy spirit Malchut blowing and striking the wheels to make them move thus whatever is in higher grade carries whatever carries it come and see the ark was carrying whoever carried it here also the living creatures were carrying the wheels 410 you may say that it is written the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels and not the spirit of the living creatures from where do we understand that the living creatures carry the wheels he answers it also means that a living creature means for living creatures because it is in the right side the left Side in front and at the back that is the force fire Rachisit Bure Tiferet and Malchut of the living creature corresponding to right left front and back are considered four living creatures therefore a living creature and living creatures are the same thing 411 it is written this is a living creature I saw under the Elohim of Israel by the river Kabar Yeshitzkel 1020 this is a fourfold living creature turning to the four directions namely Chisit Bure Tiferet and Malchut as explained before there is a throne Malchut for the likeness of man namely Zeir and Pen as it is written and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it Yeshitzkel 126 and all that is for that high holy and concealed grey called the Elohim of Israel which is fine as the verse states this is a living creature I saw Yeshitzkel 1020 is Malchut upon which writes Zeir and Pen the secret of man and both under the Elohim of Israel Ibid Bina 412 the living creature in the verse this is a living creature I saw yes the lower living creature Malchud which stands upon all the supernal holy living creatures Jesus Bure Tiferet and Malchud of Zeir and the secret of man since there are supernal beasts the ones over the others as above those living creatures of Malchud there are supernal living creatures of Zeir and the throne under the Elohim of Israel has the image of Jacob who is Zeir and a throne to bind a called the Elohim of Israel and the lower throne under Zeir and has the image of David Malchud it is square to the four sides and therefore a spirit emerges from above from Bina and goes out flowing from one grade to another from Bina to Zeir and from Zeir and to Malchud until it strikes the lower beings below in Bria Yitzhara and Asiyah the spirit has power over everything and it establishes everything so they will keep 413 in exactly the same manner
The temple, the temple was built in the spirit of peace, as it that is rest. The tabernacle was built in the spirit of love, but not that of rest. So the tabernacle was moved around as the people moved. Moses began his construction by starting in the middle that was dark, and he raised his first point there. Then that point shown, and all the other parts settled into place as they should. Rabbi Shimon adds more information about the sockets that are connected with giving since they support the boards. When Moses erected the point, the other side sank, but was not altogether destroyed. That will happen only in the future. The side of holiness began to strengthen, and then the other side entered the hole in the great abyss. If Israel had not sinned, the other side would not have been able to rule the world. But since they did, they must always give a portion of the sacrifices to the other side. Finally, we hear that the erection in the beginning was to weaken the other side, but the erection in the end will be the erection of the holy side so it will be elevated higher whenever holiness rises up to is lord 414 come and see first moses erected the tabernacle and fixed it in the secret of the high grade where he was namely zeir and then solomon built the temple and constructed it in the secret of the river going out from eden named household peace namely yezid which is household rest malchut therefore in the secret of the tabernacle is the closeness of love in the secret of it body type for it meaning that moses was of the grade where is closeness of love but not that of rest therefore the tabernacle was always moved by traveling when solomon constructed the temple it was built in the secret of the love of rest therefore it is written of solomon who shall be a man of tranquility i did rahim 229 415 hence moses corrected one grade type for it and solomon corrected another grade yezid their shapes are interconnected that of type for it is that of yezid this is it Secret of the verse, these are the generations of Jacob Joseph, Bereshit 372, the form of Jacob Typhorite resembles the form of Joseph, Yezid 416, Moses started to repair that place of holiness by erecting the point standing in the middle, Malchud, which was dark and sunken in its place unseen and not shining at all, he first raised that point that was sunken in its place and constructed all the rest that are based on this point 417, unless that point Malchud were corrected first, all that spread from it could not have been corrected once that point was erected and made to shine, all the other corrections were made and it was settled in its place, therefore it was first written and Moses erected the tabernacle, Shema 418, referring to the point dark and sunken in its place, he then fastened the sockets, hid the sockets of several places on all sides of the tabernacle amounting to a hundred and divided them each to its place to the sides of the tabernacle as it is written. Hundred sockets of the hundred talents, a talent for a socket, Shema 3827, 418. We already explained about these sockets, it was not written that they were erected, but that he fastened them, that he gave because they are connected with giving so as to put upon them that which is needed, namely the boards. This is because there are lower beings and higher ones set upon them, therefore the word give is used in relation to them. 419 At the time when the point was erected, the other side sank. But was not altogether wiped away, that will happen only in the future when it will be wiped out, as we explained now. This was erected, and that the other side sank 420 and fastened its sockets, Shema 4018. Then the side of holiness began to strengthen, and when these sockets were fastened, all the sockets of the other side sank and entered the hole in the great abyss. For when the side of high holiness was elevated and partly reached exaltation, the other side sank and entered that hole in it. Abyss because when the one was erected the other sank 421 if it were not for Israel who sinned the other side could not have ruled the world then they sinned and drew upon them the other side as before from that day there is no remedy but to give a portion to the other side from everything from the secret of the sacrifices libation offerings and the burnt offerings come and see the burnt offering is therefore burnt by fire completely to subjugate that side and raise the side of holiness. Once Moses erected this place of holiness that place of defilement sank 422 come and see Moses erected Shema 4018 the side of holiness and the other side of defilement sank and fastened its sockets of the side of holiness and that side of defilement was enfeebled he set up its boards of the side of holiness and the other side of defilement was subjugated then he put up its bars of 423 then it is written again and he erected of 33 what is the sense that it Beginning and the end will be marked by erecting therefore he started by erecting and finished by erecting for all both of them are in need of erection in the beginning and in the end for the purpose of the erection in the beginning was to weaken the other side the one in the end is the erection of the holy side so it will be established and elevated above to be one not as is proper for whenever holiness goes up to rule defilement is lowered and sinks down section. 44 the six grades of the other side Rabbi Shimon explains the levels and grades of darkness rage and judgment we learn of the shadow of death and death and then of the color of smoke the color of fire and the black color the color of smoke goes down into the world and instigates people to anger the color of fire descends to the world and causes killings and bloodshed the color of black descends into the world and is in charge over the hand and the strangled it always harms people Rabbi. Shimon describes the four types of rage and then talks about the second grade where all the fiends come out they roam around the world and are always ready to take revenge for the hidden sins that people do we learn how the second and third grade spread until they reach the black firmament Rabbi Shimon talks about the three joints of the right arm the first is called transgression and only weakens when Israel offers sacrifices the second is called ire that brings sorrow and hardship into the world the third is called trouble because it sends out the power to oppress and give trouble to men the secret of these three joints is the verse wrath and indignation and trouble then he moves to the joints of the left arm saying that when they join they get stronger as in an embassy of evil messengers from the left arm all the evil demons are sent down the fourth grade of the other side sends out a force that gives permission in the world to shed blood in all the grades and in each joint there are chieftains with battalions of fiends. Rabbi Shimon turns to the fourth grade where fiends are sent down to execute the evil judgments against people. We hear that the fifth grade is divided into right and left called thighs, net, sash, and hot. This is where the power of pursuing every evil comes from. We learn that the joints of the other side all turn backward rather than forward and are told about the right and left joints of the fifth grade. They harm anyone who is meritorious, but has no ancestral merit to protect them and they chase the wicked who have been marked by the angel so that they get diseases. All the same, Rabbi Shimon explains that diseases do not come from the other side. They are called sufferings of love because the Torah says, but it pleases Hashem to crush him by disease. Rabbi Shimon describes the sixth and last grade as foreskin because it is the secret of the piercing serpent and pertains to the meaning of circumcision 424, the source of it. Point underneath the grades of the other side, Malchut of the other side, beneath all the grades of the other side, its beginning, the head is at the head of the grades of the other side, outside holiness, it is the head of the male of the other side, riding on a camel, this is the secret of Samael, riding on a camel, it is the head outside holiness, expanding from a mixture of darkness, namely smoke intermingled with darkness, and they spread together 425 for when smoke was issued from violent rage. That smoke expands and goes from rage to rage, the one atop the other, riding on and ruling upon the other, appearing like male and female, so as to make all into violent rage, 426, when smoke started to expand, it pressed from within the rage to expand through the pressure of one point, and the smoke of rage spread as light like a certain serpent's lie, and dangerous 427, the head, the head of a male, which started to spread is a grade of darkness, it goes up and down, roaming and hovering and Resting in its place for it finds no place in which to settle until that grade settles by connecting with the smoke coming out of the rage it is then called shadow it shadows a place called death when the two are combined they are called the shadow of death we already stated that these are two grades joined together 428 that shadow is the beginning of the lowest point of the other side outside namely out of its female that shadow darkness is far away from the holy point standing in the middle the point does not exist nor it is seen nor inscribed with colors because it is only a beginning and no judgment is felt in it from it an expansion spread outward and downward and the point itself was sunk not to be seen nor inscribed 429 that point expanded downward left and right and spread in their midst inside the darkness namely chesed pure and typhoid of the other side corresponding to 1102 pillars are engraved on the two sides corresponding to Net sash and hot and the darkness was spread into a color which is black yet not black because no color prevails in it inside the expansion of darkness there are darknesses that were in use in Egypt as it is written they saw not one another neither rose any from his place for three days Shema 
Darkness is on the right and on the left standing on the beginning of blackness whence another hue of brass comes out which is Typhoret of the other side 433 from that place from Typhoret this darkness spreads downwards to Malchud where it is established in its existence another color comes out black looking like iron called death all is in the secret of darkness for the other side is namely built on the principle of darkness 434 from between the two pillars Netzach and Hot of the other. Side comes out a pillar of darkness in the dark namely it contains the two kinds of darkness of Egypt all the hues gold silver are seen in it for it is the aspect of Yezid consisting of the five Sphirot Chesed Bure Typhoret Netzach and Hot this is the foreskin because Yezid of the other side is a foreskin as the male leads the female to mate and to become one 435 these seven grades are within seven certain great grades the first grade is the grade inside that darkness that darkness comes. Out of the hiding place of the smoke of fire comprising the color of smoke the color of fire and the black color these three colors are different in their several manners of bending the crooked of the world namely to punish them 436 he explains the color of smoke goes down into the world and affects it in several ways it spreads in the world instigating the spirits of people causing them to be angry and leading them astray so they would become angry therefore it is written there shall be no strange L among you nor shall you worship a foreign L tail 8110 there shall be no strange L among you refers to the male of the other side and nor shall you worship a foreign L refers to the female of the other side the smoke is the anger ruling and gathering strength in the world walking amongst men and assailing them to cause them harm 437 the color of fire descends into the world and in several ways causes harm killings bloodshed and perdition to men it is therefore Written if they say come with us let us lie in wait for blood let us lurk for the innocent without cause Michelet 111 for some shed blood and kill without cause and some shed blood and kill in war this comes from the male side of the other side and that from the female side of the other side the male side sheds blood without cause as we said the side of the female causes wars and makes people kill each other all the wars and killings come from the side of that female 438 the black color. Descending into the world is in charge over the wounded and the dead catching bodies to put them in jail the hanged and the strangled it always harms people these three colors smoke fire and black spread in the world in several ways and spread amongst the inhabitants of the world 439 the color of smoke descending into the world is the first color to come out of the point sunken in the shadow it is a male riding on a camel as we said the color of smoke is called Catspiel the Great Wentz. Comes the anger of men who harden their hearts in anger he is therefore called Katzbeel namely the anger had Ketzef of L440 under Katzbeel there are 1600 battalions of fiends they are the anger found within the bodies of men for there is anger ruling over the world to do justice but this anger is the anger ruling over and entering inside the bodies of men who are angry in this way this anger is the foundation for all the rest of the harmful colors built from it too. Harm since that smoke comes out of the rage of the supernal blazing fire this type of rage is the first one of the fire 441 that rage is divided into four rages the first rage is called rage it causes the hearts of people to be enraged it descends and instigates people and they become furious in their anger this draws fiends upon the world 442 the second rage descends into the world roaming and expanding into all sides it is called hatred this one once it enters man is called a. Silent fiend it takes part in the place of the female this is the silent rage standing aslant it is the strongest of them all because it is like the serpent that keeps silent and then kills 443 the third rage is the inverse of the first one because it gets stronger and does not keep silent it is revealed and as it is revealed it is broken namely all that is revealed and is not silent is called broken rage 444 the fourth rage is at first a strong rage and in the end it is broken. Therefore it is in opposition to the last one for that reason it is the most broken aspect of them all hence they all pertain to the first grade 445 after explaining the aspect of the head of the other side which is the first grade he now explains the second grade which is Jesus of the other side he says the second grade is a grade coming out of darkness of the head this grade is dark in color and though it is Jesus and a grade of the right nevertheless it is also dark for all this fire rot. Of the other side come from darkness it is established in certain grades and expands downward into certain colors 446 within this grade there are 300 aspects separated from one another it is the right hand which has three joints each consisting of a hundred altogether 300 and though they are different from each other they strengthen and include one another for that reason all the grades of the side are known as harmful 447 from here all the fiends come out they roam about the world and execute judgment openly upon secret deeds done in hiding in the dark they roam in the world and execute judgment upon them openly for that reason all those who hover about the world who execute judgment openly are against people always ready to take revenge for all the hidden sins and those called wrath and fury join them and execute judgment upon people this is done in the world by the complainants we mentioned of the second grade 448 this grade is in darkness and fire which form one secret from this grade several strong grades are divided standing under one of the aspects of the firmament called black color third grade viewer of the other side is a firmament spreading over all the grades that are red as a rose these two grades the second and the third are called the arms of the side the second grade being the right arm cheese and the third grade being the left arm which is viewer 449 beneath these two arms grades spread until they reach the black firmament even though the grades of the left arm are red they also spread into the black firmament for those of the second grade which is the right arm go out of the black firmament and hover about the world therefore they take with them the grades of the third grade which is the left arm 450 there are those of the right and those of the left those of the right namely of the second grade are divided into three aspects the three joints of the right arm and those of the left it. Third grade are divided into three aspects the three other joints of the left arm 451 the first joint of the right arm is above namely at the joint connected to the shoulder smoke darkened with rage is connected to it this joint has three dark hues different from each other intermingled in each other that joint is crooked and does not expand save at certain times it is called wrath 452 that joint remains in rage that does not abate save when Yisrael offers sacrifices below for at that time rage abates and is subdued below so it cannot have power to strengthen when it is weakened the other joint in the middle of the arm cannot travel or conduct 453 the second joint of the right arm is called ire this joint travels from place to place leading all the other joints the rest of the joints are led by it and strengthened by it this is the one that brings sorrow into the world because when it is connected on another level and embraces the female all kinds of sorrow Hardship and trouble descend into the world for they cannot rule the one without the other the male without the female and all the grades are given to the female of the other side so she may rule and mislead the world unless they were riding on each other and connected with each other they could not have ruled 454 come and see when Adam was in the garden of Eden and was occupied in worshipping his master Samael went down with all the grades in him and was riding on the evil serpent his female to deviate them as the serpent underneath Samael was subtle and led astray and seduce people as it is written for the lips of a strange woman drip honey and her mouth is smoother than oil Michelet 53 so the male gives power and the female practices the art of seduction and instigation in the world and they cannot rule the one without the other 455 that is why when the middle joint of the arm is united with the female then judgments and all sorts of hardships descend into the world. But when it is not strengthened and does not travel everything is broken and subjugated and they cannot have sway hence all is broken and subdued by the secret of the offering below and one ascends namely Malchut of holiness to be bedecked above and be blessed by the highest depth by that illuminates upon all faces 456 the third joint of the right arm is much stronger than the rest it is called trouble because from it emerges the power to oppress and give trouble to men the secret of these three joints is the verse wrath and indignation and trouble tail 7849 these are the three joints of the right arm which is the second grade 457 when the three joints of the left arm which are the third grade get stronger together then the left is called an embassy of evil messengers if it for from that left all those evil demons are sent below and draw their strength they come out of the lower side as we said all that comes out of the second and the third grades for the second. Grade is the right arm and the third grade is the left arm 458 the fourth grade of the other side is within the crookedness of rage fiery in color it is called middle one which is the body typhoret that is between the two arms cheesed and viewer there is a blazing fire here glowing with the color red like a rose from here comes out a force going down to assault and shed blood since this grade gives permission and ability down below in
the female of the other side all of whom have a certain grade above by which they are led 460 as there are on the supernal side of holiness certain chambers of the female facing the supernal grades of the male comprising each other so below opposite to holiness there are in the other side grades of the male facing the chambers of the female comprising each other 461 in this grade the fourth one there are evil judgments gone down to be delivered to these fiends who execute evil and Stark judgment upon the wicked here they suck their strength to attack and carry out the justice they execute therefore all these grades are included within the lower chambers from the side of the female down below happy is the portion of the righteous who stay away from this way and follow the fear of the holy one blessed be he to be sanctified by the sanctity of their master they are happy in this world and in the world to come 462 the fifth grade is divided into two grades right and left they are called thighs namely net sash and hot they pursue and chase to harm for here abides the power of pursuing of every illness and evil which comes after the wicked when this judgment approaches the couriers went out in haste Esther 315 these couriers are below hastening to cause harm all these are called pursuers as it is written our pursuers were swifter than the vultures in the sky each of 419 463 this grade is divided into two sides right and left there are three joints on the right and three joints on the left for each leg has three joints like the arms the joints of the legs and arms all face backward because all the high and holy joints all face inward towards the body as it is written and all their hinder parts were inward I may lash him 725 and those of the other side face backward from the body out 464 he asks what is the difference between them between the joints of holiness and the joints of the other side he answers the supernal holy joints are all in the secret of man and since they are all in the secret of man all their hinder parts were inward but the other joints of the other side are as we said the ones in the middle namely the second joint of each are all facing backward in the secret of the beast for that reason all their backs turn backward the secret is as we explained Hashem you preserve man and beast tail 367 this one is of the side of man and that of the side of the beast thus the offering rises in the aspect of man and beast 465 the first joint of the feet of the other side is of a huge ark in the mist like a cursed plant cannot grow underneath a stone which stands on it so is this joint ready to harm the meritorious who has merits but no ancestral merits to protect him he resembles the plant growing underneath a stone and so cannot grow for it grows under curse 466 the other joints of the feet of the other side chase the wicked who have strayed from the path earlier they chase these and those recognized by a mark for an angel a holy messenger of the side of viewer descends and marks all those worthy of punishment this mark is seen above by the complainants and when it is known to them all those fit for disease are hit by disease and those fit to be in pain and other blows receive them and they see everything in the mark 467 these joints all face backward and kick those who kick their master and those worthy of being kicked save the righteous and the pious who have ancestral Merits these are pursued by diseases which are not governed by the joints no diseases are come upon them from that side 468 you may ask from where do these diseases that come upon them come from come and see it is written but it pleases Hashem to crush him by disease Yeshua 5310 it pleases Hashem to crush him meaning that he desires to strike him and cause him illnesses to grant him merits in the world to come but they do not come from the other side they are called sufferings of love it amounts to one way unit of holiness 469 the sixth grade is of the other side is called foreskin head orla because it sucks from this side it is based on the secret of the piercing serpent the male which suckles the slanted serpent its female all the other grades holding to each other are called unripe orla live fruit of a tree not above three years old all this pertains to the same principle 470 come and see this is why the spirit of the side of the foreskin hovers above all the trees planted in the land of Israel before they strike roots it is therefore written and you shall reckon their fruit as uncircumcised three years shall it be as uncircumcised to you it shall not be eaten Vayakra 19.23 for the Holy One blessed be he always loves Israel and keeps them away from evil ways and bad and defiling ways so they may join the side of holiness happy are they in this world and in the world to come section 45 the chambers of holiness Rabbi Shimon describes for us the chambers where praises to God are arranged one of them is for words and these other according to the wordless desire and intention of the heart the chambers are arranged for one purpose and that is to unite above and below he tells us that when Moses prayed for Israel he made his prayer long for it is a prayer that ascends to Zer but when he prayed for his sister he made his prayer short for it remains below he said heal her now Oli. Pray you and did not need to pray further because he was a master of this level. Rabbi Shimon tells us that all the arrangements for the chambers were made to allow the Shechinah to live in the world. He then discusses Adam and the delight that he had in living in the Garden of Eden where there were seven canopies for his pleasure. He speaks of the supernal beauty that Adam could see and that referred to the seven firmaments above and below. Rabbi Shimon says to Adam that he was given both the seven supernal holy canopies that are the secret of Shechinah and the seven lower firmaments of Malchut and that God gave him everything for his completion. He had all these things until he was driven out of the garden by being drawn to unholy desires called poison of asps. After this, Abraham came and repaired the world by rejoining the firmaments above and the firmaments below. We are told that the lower firmaments of Malchut are chambers for the upper firmaments of Zir and Ben 471 Rabbi. Shimon said we learned of the chambers where praises to the Holy One blessed be here arranged the one by words another composed of will for there is the arrangement of words and there is an arrangement according to desire and the meditation of the heart with which to know and look toward the endless world where all desires and thoughts are put but no words at all as it is concealed so are all matters concealed 472 come and see what we explained about all the chambers all these arrangements are for one purpose namely to include the lower chambers within the upper chambers 473 but come and see when Moses arranged his prayer for the sake of Israel he made this prayer long for it is a prayer abiding above in Zeir and, and when he composed a short prayer in praying for his sister he did not lengthen it because it abides below in Malchut as it is written heal her now oh I pray you give it bar 1213 he did not pray further since he is a master of the house which is Malchut called house and Moses was a chariot of Zeir and her master he therefore commanded the house properly and did not prolong his prayer all the arrangements concerning the chambers were made to allow the Shechinah to dwell in the world as we already expounded upon in relation to the said chambers 474 Rabbi Shimon stood up and said happy is your portion Adam chosen of all the creatures in the world for the Holy One blessed be he raised you above all put you in the garden of Eden and prepared seven canopies for your pleasure to delight in the supernal beauty as it is said to behold the beauty of Hashem and to inquire in his temple Tehillim 274 to behold the beauty of Hashem above in Zeir and, and to inquire in his temple below in Malchut he further explains to behold the beauty of Hashem refers to the seven firmaments above of Zeir and, and to inquire in his temple refers to the seven firmaments below in Malchut the ones correspond to the others 475 you stood within all the seven firmaments of Zeir and, and the seven of Malchut in the garden of Eden the seven supernal holy canopies namely the seven firmaments of Zeir and, and stood above you for your adornment for they are the secret of Shesedim you stood within the lower seven firmaments of Malchut to take pleasure in for they are the secret of the illumination of Chachma called pleasure and your master gave you all for your perfection namely both by Shesedim and by Chachma 476 until your legs were tempted to follow the counsel of the evil serpent and you were driven out of the garden of Eden thus bringing death to you and to the whole world by leaving all the delicacies of above and below you were drawn to unholy desires called poison of asps co 2016 to which the body was drawn and not the spirit as it is said and cruel venom of asps devarim 3233 that is cruel to the spirit and also their clusters are bitter of 32 then came Abraham the pious and started to amend the world and entered the holy faith fixing above and below in the firmaments above and in the firmaments below 477 the lower firmaments of Malchut are chambers for the upper firmaments of Zeir and to be united and joined together as we explained elsewhere in relation to the chambers and though we explained it there in a general way it behooves us to explain here in detail and fix the unison properly so the friends will not be misled but walk the right way as it is written for the ways of Hashem are right and the just do walk in them Hashia 1410 section 46 the chamber of a sapphire stone yes and
enough to enter another chieftain of the other side is summoned and the soul is moved to the chambers of defilement from where it is taken to Gehenom and judged for twelve months. Tahariel also decides that prayers are worthy to be passed upward through his gate. If a public prayer comes along, he opens the gate and brings it in. If it is a solitary prayer, he opens the door and lets it in. If it is good enough for the holy king, but if it is unworthy, he pushes it out and it goes back down to the lowest of the firmaments below here. A chieftain called Sahadil keeps all the rejected prayers until the person repents. When he repents and prays a better prayer, Sahadil takes the unfit prayer and elevates it to meet the good one. Then they both rise to stand before the holy king. We hear about the gate of tears and Rabbi Shimon talks about the holy spirit named Staturia who rejoins male souls with female souls in the seventh chamber above. Similarly, a spirit named Adir Yasnuji rejoins. Female souls with male souls. After describing the marriage of the souls, Rabbi Shimon describes the wheels and the living creatures and the flash of lightning. We hear how Sandalphone takes the finished prayers of the people of Israel and brings them up to their master. The words of the rising prayers and the words of the Torah rise up to the place in the firmament where the stars and constellations and sun and moon are. And this place is called the Book of Remembrance. We are told more about the wheels and pillars and the secret of the letters of the name Adonai. The name Yah Adonai is shown to comprise two spirits, Yah Vav and Adonai, and to cause the unification of everything so that they have all one spirit. 478. The first chamber, namely Yizit and Malchut, is the first from below upward. It marks the beginning of the faith, namely this chamber is Malchut of the chambers called faith. It is the start of the secret of the faith, namely of the mystery of Malchut of Atzala and is of the great of sight within faith, namely the illumination of Chakma, and it is called sight. The true prophets used to look from within the mirror which does not shine. Malchut for that chamber is the beginning of the faith. Malchut of Atzalut. It is written when Hashem spoke at first with Hosea Hashia 12, for he looked from this grade, namely the first chamber, the beginning of all the ascending grades, and the end of all the descending grades of the other side. 479. Since Hosea saw in this beginning, namely of the chambers of defilement, the end of all the grades, he had to take a wife of harlotry. Hashia 12. This is because Israel were tempted and drawn away from the first chamber downward to the place called the wife of harlotry. Malchut of defilement by leaving behind instead of joining the woman of worth. Mishlei 3110. Malchut of holiness. From there he saw all the chambers on the side of defilement. 480. The chambers of defilement defile whoever clings to them. Hence since. Hosea had to look at the chambers of defilement. It is written, Take to you a wife of harlotry. It is difficult to understand why a true prophet should need that, but a man should not enter these chambers of defilement lest he be drawn to them as was known as it is written, and he drank of the wine and was drunk, and he was uncovered within his tent. Bear sheet 921, meaning that he clung to the other side, which is the intoxicating wine. 481. Hosea was afraid to look at the chambers where Israel clung to to be defiled in fear of being drawn after them as it is written of Noah, and he drank of the wine and was drunk, and he was uncovered. Then he said to him, Take to you a wife of harlotry and children of harlotry, the wife of harlotry being Malchut of the other side, and the children of harlotry her grades. It is also written, So he went and took over the daughter of Diblaim Hashia 13 to know what Israel clung to and were defiled with, and why they left the secret of the faith Malchut. Of holiness for a strange Elmalchut of defilement, and he saw this within the first chamber, the opening of all the grades. Therefore, it is said of her, Sin crouches at the door, bear she 47, for at the very opening of this chamber, the other side crouches, which is a wife of harlotry, and the chieftain of the other side is standing at the gate. 482, this chamber is the start for all who ascend the grades, it is a compartment within the light to be adorned with its grades through which to look at the supernal grades, as it is written, and they saw the Elohim of Israel, Shema 2410, because this chamber is an aspect of Malchut, side pertains to it, for side is only in Malchut 483. There is a chieftain appointed over this chamber by the name of Tahariel, he stands at the gate of the chamber, and all the souls, after passing from this world, mount and wish to enter this first chamber, this chieftain stands at the gate together with other chieftains, they are wholly ablaze with fire with. Scepters of fire in their hand, all eye for there is sight in this chamber in the secret of Chakma called I. Since Chakma is revealed only when judgment is in the open, therefore there are a blazing fire. This chieftain stands on the side, and if the soul after passing from this world has the merit to enter, he opens the gate, and the soul enters 484. And if the soul has not the merit to enter because it's sent in this world, then another chieftain of the other side standing at another side is summoned together with thousands and myriad of guardians of law and accusers. The other holy chieftain pushes it, and the other of the side of defilement receives it and puts it in the chambers of defilement. All the guardians of law and accusers hold it and bring it down to Gehenom where it is judged for twelve months. This is the place of correction of the other side, a court to judge the wicked 485. In the same manner is the holy chieftain that stands at the entrance when all the Prayers that cleavers and firmaments come before the king. If this is a public prayer, he opens the gate and brings it in where it waits until all the prayers in the world become a crown on the head of the righteous who lives forever. Is it as we already explained? 486. If the prayer is solitary, it rises until it reaches the entrance of this chamber where the chieftain stands. If it is good enough to be presented before the holy king, he immediately opens the door and lets it in. If it is not worthy, he pushes it out and it goes down and hovers about the world, standing at the lowest of the firmaments in the world below, where there is a chieftain by the name of Sahadil in charge over that firmament. He takes all the rejected prayers called unfit prayers and stores them until that person repents. 487. If he properly repents before his master and prays another good prayer, then when the good one rises, the chieftain Sahadil take the unfit prayer and elevates it until it meets it. Good prayer and they both rise and intermingle and come before the holy king 488 sometimes the prayer is rejected because that man is drawn to the other side where he is defiled the chieftain of the defiled other side takes the prayer and the defiled other side mentions the sins of that man before the holy one blessed be he and accuses him above therefore all the prayers and the ascending souls all stand in front of the first chamber where the chieftain stands at the gate to show them in or reject them 489 above this gate of the chamber there is another opening dug by the holy one blessed be he it is open three times a day namely the three columns shine in it it is never closed but stands open for those who repent and shed tears in their prayers before their master all the gates and openings are closed until given permission save the gates called the gates of tears that do not need permission to be open 490 when the tearful prayer rises through these gates a Will chances namely an angel of the aspect of Malchut called Will standing on six hundred large living creatures called Rachamiel he takes the tearful prayer the prayer enters to be united above and the tears stay engraved upon the opening dug by the Holy One blessed be he 491 there are other tears forever engraved upon the supernal chariots and they are not wiped these are the tears shed above and below when the temple was destroyed as it is written behold the mighty ones shall cry outside ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly Yeshua 337 and those are the tears shed for the righteous and meritorious who pass from this world they are all taken by these chariots to be mingled with the tears shed for the destruction of the temple therefore it is written in the future tense and Hashem Elohim will wipe away tears from off all faces Yeshua 258 what are all faces they are the holy supernal chariots then the insult of his people shall he take away from off all the Earth for Hashem has spoken it, but this will happen at the end of the correction. 492 in this chamber there is one spirit called Sitatria looking like a sapphire glittering on all sides. It is facing both sides illuminating right and left from them spreads a glow like that of a candle as we explained. It shines upon several sides namely four sides. Some colors are blazing from this light of the right side. 493 when the upper firmament the river that goes and flows from Eden is it of Zeir and brings out souls to take them to the seventh chamber above by of the chambers. The seventh chamber receives them when the holy souls go out of the seventh chamber they descend until they reach this first chamber where this holy spirit named Sitatria of the right takes them and all the male souls destined to flourish and be clothed by male righteous which are of the right are taken by that spirit and detained until they are comprised with female souls. 494 from this spirit. Called Sitatria and other
The left called Adiria is also called Sapphire Stone Shema 2410 for the first spirit Sitatria is called Sapphire and the spirit of the left is called Sapphire Stone as we explained in other ways the secret meaning of the verse and there was under his feet a kind of paved work of a Sapphire Stone of 497 once the female souls reach that spirit Adiria he takes them and they remain there then the spirit of the left is included within the spirit of the right and the souls are completed male and female together and so from this chamber to be again divided within people when they come to be clothed each according to their disposition a male soul would be clothed by a male and a female soul by a female then they get married and come together 498 when the spirit of the left comes to be included within the spirit of the right they strike each other to be included and sparks spread on all sides wheels are made from the sparks coming from the spirit of the left as it is written the appearance of the wheels and their work was like the color of an emerald yes is 116 these are the wheels which blaze in the fire singing 499 once they were perfumed the spirit by its fellow spirit left and right they were included together then one light was born and came out went up and down and settled upon the four rows of the wheels it is the one living creature controlling them about which was said the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels of it 20. It is called a flash of lightning of it 14 this flash of lightning illuminates as a gleaming light of a flame and rules over the wheels 500 from the flash of lightning one firmament expanded standing upon two pillars these two pillars are two cherubs metatron and sandal phone the one on the side and the other on that side with the firmament above their heads as it is written then I looked and behold in the firmament that was above the head of the cherubs yes is called 101 this is not the firmament above the heads of the living creatures and the flash of lightning is in charge over the firmament and the high spirit citatria included in Adiria in charge over all 501 all the first prayers before the rest of Israel finished there's weight in that firmament and this flash the ruler of this firmament prepares them then comes the great minister sandal phone the high spirit and ruler over all and when Israel finished saying their prayers he takes them from this firmament rises with them and ties them as knots to their master as we explained 502 this flash counts all the rising prayers and the words of the Torah bedecked at night when the spirit of the north awakens at the middle of the night whoever is occupied in the Torah at that time his studies rise and this flash takes them and puts them in the firmament until daybreak 503 when the day breaks the words rise and dwell in the place at the firmament where the stars and constellations sun and moon abide. This is Yezid of Zeir and by which name its grades are called this is called the book of remembrance as it is written and the book of remembrance was written before him Malachi 316 book being Malchut and remembrance Yezid it is written before him because he wrote the book of remembrance by one not namely by unity face to face 504 the four wheels are traveling upon 12 pillars as for each wheel there are four wheels and each wheel is on three struts the four wheels are a hanil. Kedumil Machilia Hedoni Hedoni who have the keys of the holy name in their hands 505 these four are included in the secret of the letters of the name Adonai which Sandalphone the owner of the chariots uses these four letters soar in the air which includes the letters of the holy name Yudhe Vav Hefeli spelled with Alephaz Yud Vav Dalad Hefeli Vav Alephaz Vav Hefeli that air comprises the four letters Adonai and they are included within one another Adonai in Yudhe Vav Hey the four letters of Yudhe Vav Hey take the four of Adonai in the secret of that flash of lightning 506 these four letters of Adonai enter the four letters of Yudhe Vav Hey the ones within the others as it is written the loops opposite one another Shema 265 as was explained it is a mystery of combining them and interlacing them together according to the secret of that spirit flash which includes the secret of the holy name from both for it comes from the spirit Adir Yavit Secret of Adonai joined by the spirit Sitatria the secret of Yudhe Vav Hey therefore it includes the name Adonai in the name Yudhe Vav Hey 507 everything in this chamber is conducted and travels by the spirits in the secret of the holy name which rules over all within this chamber is the holy name Yahadonai comprising the two names Yudhe Vav Hey Adonai interlaced since it is a spirit within spirit as there are two ruling spirits Sitatria which is male and Adiria which is female the name Yudhe Vav Hey is of the side of the male spirit and the name Adonai is of the side of the female since the name Yahadonai comprises the two spirits in the secret of spirit and spirit that are including each other and shining within one another then everything illuminates and the light goes up and down as the light of the sun upon the water 508 when the spirit travels namely Sitatria who is included in Adiria everything travels because of it as it is written Wherever the spirit was minded to go they went they turned not when they went Yeshiskel 112 and when the spirit illuminates with the light of the name Yahadona he all intermingle and bind as one to mount above in the mystery of this holy name 509 in the middle of this chamber stands one pillar fastened from this chamber to the second upper chamber through this pillar mounts the lower spirit to the upper spirit of the second chamber so the spirits may be united also through this pillar it goes up to the spirit that is above them all in the seventh chamber for in each chamber this pillar is in the middle so that all may become one spirit as it is written they have all one spirit Kahila 319 510 the pillar in the middle is called the it has the keys of the holy name in its hands and when the prayers mount and reach that pillar all that are in that chamber travel to the second chamber to join each other all in one secret to be united above and below together so that Holy name will be complete as it should section 47 the chamber of the very heaven, Hod Rabbi Shimon tells us that the second chamber is more hidden than the first but that it also pertains to faith he says the chieftain in charge of this chamber is Irvanil and that he deals with all the souls who were executed or killed by other nations we are told about the cup of consolation and the cup of bitterness the second chamber is called chamber of splendor and it is lit from above and below we are told that all the cherubim come from Hidernil the spirit of the left next we hear that in the second chamber is a chieftain called Sitil who is appointed over the garments and when the souls of the righteous ascend he takes them to the river of fire after their cleansing Sitil clothes the righteous souls with their garments and brings them to the angel Michael as sacrifice to Adikil Rabbi Shimon says that by the mating of Irvanil and Hidernil all the other rulers appointed over the world were created these are the six-winged seraphim we also learn of a living creature that rules over the seraphim he is called Yephile and has all the keys of wisdom he rewards all people who pursue wisdom Rabbi Shimon tells us of pillars that are in charge of singing and pillars that are in charge of chanting he explains that it is from the second chamber that prophets who achieve their wisdom through visions or through dreams draw their inspiration but Moses drew his prophecies from a higher level 511 the second chamber pertains to the secret of the faith so as to be united within the mystery above this chamber is more recondite and concealed than the first there are three openings to this chamber and one chieftain in charge over them named Irvanil derived from the light head or of the face head pattern because he stands on the east side called face this chieftain rules over the three directions south north and east south on this side Right she said north on that side left viewer and east in the middle the secret of Tiferet the mediating column 512 of the three openings to the three columns the two are closed and the opening in the middle is open in the secret of the verse as it were the very heaven for clearness Shema 2410 referring to the secret of the open gate in the middle Tiferet called heaven the chieftain Irvanil stands at the open gate to the east under him there are two other chieftains in charge over the other two closed openings of the south and north 513 all the souls executed by court order or killed by other nations are all numbered by the three chieftains and the chief above them engraves their forms upon his garments of burning fire he raises them above and shows them to his master the holy one blessed be he then takes them and engraves those killed by other nations on his garments 514 those executed by court order are lowered by the chieftain and put behind the two closed gates where two other chiefs stand from there the soul see the glory of those who kept the Torah and his precepts they are ashamed of themselves and get burned by their canopies and the chieftain in charge opens the east gate before them lights their way and gives them life starting at the east gate in his hand there is a cup of life full of lights called the cup of consolation the cup of life it is because they drank first of another cup of death for they were killed that they now deserve this. 1515 in the same manner there is in the chamber of defilement of the other side another chieftain with a cup in his hands called the cup of bitterness a cup of his fury we learn that there is wine and wine here also there is a cup and a cup of
and the evil inclination all part of one mystery 517 this chamber is called chamber of splendor since in it there is a spirit called Irvanil an ever-changing splendor illuminating constantly only with the white light in it which is Jesus it stands within the concealed light shining from above from the third chamber and within the light illuminating from below coming from the spirit of the first chamber that ascended here and when the light of below of the first chamber strikes it Upper light here then the spirit shines as sight in the eyes and when it rolls it spreads a glowing light full of splendor therefore this chamber is called splendor 518 the spirit called Irvanil shines upon this chamber and upon the first chamber as the spirit of the first chamber illuminates openly from the spirit here that is concealed therefore the spirit travels up and down in the secret of the verse here round it dies are like jewels sure 72 for this is the chamber of hot and net sash and hot are called thighs since the light is concealed it is called round it had came of hinting at concealment like in the verse but my beloved had turned away had come back and was gone sure hasherim 56 round it dies is in the plural because there is another spirit here on the left side who came out of Irvanil and joined him therefore it is written round it dies referring to the two the spirit of the left is called hitter neil from hot and hitter and majesty they are included and joined together being the very heaven shema 2410 comprising fire and water namely the two spirits right and left right is water and left is fire 519 it is written as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain yes 128 the first spirit Irvanil is concealed both above and below shining it is something like the color of electrum 27 not exactly electrum had shashmal the secret of jayat ashmalalit lit modern fiery living Creatures because it cannot be uttered the secret of the illumination of Chakma but sometimes it is Electrum when it comprises Hadernil from which come all the Seraphim for Electrum Hebshashma comprises the letters Jaya ESH Mimal ET also the living creatures exist and exist not meaning that they sometimes talk and sometimes are quiet therefore it is Electrum 520 through Irvanil life is made known to the world when the world is acquitted the spirit shines and there are life. And joyful with acquittal the judgments are annulled and shined and the spirit shines as seen by the verse in the light of the king's countenance Hadorni is life Mishlei 1615 alluding to the letters of Irvanil 521 when the world is condemned the unholy other side has sway and rules the spirit Irvanil is stored and darkened and the whole world is sentenced under judgment all depends upon the spirit as seen in the verse and his knees smote one against the other Daniel 56 4. Fear of judgment is felt in the knees of secret of Netzach and hot and this chamber is the chamber of hot 522 here are found all the garments of the souls of the righteous who rise to be presented before their master and stand before him when the soul ascends and reaches this chamber a chieftain comes appointed over these garments his name is Tzitil from Justice Hefzedek for when a man abides by the precepts of the Torah in this world as he labored and strove to abide by them a garment is prepared for him accordingly in this chamber for him to wear in that world 523 when the soul mounts that chieftain takes its garment and walks with it until they reach the river of fire where the soul has to bathe and be cleansed sometimes it drowns and get burnt and does not rise all day until morning when the spirit of the south is awakened they all become renewed then and sing and chant like the angels who lost their power were burnt and then regenerated and they chant so do. These souls 524 if the soul has the merit to ascend the chieftain's sitial takes it and clothes it with that garment it is prepared by it and offered as sacrifice by the angel Michael the priest to stand always before Adikim and happy is the portion of that soul who merits this 525 the spirit Irvanil is in charge over the whole process and rules over this chamber from this unity of spirit within spirit Irvanil and Hadernil by their striking each other to become united namely there. Joining were created all the other rulers appointed over the world these are the six-winged seraphim who sanctify their master three times a day it is they who are strict with the righteous to a hairbreadth it is they who punish in this world and in the world to come those who slide a man from whom they learned even one thing of the Torah and treat him with disrespect and those who make use of a person who learned the six orders of the Mishnah and study them for the purpose of declaring it. Unity of their master 526 when they are settled the spirit within spirit Irvanil with Hadernil and illuminate together there emerges from that light a living creature that rules over the seraphim beneath which there are four eagle faced living creatures the living creature's name is Yephile who is familiar with all the mysteries of wisdom and has all the keys of wisdom 527 this living creature claims reward from the holy one blessed be he to give to all who go after the initiated in wisdom and after any man to learn wisdom and know their master this reward is for people who pursue wisdom to know their master 528 when a man passes away from this world this living creature goes out riding on four flying seraphim and they fly before that person it does not let the accusers who seek justice approach him many are the messengers of peace around him and when the seraphim travel and are seen all the fiery serpents who came out of the serpent which brought death to the world are subjugated 529 this holy living creature stands ready and when the soul rises and reaches it, it asks the soul the secret of its master's wisdom it is given its due according to the wisdom it pursued and acquired if that person could have gained wisdom but did not the soul is rejected outside it does not enter but stands under that chamber in shame when the seraphim under the living creature raise their wings and flap them they burn the soul it burns and burns not exists and exists not shines and shines not so it is sentenced each day 530 though it has done good deeds it is rejected outside for there is no greater reward in that world as for those who strove after wisdom to behold the glory of their master there is no limit to the reward for the initiated in the wisdom of beholding the glory of their master happy are they in this world and in the world to come as it is written happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gets understanding Mishlei 315 531 it. Spirit Irvanil rules over everything and everything is included in him and looks at him the living creature Yephile rules over four other living creatures with four wheels to each one will faces east one will faces north one will faces south and one will faces west each will has three struts the will to the east Typhoret is called Chaniel derived from grace Hebchen the will to the north Bure is called Karshiel derived from congelation Hebkrisha because the lights on the left side are congealed namely frozen the will to the south Jesus is called Israel derived from help Hebezer the will to the west Malchud is called Anil from poor Hebani for Malchud has nothing of its own and is therefore poor the three pillars in each will are facing the middle Typhoret since they are carried by the middle one and they travel with it for without it they would be darkened without life 532 the one standing in the middle the secret of Typhoret are in charge of singing those of the right the secret of Jesus chant the desire rises up high and they say the prayer holy those of the left viewer chant the desire rises high and they say the prayer blessed be he for he is holy above in Jesus viewer and Typhoret and blessed below in Malchut therefore those who stand above to the right take the sanctification join it and all those who know how to sanctify their master in the secret of unison in the mystery of wisdom those who stand to the left take the sanctification and join all those who do not know how to sanctify their master properly all are included in one another in one unison joining each other to become one not in one spirit they are connected to the chambers above to make all into one join together 533 from this place nourish all the initiated in wisdom who are able to know by vision or by the secret of the dream the prophets nourish from above net and hot of zeir and of and those who look at dreams or in visions nourish from here the chamber of hot and when this place is united with the upper place in Netzach and hot of Zeir and then the prophets nourish from above and below in one not 534 therefore there are allegories in the sayings of the prophets because their prophecy is not completely polished as was Moses whose prophecy was entirely polished because its light came from above but where all the lights come from it reached this great Typhoret of Atzalah whence Moses drew his prophecy and shown. This no one else could do not even the other prophets and the visionaries and seers all draw from the lower place from the chamber of hot without the connection of Netzach and hot of Zeir and above and from another lower grade namely Malchut which is outside in the first chamber 535 the prophets receive from Netzach and hot of Zeir and but do not see the grade of Netzach and hot of Zeir and only through another lower grade Malchut of Atzalah in the same manner the visionaries and Seers draw from this lower grade of above from the chamber of hot but it is revealed to them only through another grade outside that chamber Malchut of the first chamber which is lower for what comes out of the
This world and in the world to come section 48 the chamber of brightness, Netzach Rabbi Shimon describes the third chamber as the place where the verdicts of the souls are handed over to the chieftains who hold the seal of life and the seal of death depending on the verdict he tells us of the death of babies and children and young people and adults we are told of the four gates and of how the soul is anointed with the 22 letters of the Torah he moves on to a discussion of war and wrath and fury and the punishment of souls who sin the sinner still has a chance to repent however and he can be released from the reprimand that he stands under Rabbi Shimon talks about the two colored seraphim that are mercy and judgment and who always care for the sorrowful they are also called windows and they watch over those who pray taking their prayers up to the gate of the fourth chamber we learn about the companions to the destroyer and also about the Angel friends who save and protect good people for angels watch over Israel one in each direction they look after those who comfort the poor those who wanted to sin but didn't and those who study the Torah and look after the sick Israel blows the shofar to awaken God's compassion Rabbi Shimon says that the windows above are the reason for the windows in the tabernacle below because the synagogue below is the counterpart of the one above 537 the third chamber of Netzach stands in the supernal light more than the first ones there are four gates in this chamber one to the south one to the east one to the north and one to the west corresponding to Chakma and Binatai and Malchut there is a chief to each gate as ought to be 538 at the first gate stands the chief Machiel in charge over the notes on which the verdict is written emerging from the king's court that judges the world this chief supervises over these notes with two scribes under him one to the right end. 1 to the left 539 Machiel is given the notes to be corrected before they leave the gate to be handed to the chieftain of the first chamber once they are given to the chieftain of the first chamber they leave the place and there is no possibility to return them so as to correct them 544 immediately comes a chieftain of the unholy pitiless other side of strict judgment Sangadile by name he is in charge over the gate of another chamber of the other side can on some complainants and accusers are sent to hover about the world prepared to execute justice 541 while the chief is leaving through the verdicts the two scribes Shamashiel and Kemal correct the scripts under Machiel for in the chambers of the unholy other side certain chieftains were appointed the opposite of those appointed in the chambers of holiness and all the spirits and the officers in charge on the other side all do harm 542 come and see when the Sangadile takes the script from the chieftain Standing at the first gate he opens an entrance to the side of darkness called Pit of Destruction Tehillim 5524 The two first chambers of the other side where thousands and tens of thousands of officers are ready to take the scripts with the chieftain Sangadile over them and the criers come out and the accusers hover about the world and the judgment is executed therefore the chieftain Machiel reads the scripts carefully to correct the verdicts before they leave the gate this is the gate to the south 543 the second gate life and death depend upon it for in this gate are signed all the scripts coming from the court when the scripts are corrected an attendant named Gazriel takes them to the second gate to be signed 544 a chieftain stands at the gate named Israel each gate is named after the chieftain in charge of it the chieftain Israel has under him two attendants Sandria and a deal one to the right and one to the left life depends upon him of the right and death upon him of the left they have two seals in their hands a seal of life and a seal of death one on this right side the other on that left side 545 this gate is closed for six days and open on Shabbat and new moons as a sign of life and the seal upon which life depends for the seal thrives on Shabbat and new moons 546 on Yom Kippur when Yisrael are occupied with prayers and petitions and strive to worship their master this gate is closed until the prayer of Minjah when this prayer passes from the courthouse in the chamber of merit and air comes out the gate is open the chieftain stands with the two attendants one on his right and one on his left with seals of life and death in their hands and all the scripts of the court of the world are before them they then sign to life or death this is the east gate the secret of the central column 547 the purpose of the third gate is to know all those upon whom judgment is executed either sickness pain or poverty namely not judgment for Death when this gate is closed the judgment is written upon man and cannot be repealed save by intense prayer and complete repentance as it is written he shuts up a man and there can be no opening he of 1214 548 there is one chieftain in charge over this gate named Koptil he is in charge over the gate and closes it before a person worthy of punishment so he may not be admitted by prayer until he repents before his master 549 when sentence is pronounced on his children who committed no crime namely small children a chief under Koptil called Ariel comes out and cries to the left side until a spirit is awakened a flawed spirit created when the moon was waning called Askari he stands on the fourth grade of the third chamber of the side of defilement in charge over baby's death he is seen before them in the guise of a woman raising children but seizes and kills them 550 this chief seizes the soul of the baby and raises it before the chieftain of it fourth chamber who raises them and takes delight in them he elevates them to be seen before the holy king on each Shabbat and new moon they are presented before him and blessed by you and fury has sway over the world the holy one blessed be he looks at them and has compassion for the world 551 all the children who did not reach 13 years and a day are all given into the hands of this chief Ariel those from 13 to 20 years of age are given to the spirit called Azures and issued from the subtle serpent the evil inclination who brought death to the world a man over 20 years is sentenced by the court in the place called merit the fourth chamber and comes himself to the court he is judged according to his own sins and delivered to the hands of that serpent the angel of death 552 for when he is under 20 years of age down to 13 the spirit Azures and that is within him as a serpent follows him since he did not refrain from sinning when he was a little child as he should have done the spirit saw in him a sign that he will be corrupted later on he is therefore taken without permission as it is written but sometimes ruin comes for want of judgment Mishlei 1323 this is the secret of the verse and behold it was very good Bereshit 131 we learned that this refers to the angel of death who hastened to take his soul before he will become a sinner the chieftain over this gate Koptil takes his soul and raises it upward 553 under 13 years of age he is judged for his father's sins and delivered to the said Askara each chamber of holiness has a parallel chamber on the other side one is opposite to the other as we said this is the gate to the north 554 the fourth gate is for healing called the gate of healing the chieftain of this gate is called Petel derived from redemption Hepidai and he is in charge over all the remedies in the world and brings in all the prayers of those in pain sickness and sorrow he mounts together with these prayers and presents them before the Holy One, blessed be he 555, this is an angel over him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, Do 3,323, for there are a thousand who stand at the gate, and P-E-D-A-L is one among them, it is also written, and he is gracious to him, and says, deliver him from going down to the pit, I have found a ransom of it, 24, as this prayer mounts, and becomes a good interpreter for that person, and speaks well of him before the Holy One, blessed be he, it is always, for a good cause, therefore all the remedies are found in that gate, over which Pet-El is in charge, this is the gate to the west, there are four gates to this chamber, each having a unique function, 556, in this chamber, there is another spirit called Nogalit Brightness, the spirit rules over this chamber, and every luster and desire are in it, the spirit is for those who have a portion in the world to come, he bedecks the souls with precious luster, so all the other spirits in the other. Chambers know that the soul is worthy of the world to come and might pass through all the other chambers with no one to detain it. 557 The spirit is purer and clearer than those below him. His name is Zahariel, anointed by the holy anointing oil drawn from the world to come by, and it is nourished and grows by it. This alludes to a candle as it is written, I have set up a candle for my anointed Tehillim 13217, for he is the set order of lighting candles from below upwards when light from above by it dwells upon him because he is set in order when all those below are included in him, namely the chambers below mount up to him. And then I have set up a candle 558 when the spirit is set and arranged by all the lower beings who went up to him and he shines, he emits one light by the name of Ahadiel who is included in the spirit Zahariel. The spirit Ahadiel is underneath the spirit Zahariel and anoints all the rising souls who have a portion in the world to come and are worthy. Of ascending 559 for when a soul ascends it first enters the lower chambers the chamber of the sapphire stone and the chamber of the very heaven the soul is engraved with the 22 
Settled in the fourth chamber 561 when the spirit Zahariel includes a light Ahadiel and the 22 letters urging to glitter one holy living creature comes out combined of two colors of a lion and an eagle it has one shape for the shapes of the lion and the eagle merged into one called Ahil 562 from the glittering of this holy living creature when light from the high spirit Zahariel reaches it four wheels come out comprising all the colors lion ox eagle and man called Hadriel. Yehadriel Ahadur Yassim and they all have eight wings appointed over the heavenly armies who wage war for there is no war in the world nor a kingdom uprooted from its place unless the heavenly armies and the stars of the rest of the firmaments wage war upon each other the four wheels stand upon them in the four directions of the world 563 when the four wheels go to wage wars by the secret of the chamber of above the fourth chamber they depart for there is a courthouse named Merit from. Their sweat countless armies and hosts of angels are issued they all abide under these wheels 564 some of them recite poetry and some are messengers to this world corresponding to the messengers of the side of defilement coming out of its third chamber and prosecute and cause harm in the world the messengers of this chamber are against them so they would not have power over those occupied in the Torah as it is written for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways they shall bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone tail 9111 to 12 this is a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense yashaya 814 defilement is called a stone of stumbling a rock of offense holiness is called a tried stone a precious cornerstone yashaya 2816 the rock of Israel yashaya 3029 the one corresponds to the other 565 from the mystery of the third chamber of the other side two spirits emerge called wrath and fury from these two all the Messengers come out misleading men from the path of truth they stand before a man on a righteous path to distract him for this reason these wheels oppose them to protect the man from incurring damage by the Moses was afraid of these two when he went down the mountain as it is written for I was afraid of the wrath and fury to Aram 919 566 in the middle of this chamber there is another place up above with four gates to the four directions of the world there are ten chiefs in charge over each gate and one chieftain over them this chieftain comprises the light Ahadiel they are will within will combined with one another 567 the forty chiefs receive from the chamber of merit the indictment to strike the sinning soul and they have to strike it they stand within flames of fire facing the souls and soar out of the chamber and strike that soul the soul stands reprimanded all the days it was sentenced to and does not cross the screen to enter the chamber 568 these forty Chiefs reprimand and excommunicate all those who uttered something they should not have and immediately after pronounce the holy word of the Torah and sully their mouths there and the chiefs excommunicate them and they are excommunicated for forty days for their prayer is not accepted 569 so for all sinners who deserve to be reprimanded ten criers come out every day and proclaim in all the firmaments the armies and the hosts of angels beware of so and so for he is reprimanded for such an such a sin he committed until he repents before his master may the merciful one save us 570 when he repents his sin the forty chiefs gather and release him from the reprimand and a proclamation resounds so and so is released from the reprimand from now on the prayer enters but before he repents he is reprimanded above and below and the protection of his master is removed from him even at night when his soul departs and wishes to rise above his soul is reprimanded and the gates of heaven are closed before it, it does not mount but is rejected outside 571 there is a will in charge over the 40 chiefs he travels to the place called the courier's chamber I may lodge him 1428 he enters with the 40 chiefs in charge over the four gates and together they raise the golden shields these are the angels called elect who hasten with shield swords and spears to protect Israel from the other nations and wage war against them to take revenge at once without wasting time 572 it is therefore called the courier's chamber referring to where they run from they run and hasten to fight and take revenge contrary to other couriers running in haste to bring evil and weaken the fortune of people thus to have power over them this is the secret meaning of the verse the couriers went out in haste Esther 315 there are couriers on this side of holiness and couriers on that side of the other side and because of them the city of Shushan rejoiced and was glad Esther 815 or was in consternation Esther 315 if the couriers of holiness arrive earlier the city of Shushan rejoices and if the couriers of the other side come first the city of Shushan is in consternation 573 we already explained that in the chamber they stand facing each other the side of holiness against that side of the other side and for that reason the couriers in here defend all and when they ascend included in each other one ear comes out from above and they all become one shield alluded to by Amir shield bear sheet 151 574 12 wheels are turning at the chamber called two colored seraphim red and white namely mercy and judgment they always care for the sorrowful to whom the other nations cause sorrow and oppression they are called windows as in the verse he looks in at the windows Cherhasherim 29 575 they are standing watchful over those who pray early to come to the synagogue to be counted among the first ten the seraphim then mount and inscribe them above four. These first ten are called their friends. This is the meaning of the companions. Hearken for your voice, cause me to hear it. Sure, Hashirim 813, 576. Happy are the righteous who know how to properly arrange their prayer because when this prayer begins to ascend, the seraphim mount with it. They enter throughout the firmaments and chambers up to the gate of the supernal opening where the prayer comes in to be adorned before the king. As we learn, 577, come and see those who say prayers and sanctification before their master with their whole will. Their prayer should come straight from God with speech and spirit full of desire. Then the name of the Holy One, blessed be he, is sanctified. And when prayer reaches the angels, the friends, they all take the prayer and walk with it to the gate of the fourth chamber. There the angels praise the Holy One, blessed be he. When Israel say prayers and sanctifications to the Holy One, blessed be he. At that time of day, day chiefs are appointed over. Praising with Israel and to be their companions at night they are friends with those who chant at night 578 come and see it is written he who robs his father or his mother and says it is no transgression he is companion of a destroyer Mishlei 2824 we already explained that it is because he withheld blessings from the Holy One blessed be he his father as it is written ask your father and he will recount it to you Devarim 327 and let your father be glad Mishlei 2325 this was explained 579 he is companion of a destroyer he asks who is a destroyer and he answers he is a man who blemished the moon Malchut namely the other side called the perverse man Mishlei 1628 a slanderer Tehillim 14012 a cunning hunter a man of the field Beersheh 2527 this is a destroyer who withholds blessings from the world here also whoever withholds blessings from the world is a companion of a destroyer as we said this is a mystery it behooves a man to bless the holy one blessed be he and pray in a proper manner so that his holy name be blessed and he will join the holy companions of angels and not blemish his prayer for if he blemishes his prayer blessings will be withheld from the world and he will be considered a companion to the destroyer who withholds blessings from the world and brings death to all 580 he asks what is a charmer lit a befriender of 1811 and he answers he who follows the other side charms and thus draws to himself another unholy spirit and Joins an evil friend that friend the destroyer abides by him why is he called a friend because when that man was born the other side namely the evil inclination befriended him and is now always his friend later the friend turns into a destroyer 581 there is also a good friend on the side of holiness the right side who does good with men in this world and in the world to come these angels friends are always with him joined to save and protect him and be his companions in sanctifying the name of their master to chant and praise him always 582 from these 12 two colored seraphim come out four other pillars supporting the 12 two colored seraphim the friends as said the pillars are standing against those who give advice to harm the righteous and before anything is done they go up and announce what they heard and the advice is cancelled they are called ERLE man angels and though all are appointed to that task nevertheless each one is in charge over certain Specific matters under them there are countless angels 583 these four Yarlim stand to the four directions of the world each standing watchful over Israel they are called lattices according to the verse he peers through the lattice Shurhasherim 29 and the twelve are called windows the names of the four lattices are Igalri Ariel Yehir El Igal stands to the east looking after all those who do good deeds and think righteous thoughts though they are not able to perform 584 Arya stands to the south he is looking
They came to commit transgression they overcame their inclination and abstained from doing it 586 Yehirel stands to the west he is in charge over those who are occupied in the Torah and bring their sons to study Torah in school and over those who look after the sick in their sickbed they watch over them and tell them to examine their sins and deeds and repent before their master for whoever looks after the sick let him look after his deeds and repent before the Holy One blessed be he who will cause him to be saved and his spirit to return to him 587 concerning that it is written blessed is he who considers the poor Hashem will deliver him in the day of evil tell him 412 he asks what is a day of evil it should have been written an evil day and he answers a day of evil refers to the day when evil has sway to take his soul blessed is he who considers the poor Hebdal this refers to the sick as it is written why are you being the king's son so wasted Hebdal too small 134 for that reason Hashem will deliver him in the day of evil referring to those who look after the sick and cause them to repent their sins before the Holy One blessed be he as we explained in this chamber stands the angel Yehirel watchful over him so when judgment dwells over the world he will be saved therefore Hashem will deliver him in the day of evil and on the day when judgment is given in the hands of evil the angel of death to have power over him Hashem will deliver him all the four Yaralim are standing watchful and therefore they are called Lattices 588 on the day of Rosh Hashanah the Jewish New Year when the Holy One blessed be he stands in judgment over the world and the other side comes to prosecute the twelve seraphim and the four Yaralim gather and stand before the Holy One blessed be he they are all adorned and stand before him at that time it is written he looks in at the windows he peers through the lattice Shurhasharim 29 he peers looking through his slits but sees not all that needs seeing later he looks in at the windows where he can look more closely meaning that he opens openings to have pity over all and when the Holy One blessed be he looks at the world he looks through these windows and the lattices and has compassion over all 589 when Yisrael blow the shofar a sound is raised coming out of the shofar included of fire water and when that sound is made of them all to rouse a high sound Zeir and coming out of it. Shofar Bina likewise included a fire water and wine the three columns then the crier goes out and proclaims through all the firmaments the voice of my beloved is calm he looks in at the windows he peers through the lattice of it 590 then all know that the Holy One blessed be he has compassion over Israel and say happy are Israel to have the means on earth by blowing the shofar to awaken compassion above then it is written happy are the people who know the joyful note Tehillim 8916 assuredly they know the note for they break the note which is harsh judgment by which all are judged happy are Israel in this world and in the world to come for they know the ways of the Holy One blessed be he and know how to walk in his ways and properly bind the unity 591 the window seraphim and the lattices er are already to unite all the prayers coming up from below and watch over them to bring them before the Holy One blessed be he therefore every synagogue without windows is not a worthy place for prayer 592 for the synagogue below is the counterpart of the synagogue above in which there are windows as we said so there are below for as above in the great synagogue the chamber there are twelve supernal windows namely the twelve seraphim they are also in the lower synagogue the one faces the other because the world stand the one facing the other sealed by one another and whatever is in the seal is found in the insignia and the glory of the holy one blessed be he is raised in every way therefore hashem will deliver him in the day of evil tehillim 412 meaning that when the evil side has sway hashem will deliver him through the windows and the lattice is 593 in the same manner the chieftain yehirel stands over all those who feel compassion for the poor as said blessed is he who considers the poor of it hence everything is in this chamber and this chamber is included within another fourth chamber where the decrees and judgments of everyone are Found happy is the portion of him who knows the treasures of his master to be devoted to him and sanctify the name of his master always so he may have merit in this world and in the world to come. Section 49 The Chamber of Merit Viewer we hear that the fourth chamber merit is the one by which God becomes known on earth. This is the chamber where all the merits, debts, punishments and rewards are kept. Rabbi Shimon gives us a great amount of detail about the four chambers that are really all one chamber and about the spirit who takes everything and who is called Zekut El from him. There issue 70 lights and then another two lights and these lights are spoken of with much emphasis on the number 72. We hear about the three letters that are engraved on Zekut El. The chambers are for lawsuits and judgment for verdicts and sentences. Rabbi Shimon tells us the names of the chieftains at the gates of the chambers. He reveals how information is sent from this. Chamber down to men of vision and dreams down to prophets with the knowledge descending from grade to grade. Some of the grades are appointed to watch people and keep them from evil. Some to help people who have come to be purified. Some to perform miracles and signs and some to report back on people's actions. In the same way, the other side has grades that do various evil works in the world. Rabbi Shimon tells us of the chiefs who are variously in charge of merits, deliverance, judgment, transgressions, and the scales of justice. Again, we hear about the glowing living creature called Tumil, who is in charge of prayers and who reigns over four seraphim. The seraphim emit sparks of fire that create seventy-two wheels glowing with fire that create the river of fire in which spirits are burned after death. During Shabbat, the river stops burning and the living creature enters the middle of the chamber, the place called the light. Here, there are tens of thousands of chieftains who stand over the Tables prepared on earth for Sabbath ready to say amen to the blessings that Tumil puts on those tables. There is a chamber opposite to the one called delight and it is called pestilence. It is reserved for those whose tables are not properly laid and who love cursing. Everything is judged in the chamber of merit except for three things children, life, and sustenance. This is because all three flow down from above from Yezid of Zir and Ben 594 by the fourth chamber, the reign of the holy. One blessed be he over the earth is made known. It stands guard to keep the ways of the Torah. This chamber is called merit and in it are judged all the cases of the world. This is the chamber where are all the merits, debts, punishments, and rewards for those who keep the precepts of the Torah. 595. This chamber of merit is different than the rest of the chambers. It comprises four chambers different from each other and all of them are one in this chamber. There is a spirit called Zekut El. After whom the chamber is named Merit Hebzekut and El because here all the lawsuits in the world are judged. This is the secret of an El who has indignation every day. Tehillim 712 596. The four chambers within this chamber are one inside the other, all included within one another, and are one chamber merit. All the four chambers have gates. A high chieftain stands outside the first gate of this chamber, Sanzania by name. By the same name, there is another chieftain on another side of the left who takes the judgments from Sanzania to his chamber with which to arouse and execute judgment upon the world. Since he takes from him, he too is named Sanzania. He is in charge over Askara of the babies. 597. This high chieftain standing outside the first gate of this chamber called Sanzania. Once judgment is received, he proclaims to all the chiefs standing at the twelve openings of this chamber. These are the criers who announce all the lawsuits sentenced in this chamber of merit. 598. The spirit who receives everything Zekut El comprises everything from him issue 70 glittering lights all standing in a circle so they may see each other and not be covered by one another all the merits the punishments the judgments are standing before these lights 599 from the 70 lights come out two lights always standing before the 70 lights the 70 lights together with the two lights standing in front of them are inside in the middle of the chamber of the secret of this chamber it is written your navel is like a round goblet that never lacks blended wine sure hasherim 73 for here all the debts and merits merge 600 from these 72 lights come out other 72 of the right and 72 of the left the first 72 are inside in the middle of the chamber before the internal lights come all the merits and debts to be purified all the deeds in the world are come from these 72 internal lights it is found and that all the lights issuing from this high spirit Zekut El are 216 lights for 3 times 72 are 216 and they are all included in the spirit 601. These two lights stand before the 70 always testifying and recording verdicts acquittals or condemnations of 70 decree and judge all the judging in the world for good or ill is done here 602 upon the spirit's echo L3 letters are engraved joining him from above yet hey, Bob, we already explained that when these letters are joined together where there is unity between male and female yud. Hey, Bob, being the secret of Chesed, Bira and Tiferet and Armel and Zekut El, the secret of the female, they are written upon the spirit's echo L
Light, namely the two seventy twos on the right and left sides of secret of the three courts that sentence other cases. There is one chamber for all the eyed ones who do the reckoning for the deeds of the world, namely including criminal laws. The secret of the middle internal seventy two. Another chamber is for the scribes under the first internal ones. These four chambers are all included within this chamber named merit after the spirit, as we said, six hundred and four in each of the gates. In these chambers, there is one chieftain at the first gate. There is a chieftain named Gazriel. His duty is to make known the sentences and verdicts of the judgments to the first chieftain standing out of the door, whose name is Sansania, from whom receives another chieftain in charge over the chamber of the other side, in charge over the group Aramic Ascar sickness in baby six hundred and five. The chieftain Gazriel takes the verdicts from the internal court as everything is sentenced there and notifies the chieftain outside the door. Sansania all the criers proclaim throughout the firmament such and such was decreed at the house of the king and the matter is taken by the chamber below the third chamber where it resounds until it is heard in all the lower firmaments and made known to everyone down below 606 the lower beings take the matter from grade to grade even the birds in the sky and the fowl on earth take it and make it known in the world until the complainants and accusers take it and appear before men in their dreams shortly afterward it comes to pass 607 sometimes when something has to be made known to the kings on earth who sustain and lead nations the matter is disclosed to the firmament of the lower sun where it stands until the chiefs of the sun appointed over the sun take the matter and notify the supernal chieftains of the other side who make it known to the kings of the earth on their side 608 when there were prophets in Israel they used to draw their prophecy from the two Supernal pillars net sash and hot upon which the Torah Zeir and Ben is supported when the prophets were gone from the world those who see in visions and in dreams came who took everything from its place as we said and when there were kings in Israel but the prophets were gone and no men who see in visions and in dreams were to be found the matter was made known to the kings through this gate the first gate of this chamber 609 and if you say how could the kings of Israel take from such a high place as this come and see each grade and every gate has certain chiefs outside appointed over all those firmaments all the way down to the lower firmaments they notify the matters to those who should know for from these chambers on the side of holiness and the secret of the faith grades are going down all in the secret of the faith they descend until they soar into this world and are appointed over at 610 some of them are appointed to keep people from the other side and the harms of the world and watch their ways others help people who come to be purified some perform miracles and signs and others watch the deeds of men to testify above so the grades differ according to their aspects all this is in the secret of the supernal faith supernal holiness 611 the other side works in the same manner in the side of defilement from the chambers of unholiness grades go down these grades all do evil and seduce the world some lead men astray from the path of good into the evil way others stand to defile people who come to be defiled we learn that when a man comes to be defiled he is defiled in this world and defiled in that world they are called boiling excrement head so as it is written you shall go heads up and say to it yeshaya 3022 these grades defile even more and are therefore always meant for those who come to be defiled all that happens in certain grades in a proper manner 612 over the second gate there is a chief called Dahariel of the right he is in charge over all the merits won by men so they will be acquitted when a man has a good verdict when there are more merits than sins in men and this chief Dahariel is in charge over their due and the portion of the merits and their good reward 613 he takes out the good sentence and appoints a chief called Petel of the third chamber and tells him deliver head beating him from going down to the pit Yo 3324 for when a man is on his deathbed caught in the king's prison and he is judged. All his merits and every debt he accumulated in this world come into the court to be judged 614 when his verdict is good his good judgment comes out of this gate to the right of the chief Dahariel standing there at the gate his good sentence is announced until he is saved and cured from his illness the judgment goes down through all the chieftains the good grades descending through all the grades until it reaches a man in this world man is judged for everything for better for worse by the king's court 615 over the third gate there is a chief named Gadiel he is of the left side in charge over all the transgressions and evil deeds a man goes after in this world he puts them on the scales to weigh them against the merits put there by another chief Dahariel we mentioned 616 these scales stand within the fourth gate where the good deeds and sins are weighed together whichever is in the ascendancy has chiefs on its side if the good deeds prevail some chieftains of it right side take the sentence and remove evils and diseases away from that man until he is saved if transgressions prevail its chieftains of the left side come until the other side takes the matter with all those who seek strict law until the man's good fortune weakens and that side comes down and takes away his soul happy is the portion of the righteous in this world and in the world to come 617 on the fourth gate stands a chief called Mosnia Yang from scales these are the scales where Good and bad deeds are put and weighed together. They are called just scales as it is written, just balances. Vayakra 1936. Everyone is weighed by it to be judged. 618 under this chief Mosnia. There are two chiefs, one on the right and one on the left. The one on the right is called Hariel, and the one on the left is called Idudil. When the merits and sins are weighed, the one on the right balances the scales to the right, and the one on the left balances to the left. They are all included within the spirit called Zekut L. 619. When they are all comprised in Zekut L, he issues a living creature. This is a glowing living creature called Tumil. It stands guard over the world by the eyes of Hashem who hover and walk about the world. These eyes of Hashem are watchful over the good deeds done secretly and watch over the deeds done with a whole heart, though not done properly. 620. This living creature stands watchful over the prayers because the petitions uttered by men in. Their prayers are all in the hands of this living creature. It puts them in this chamber where they are kept for 40 days. 621. Every 40 days, this living creature comes out, takes all the prayers, and puts them before the 72 lights to be judged. And the spirit Zekutel looks at them carefully to see whether that man is worthy or not. If he is worthy, the prayer goes out, and this petition rolls, and 12 chiefs with it, each demanding from that spirit that the prayer be accepted. And it is accepted by them. 622. Under the living creature, glow four seraphim, seraphel, barkil, krishil, kadumi, yeah, These four are under the living creature to the four directions of the world. They are appointed to watch over those who keep the Shabbat and delight it as they ought. 623. When the four seraphim travel, sparks of fire come out from the spark. 72 wheels glowing with fire were made. Once the river of fire was made, thousands will serve this river. All the four seraphim watch over those. Who give pleasure to the Shabbat the living creature Tumil is above them and they travel according to it and under it 624 every day the river of fire flows and burns spirits and rulers when Shabbat arrives a proclamation resounds and the river is calmed all the storms glimmers and sparks are calmed this living creature stands on the four seraphim and enters the middle of the chamber the place called delight 625 in this place delight once Shabbat enters all the tables are set of it people called the children of the king's chamber thousands and tens of thousands of chieftains stand at these tables the supernal living creature above the four seraphim enters and looks at each table how each of them is given pleasure and it blesses the table and the thousands and tens of thousands of chieftains all open and say amen 626 he asks what is the blessing it says over the table pleasing and properly set and he answers it is then shall you delight yourself in Hashem for the Mouth of Hashem has spoken it. Yeshua 5814 and everybody says then shall you call and Hashem shall answer Ibn 9 when the table has the pleasure of all the three meals the supernal spirit Zekutel at the last repast finishes by saying about all the preceding ones then shall your light break forth like the morning the glory of Hashem shall be your rear guard. Ibn 8 all the seventy other lights on the three sides open and say behold thus shall the man be blessed who fears Hashem Talim. 1284 627 when a man's table is not at the place called delight properly set to please then this living creature with the four seraphim underneath it and the thousands and tens of thousands all rejected outside to the other side and the accusers take it and put it in a place opposite to delight head ong and ungimel called pestilence head and ungimel when they put it there they say for he loved cursing and it came to him and he delighted not in blessing and it was far from Im Tehillim 10,917 Let the creditor seize everything that he has let there be none to extend kindness to him of it 11 to 12 May the merciful one save us 628 Since the delight of Shabbat is the faith in the
Of Eric Anpin comes from where there is life above there is food there and children for all the three come out from there and flow downward for that reason all is found in this chamber save these three six hundred and thirty one when man is on his deathbed he is judged here also for all other laws of the world if you say why is it that when a man is on his deathbed if he is sentenced to have life it is given him yet children life and sustenance are not supposed to depend upon this place he answers the meaning. Is not that life depends upon this place but once he is judged here to life then life is drawn from above from Hazel and is given him happy is the portion of the righteous who know the ways of the Torah and by it merit life eternal of them it is written your people also shall be all righteous they shall inherit the land forever Yeshua 6021 section 50 the fifth chamber of love Chesed Rabbi Shimon says that the fifth chamber lights up the lower one shining in. The secret of the faith the spirit of love lives in the chamber, he is called Surya and consists of four colors he has been given all the secrets of his master in this chamber all the supernal treasures and the mystery of mysteries are kept the four colors mentioned joined to produce the holy living creature called Splendor Zohar the chamber holds all the souls and spirits that are still destined to descend into bodies however no new ones have come in since the destruction of the temple. Once they have all descended to be men the chamber will be empty and Messiah will come the spirit love and the living creature Splendor made to produce two lights that are included in each other and that are called El Shaday we are told how people are sent spiritual nourishment so they will not be starved by the other side and how two officers in this chamber cause the love to flow between Israel below and God above all the acts of kindness in the world go up to this chamber and then go. Further up to the supernal love avers about this chamber says many waters cannot quench love nor can the floods drown it. 632 The fifth chamber is for illuminating the lower beings. It shines in the secret of the faith. There is an opening to this chamber and a chief in charge over it called Sadagor. Yah the chief stands at the gate to argue in favor of Sadagor namely to give good recommendation on Yisrael before their master so the other side will not have sway over them. 633 There is a spirit in this chamber consisting of four for the spirit comprises four colors white, black, green and red cheese of Tifera and Malchut. The spirit which consists of them all is called Surya general of all the lower armies beneath him and appointed by him. 634 This is the spirit who opens and closes for all the higher keys were given into his hand. All the lower armies are included and stand beneath him sustained by him. The spirit knows all the secrets of his master for they were all handed to him 635 the spirit is called love and for that reason the chamber is called the chamber of love for here the mystery of mysteries were stored for whoever should conceive it this is the secret of the verse there will I give you my love sure hasherim 713 636 the spirit is in charge of the keeping of a call he who keeps Israel tehillim 1213 who keeps covenant devarim 79 here are kept all the supernal treasures and the stores of his master are there stored from here start all the paths and ways to those below to awaken in them the spirit of love 637 the four said colors were included within one another whenever they wish to be included they strike each other and one holy living creature emerges called splendor head zohar of this living creature it is written this is the living creature that I saw be the river cave arjeshkal 1,2638. from this chamber come out all the holy spirits sustained by the existence of the supernal Kissing for from these kisses an air of a spirit issues that sustains the ill of all the high souls given to men this is the secret of the verse but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Hashem does man live. Devarim 83 in this chamber you may find all the souls and spirits destined to descend to men since the world was created therefore this chamber holds all the souls born of that river which is drawn at issuing yezid of Zeir and, and therefore is never empty 639 since the destruction of the temple no other souls came in here and when there will be no more namely all the souls in this chamber will go down to be clothed in men this chamber will be empty and it will be visited from above and King Messiah will come and the chamber above will be aroused, Malchut, and the chamber below so his kingdom will be revealed in this world 640 it is written of the secret of this chamber your two breasts are like two fawns sure Hashirim 45 for in this chamber there is. The spirit we mentioned love and that living creature splendor and their joining together issue two lights included in one another and united together to be called El Shaday. The two lights are called Shaday and together with El of the chamber below called Zekut El they join each other and intermingle to be called El Shaday for they issue from the two breasts have Shaday in 641 the name El is of the right it takes from this place all the compassion there that nourish the chamber. Below called merit named after the spirit in it as we said the name Shaday suckles all the lower beings and all the chambers and those standing outside on this side called the pits of the tabernacle as we explained it is therefore called Shaday for giving plenty of food to the lower beings that it receives from the right 642 from here come out the lights called the bright blade of revolving sword bear she 324 for they revolve and turn into several colors we already explained. That they are those aroused to accomplish a mission above and in this world they are of the left when the spirit expands it strikes and emits lights on all sides right and left like breasts pouring milk on all sides so from the spirit lights come out on every side and issue another living creature in charge over those called the bright blade of revolving sword this is called a few lines are missing 643 the beginning is missing he is in charge over the world when there is hunger and the world is sentenced to it this living creature is appointed over the world it issues a spirit of nourishment to the faithful so they will not starve on account of the other side while hunger has sway over the world two spirits of defilement issue from that side called destruction and famine this is the secret of the verse at destruction and famine you shall laugh you 522 they abide in the world and denounce men the one who sends them hunger and they die as destruction when the other Famine has sway people eat but are never satisfied which is famine because an evil spirit rules over the world 644 this is a living creature which produced the spark coming out of the two glittering sparks that revolve and turn into several colors sometimes female sometimes male this spark is called seraphim it grasps and inflames them 645 in this chamber there are two officers lights standing upon thousands and tens of thousands called vines and thousands and tens of thousands called pomegranates they all exist through love and bring love between Israel below and the holy one blessed be he above they all arouse love and endure through love when love is awakened from below upward and from above downward the chamber is filled with goodness and charity and mercy and the love below and the love above join each other bet hey below are attached to Allah hey above Allah hey bet hey equals a hobby love 646 from here come out two chiefs called love after the chamber their duty is to watch over those who proclaim the unison of the master with love sacrifice their lives with love and ascend to testify above all those who do an act of kindness in the world these acts go up and enter this chamber to be adorned and go further up to be adorned by the supernal love concerning this the verse says for your kindness have Jesus is great above the heavens tell 1085 of this chamber it is written many waters cannot quench love nor can the floods drown it sure Hashirim 87 section 51 the chamber of desire Typhor at Rabbi Shimon tells us about the sixth chamber the chamber of desire that is called word that proceeds out of the mouth of Hashem here all the wishes and petitions in the world are granted this is the chamber where Moses was taken after death we learn of the spirit in charge of this chamber who is named Raziel and we learn of the roles of Michael Gabriel Raphael and Uriel who are instrumental in defense in Healing and bringing medicine and in carrying messages Rabbi Shimon talks about water fire air and dust that are Chesed Bure Tiferet and Malchut he tells us that Rabbi Akiba reached this chamber and died with complete love he was not judged because he drew the light of wisdom from below upward rather than from above downward we learn about the ten martyrs whose souls rose up to God but whose bodies were delivered to the other side Rabbi Shimon comes to the conclusion that holiness is joy and that the other side is sadness he talks about how all the lower chambers are included in this chamber standing on pillars the officers in charge of these chambers look after the marriage of males and females all births the speech of children who study the Torah the declarations of judgment and the gladdening of the world we read about the supernal kisses that unite the lower and higher grades and of what happened when Jacob reached this chamber we hear of how Abraham and Isaac comprised love and judgment together and how there is no justice without merit this explains how the Sanhedrin began to develop the criminal laws then we are told about the prophets and how the seers get their visions and dreams from the chambers of brightness and splendor there is a
Desire of all desires according to the secret of the verse your lips are like a thread of scarlet sure hashirim 43 it is the desire of all the souls coming out of the mouth of Hashim 648 this chamber is the chamber of desire where all the wishes and petitions in the world are granted for it is the desire of all the desires where they are kissing according to the secret of the verse and Jacob kissed Rachel Bershi 2911 and when they kiss each other it is time of favor because then Holiness is found and all faces illuminate whenever prayers rise it is a time of goodwill therefore it is written but as for me let my prayer be to you O Hashim in an acceptable time Tehillim 6914 which refers to their joining each other 649 there are six entrances to this chamber four entrances to the four directions of the world Chesed Bura Tiferet and Malchut one above and one below Netzach and Had there is one spirit in charge over the entrances greater than all the chieftains of the entrance is named Raziel he is appointed to be in charge over the supernal secrets that talk mouth to mouth and kiss each other in loving love 650 these secrets are not meant to be revealed but when the gates are opened all the chambers know and all the spirits and legions that the gates of desire were opened through these gates no one enters save the desire of the prayers the desires of the praises the desires of the holy high soul 651 this is the chamber of Moses to this chamber. Moses was gathered in love and with kisses namely he died by the kiss of death in this chamber Moses speaks and the Elohim answers him by a voice Shemot 19 19 652 when the kissers are joined in kissing each other it is written let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth Sure Hashirim 11 there are no kisses of joy and love save when they cling to each other mouth to mouth spirit to spirit and saturate each other with pleasure and joy from the supernal illumination 653 come and see. Moses speaks refers to Zeir and as it is written behold you are fair my love 15 and your lips are a thread of scarlet Sure Hashirim 43 these are the words of Zeir and to the Shechina and the Elohim answers him by a voice this is the Shechina talking to Zeir and as it is written behold you are fair my beloved yet pleasant Sure Hashirim 116 and his lips like lilies dropping flowing Sure Hashirim 513 these are the words of the Shechina to Zeir and 654 to the Spirit Raziel were given all the secrets of the high souls who awaken the need of love above and below together namely male and female when they raise male and female waters these are the supernal souls such as Rabbi Akiva and his companions the ten martyrs who did not bathe in the river of fire like the rest of the souls who passed through it to bathe they did not need it because of their great holiness we already explained that 655 the spirit Raziel let out twelve lights that exist by the secret under that spirit there are four highlights to the four directions ruling over the four winds to the south stands one supernal light the right of the whole world from which Israel begin to be united by the secret of the faith this is Michael minister over the force of the supernal lights descending from the south Jesus where the light is strong 656 Michael the light of the right is the great guardian the caretaker of Israel when the other side accuses and prosecutes Israel. Michael stands against him as counsel for the defense and advocate in favor of Israel and they are saved from prosecution of the chief enemy of Israel 657 except at the time of the destruction of Jerusalem when the sins multiplied and Michael could not overcome the other side because his pleadings were broken then he has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy Egypt 23 658 to the north stands another light whose duty is to nullify sentences of the fourth chamber it gives the nullification to the chief in charge over the gate where stand other chieftains of the side of defilement waiting to take the sentence from the chief sometimes the light of the north side executes the judgment itself and it is not given to the other side for all the judgments executed by it itself can be mended and the holy one blessed be he does kindness in such places though they are of the left 659 he explains Gabriel is the light of the north and wherever he strikes there is Jesus. For Gabriel consists of two sides and comprises both Bura and Shisa. He therefore strikes, but with a healing effect on this side, there is the secret of the verse. As a man chastens his son, so Hashem your Elohim chastens you. Devarim 85. These are sufferings of love, including this and that side. Bura and Shisa. 660. To the east side, there is another light found in all that pertains to healing. It presents before the Holy One. Blessed be he, all those who were forgotten in their beds of sickness and not healed in time in order to bring nearer the time and end of their illness, for they were perfected in their faith, meaning that the sicknesses keep the time allotted to them by faith and do not want to leave earlier, and it asks them to leave before their time is due. The light goes about the world every day to perfect the medicine at the command of its master. This light is named Raphael. It is him, though we stated that Raphael is of the west side and grasps this and that side. The Side of Michael and the side of Gabriel being of the central column Tiferet comprising the two columns right and left which are Michael and Gabriel 661 this is the chieftain whose charge it is when a man is sentenced to remain alive in the fourth chamber to hasten the medicine this medicine comes through distress for unless he were ill he would not have needed medicine and since it comes out of the two sides Jesus and judgment this distress the illness comes out of the left and it medicine of the right side therefore the sick when healing is sent to him it comes out of great distress 662 so it is on the west side that the medicine comes also from the west side because the west is malchute including all the lights of the three columns as was said though we said that Raphael is of the east side and we stated that he is also of the west nevertheless healing and life come only from the east side but thence life is drawn downward towards malchute which is the west side 663 on the side of the west there is one light called Muriel which is Uriel it consists of them all and acts as a messenger on every matter for west is Malchut including all the three columns it has three sides namely three columns but they are actually two since each comprises the other meaning that there are mainly the right column and the left column and the central column is but the combination of the two columns and doesn't add to them so there are really not more than two columns they are the four foundations the three columns and the receiving Malchut lower than the four foundations of the world in Bino which are superior to the rest since they are all connected to each other the verse says I went down into the garden of nuts to see Sher Hashirim 611 alluding to the fruit of the nut which is divided into four interconnected parts 664 these twelve lights are within the spirit Raziel about whom we said he is in perfection above them the explanation is that beneath it Four supernal lights and the four rising spirits Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel. There are eight other lights in order to achieve perfection, for together they are one wholeness, and when they expand, they are three on each side. 665. The function of the four pillars, the four said lights, is to raise the chamber and unite it with a place called Heaven, Tiferet of Atzala, to connect the kissing together under the many grades upon grades, all come out of the four lower foundations. The four lights Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel, some go out from the aspect of water, which is Jesus, Michael, others from the aspect of fire, which is Gabriel, Gabriel, some from the aspect of air, which is Tiferet, Raphael, and some from the aspect of earth, which is Malchut, Uriel. 666. We also learned in the same manner about the four who entered the orchard, they were all chosen for this place to the four elements, each was drawn to his own place, the one to the aspect of fire, one to the side of water, one. To the aspect of air and one to the aspect of earth they were all engraved each by his own element when they entered except the pious and whole who came from the right side Jesus clung to the right and ascended namely Rabbi Akiva 667 when he reached this place called the chamber of love he clung to it with the desire of the heart he said that this chamber should be joined with the chamber above Jesus of Atzala with great love and he became perfected in the secret of the faith and ascended to complete the small love Malchut by the great love Jesus properly that is why he died with love and his soul departed by that word and you shall love the Barim 65 happy is his portion 668 all the others went down each and every one and were punished by the element to which they descended Elisha went down by the left side the element of fire namely Bura he descended and never went up and met the other side called a strange L repentance was withheld from him and he was Expelled since he was attached to him therefore he was called another as we already explained 669 Ben Azai went down by the element of earth which corresponds to Malchut before he reached the burning fire within the earth namely the judgment in IT which touches the other side he was drowned by the earth and died it is written about this precious in the sight of Hashem is the death of his pious ones Tehillim 11615 meaning that he died pious without touching judgment 670 Ben Zoma descended by the element of air corresponding to Tiferet and met a spirit that reaches the
Be punished for it. Come and see the verse from men by your hand Hashem from men had whose portion in life is of the world. Points at two ways of death had mita by your hand Hashem and the world. The first one refers to the Holy One, blessed be he to whom the soul is gathered from and of the world had shield refers to the other side who has control over the body as it is written, I shall behold man no more with the inhabitants of the world had shall three thousand eight hundred and eleven referring to those who dwell under the other side called grave had shall six hundred and seventy two come and see the souls of the ten martyrs complimented the Holy Spirit Zeir and Pen of Atsala for they had ten proper spirits from below corresponding to the ten spirit of Zeir and Pen and their bodies were given over to the evil kingdom each took his share just as in the mystery of the sacrifices six hundred and seventy three come and see the start of the beginning of the faith keto within thought which is Chakma struck the strong spark of the secret. Of Bina there came up the thought meaning that Bina went up to Chakma and they joined and they emitted sparks the illumination of Chakma from within thought it threw sparks to 320 directions and separated the refuse from thought to be purified and it was separated 674 in the same manner concerning the ten martyrs it came up in thought as the refuse was separated namely that was sort of the breaking of the vessels and therefore the souls who are the lights went up to Zeir and Pen and the vessels the bodies were delivered to the other side the evil kingdom some were selected with whom to complement whoever needed a complement meaning that the souls were selected as may and in female waters to Zeir and Pen that is complemented by them assuredly when it rose it rose into thought namely they drew the illumination of Chakma from thought which is Chakma everything is as it ought to be joy on this side for the ascension of souls and sadness on that side for the bodies were Delivered to the other side 675 it is written so I commend mirth because a man has no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry for that shall accompany him in his labor during the days of his life which the Elohim gives him under the sun. Kahilat 815 he asks regarding so I commend mirth could it be that King Solomon praises that namely to eat drink and be merry he answers so I commend mirth refers to the rejoicing in the holy king while he rules on Shabbat. And holidays and all the good deeds men do because a man has no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to demonstrate the joy of that side of holiness so he will have a portion in the world to come 676 for that shall accompany him in his labor but he asks who will accompany him and he answers the holy one blessed be he will accompany him and show him into the world to come another explanation about the meaning of accompany have you means that when a man eats. Drinks and is merry all his expenses for food and drink he will lend Hadyalvanu as a loan to the Holy One Blessed Be and the Holy One Blessed Be he will give him twice his expenses for Shabbat and holidays with these men lends two to the Holy One Blessed Be he won his pity for the poor to his expenses for Shabbat and holidays for he lends all to the Holy One Blessed Be he has said he that gives graciously to the poor makes a loan to Hashem and that which he has given he will pay him back. Mishlei 19 17 677 for that reason this holiness is joy and that the other side is sadness this is good and that is bad this is the Garden of Eden and that is Gehenom all this holiness is the opposite of that the other side therefore the body of the ten martyrs was sad for it was killed and the soul rejoices because it went to cleave to the Holy One Blessed Be when those called the ten martyrs were killed were killed by the other side they complimented another place of holiness for that. Reason all is known before the Holy One, blessed be he, and is well done. 678 in this chamber there are twelve lights, four above and eight with them. Each of the four takes two with it as in the arrangement of the standards. This arrangement goes on downward to the end of all the grades. It is considered that there are three aspects to each of the four Svirach, Isid, Birat, Tiferet, and Malchut. 679 into this chamber come all the prayers and all the desires in the praises uttered with love. When they enter this chamber, they all cleave to it every day, and when the kisses are united, it is the time when the Holy One, blessed be he, takes delight in the souls of the righteous. The delight is that the kisses to the righteous are awakened, which preceded that delight that is mentioned in. Then shall you delight yourself in Hashem Yeshaya 5814, as we explained. 680 this chamber comprises all the lower chambers, and they are included in it. The first chamber, the sapphire stone, where stands. The spirit stature yeah, that we mentioned and all the living creatures is supported by two pillars on the east side, two pillars on the south side, two pillars on the west side, and two pillars on the north side. Altogether there are eight pillars called the picks of the tabernacle. They stand outside 681. When the supernal king comes, these picks travel uprooted from their place and from the strings to which they were bound, which are other eight beside the picks. The first spirit in that chamber. Stature yeah, hastens to come in and be included in that second spirit of the chamber. At area yeah, 682, the two pillars on the east side, the one is called Kariel, which is in charge outside over 12,000 officers, all named the picks of the tabernacle. This is on the right, the one on the left is called Shamuel, in charge over 12,000 other officers that are picks as well. The pillars in charge over the south side, one of them is called Esadil, and the other Sterilich is. Appointed over the 12,000 other officers who are always under their sway 683 they are all in charge over the maintenance of the world they weigh upon the scales males and females to marry them they are called scales upon which it is written to be laid in the balance tail 6210 it is not written of them just balances vehicle 1936 of which we spoke before all those who were weighed less the one weighs more than the other mount and come together this is the joining of male and female together upon this says the verse to be laid in the balance let scales to mount though it sometimes happens that the one weighs more than the other nevertheless they mount and become one as we already explained 684 the two pillars on the north side are called patil and adriel each one is in charge over 12,000 other officers the pigs of the tabernacle like the other ones we mentioned these chieftains the two pillars on the west side are petatil and tumahel each in charge over 12,000 other officers all picks of the tabernacle like we said 685 they shed tears over all those who divorced their first wives because the seven benedictions uttered under the Shepah which were given to her were gone and did not endure since she was divorced for husband and wife did not cleave together therefore they all shed tears for the divorce shows that these seven benedictions were as if gone from another place namely from upper Malchut to which the woman below corresponds at that time a voice resounds saying where is the bill of your mother's divorcement with which I have put her away Shea 501 686 the second chamber we mentioned the very heaven includes the first chamber the sapphire stone to become one with it together with all the living creatures there it too has eight pillars like the first ones in the first chamber each in charge over 12,000 other officers like the first ones two pillars are to the east two pillars two. The south two pillars to the north and two pillars to the west 687 the two pillars to the east are called Yehidnil and Kaziria and they have 12,000 officers beneath them all of them picks the two pillars to the south Aharil and Boreal each is in charge over 12,000 like the first one 688 these are in charge over birth they take the sounds uttered by women and put them in the entrance to the chamber when the other side comes to denounce it is a time of danger. They stand and usher in the sounds to the chief in charge over the gate and the other side cannot prosecute sometimes because of a woman since the other side hastens and comes in to accuse then he might cause harm 689 the two pillars to the north Chalkalil and Kraspihal are each appointed over 12,000 others on the west are Shukadiyah and Gideriyah appointed over 12,000 other 690 these are in charge over the blood of the covenant when the baby is circumcised at the Eighth day they take the blood and put it in front of the chamber when wrath is aroused over the world the Holy One blessed be he looks at that blood and the other side is not given permission to enter there 691 come and see when a man is circumcised at the eighth day Shabbat has already dwelt upon him within the eight days it is the Holy Malchut when the other side sees the foreskin which is cut and thrown outside his portion from that offering then the other side is broken and cannot have power over him or denounce him and becomes an advocate of Israel before the Holy One blessed be he 692 the third chamber brightness awaits to be included and joined by the second chamber the very heaven and the spirit and all the living creatures in it are all united and joined together and become one spirit which combines the one and the other it too has eight pillars turned towards the four directions all called the picks of the tabernacle two pillars are to the south Shashnil. Azuzia two pillars are to the east Yehudi Yehudi each stands upon 12,000 other officers all called the picks of the
For he perishes in this world and in the world to come. 696 The fourth chamber has much light. It is surrounded by 32 supernal pigs and 500,000 other chiefs are under them. The other four are superior to them all. All of them pigs of this chamber. These four are Hasti Hadal Kasari Akadamiya and Dahar They are in charge over the rest and all the rest are appointed under them. 697 Through them judgment is made known so it may be executed in the world of these. Says it. Verse the sentence by word of the Holy Ones. Daniel 414 The armies in charge over judgment come to these four to ask how the world was sentenced. This refers to all the verdicts never committed to writing which concern the survival of the world for that reason they do not know and therefore come to ask them. That is why they are all appointed over that 698. The other 32 are appointed over those who study the Torah incessantly and never stop by day or by night. The others beneath them are in. Charge over those who set regular times for study of the Torah. The duty of them all is to punish those who could have studied the Torah but did not. 699 in the chamber love stand. 365 chiefs like the number of days in a year above them. There are four supernal pillars. Crashi Hal, Sarti Hal, Asiria, and Kadmiel. They are called the pigs of this chamber. 700. Their duty is to gladden the world. A soul is added from Shabbat Eve to Shabbat Eve and when it comes out they come out with it and remove from Israel all sadness and labor, bitterness and anger. These are those who gladden the world. 701. All those beneath those four are all appointed to nullify the verdict of the accusers and from those punished in the Hanam. Therefore all the pigs rejoice and are produced out of rejoicing and all the chambers ascend and adorn themselves above. As we learn 702, the sixth chamber is over all the lower chambers. There are a hundred others standing outside the chamber called pigs like. The others there are a hundred to the right and a hundred to the left. Seven hundred and three there are two supernal chiefs on the right side and two other chiefs on the left side. Those of the right are Machil Shmael, those of the left are called Misarsaniyah and Zafsafiya. These are the supernal picks to the right and to the left. Seven hundred and four they stand ready in the world and when it is time for a righteous man to pass away from the world and the other side is given permission they stand there so his soul will leave with a kiss and not be pained by the sway of the other side. Happy are the righteous in this world and in the world to come whose master hastens to have them under the rule of the four so they will be watched in this world and in the world to come. Seven hundred and five from this chamber all the mysteries and upper and lower grades begin to be united so all will be complete above and below and all will be one in one unity and the holy name will be united as it should be so the supernal. Abundance will illuminate the lower one and all the candles will burn as one and not separately that abundance flows from the one who is not known nor revealed so that everything will get closer and join each other and the whole will be united properly. 706 Happy is the portion of whoever knows the secret of his master to know him properly they eat their share of this world and the world to come of this says the verse Behold my servants shall eat Yeshayah 6513 Happy are the righteous who are occupied in the Torah day and night for they know the ways of the Holy One blessed be he and know well how to affect the Holy Unison for whoever knows how to unite the Holy Name holy as happy is he in this world and in the world to come. 707 The connection between all the chambers is made here in this chamber when one spirit clings to another which is the secret of kissing the lower spirit to the upper spirit by these kisses the spirit below rises to cleave to the spirit above. And when spirit cleaves to spirit, the supernal concealed spirit by hovers about the spirit in the middle typhoret called Jacob. As long as there is no arousal for the spirits to unite the upper spirit, but it does not dwell upon the middle spirit typhoret that is called Jacob. 708. The mystery is that when one spirit joins another, then there are kisses, so they will be united, and the rest of the organs, namely the other aspects of the chamber, are awakened with longing. The spirits cling together, and all the organs are aroused to be connected between them to connect one organ with another. 709. You may ask who bestirs the lower organs or the upper organs to join each other. He answers, the lower organs are always aroused to be with the upper ones. Whoever is in the dark always longs to be in the light. The black flame below is always aroused to be with the white flame above to cling to and dwell beneath it. This is the secret of the verse. Do not keep silence, Elohim. Do not hold. Your peace and be still. El Tehillim 832 710. When Jacob Tiferet received the sixth chamber, he was named by the whole holy name Bab Yudhe Bab You may say that this name is absolutely complete. This is not so. When all the chambers finished joining together, everything is called Yudhe Bab Elohim, which is an absolutely complete name. This is a completely whole name before the chambers are united. It was not called by that complete name when they joined each other. Everything is complete. Above and below, and the light high above, which is Bina, flows down to dwell upon everything, and everything is bound together to become one. 711. The secret of the matter Jacob took four wives and included them within him, though we explained it through another mystery, namely that he stands between two worlds of Atzilah called Rachel and Leah. Nevertheless, the secret of the whole matter is that when Jacob took this chamber, the sixth one, he included in it these four women who were four angels. All attached to this chamber, these are the four sources of the rivers as it is written, and from thence it was parted and branched into four streams. Bear she 210. These four branches are the four women Jacob married who took this chamber. 712. Then this chamber was named Bab Yehe Bab when it is for the good as it is written. And Hashem went before them by day Shemot 1321. And Hashem said, Shall I hide from Abraham? Bear she 1817. When Isaac was united with the chamber of the court, house called the chamber of merit, then everything was called Bab Yehe Bab so the wicked will be punished as it is written. And Hashem reigned upon Sdom. Bear she 1924. All that pertains to one mystery as should be 713. When Jacob received this chamber, everything was considered a complete desire. This is a time of goodwill from now on. The chambers start to join and unite with each other. And though we learned that the order of unison is southeast, meaning that one draws from south. She said eastward toward Tiferet for south is the main one, yet here it is said that Tiferet is the main one and that it precedes She said the sixth chamber. He answers all is one because here one spirit is attached to the other, which is the secret of kissing in which Tiferet is principal and is higher than She said, yet there lies the secret of embracing. Therefore, She said is more valuable. This is the secret of the verse. The blessings of your father, the secret of Tiferet, are potent above the blessings of my progenitors, which are She said and Bura. Bear she 4926 for through many blessings and kissings it became more valuable than She said and Bura and was considered above them. 714 here lies the beginning of Abraham, who is of the right, namely She said of Zeir and been called great love, as we said, and he received the chamber called love, namely the fifth chamber. Then your breasts had Shade and were firm. Yeshiskal 167 referring to the name Shade and filled with goodness to sustain and Nourish all from here and when the breasts were firm and filled by the supernal love and this chamber was called El Shaday as we said and by this the world found supply when it was created because when the world was created it could not exist and did not endure until this chamber was revealed that Abraham took when Abraham was seen in this chamber the world said enough had died for there is supply enough to sustain and nourish the world it was therefore called El Shaday which means El in whom there is enough had Shaday 715 the Holy One blessed be he will fill and repair it in the future as it is written that you may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolations that you may drink deeply and be delighted with the abundance of her glory Yeshayah 6611 the breast of her consolations and the abundance of her glory are all in this chamber then at that time it is written who would have said to Abraham that Sarah should give children suck Bereshi 217 for Sucking depends upon Abraham who is Jesus 716 Isaac is at the left of the Holy One blessed be he whence all the judgments in the world are awakened he is the left arm the source of every judgment once they are awakened from there he takes the judgment called merit which is the fourth chamber to bind all the judgments together so they will be in one not since Isaac is the judgment above in Zeir and where all the judgments are listed 717 here the holy name Elohim is written for there is a living Elohim high above concealed to all which is bind and there is Elohim the celestial court viewer of Zeir and there is Elohim that is the terrestrial court which is Malchut this is the meaning of the verse verily there is Elohim who judges in the earth Tehillim 5812 the upper Elohim the secret of a living Elohim bind comprises the lower being so all is one 718 in this chamber Isaac is awakened viewer of
Son has sacrificed to judgment and to overpower him he did not command Isaac to be sacrificed but commanded Abraham so that Abraham Chesed will comprise Isaac who is judgment therefore the one is found to consist of judgment and the other Chesed and all is one once they were included in each other so the lower chambers were included in the upper 721 when Isaac received this chamber everything was sentenced in a good way namely judgment tempered with merit therefore a man who judges should give the verdict according to merit this is the high secret of the wholeness of justice for there is no wholeness to justice only with merit without it there is no perfection judgment with merit conveys the wholeness of faith reflecting the upper one 722 on the day of Rosh Hashanah when judgment is aroused in the world it behooves Israel below to awaken compassion through the shofar which reflects the high mystery as already stated and they should temper justice with merit which is Chesed. For when judgment is tempered with merit all is in unison and there is perfection above and below and iniquity stops her mouth. Theo 516 and has no permission to accuse or denounce in the world and all is in a proper unison. Judgment without merit is no judgment. 723 This concerns Israel who temper judgment with merit but the rest of the nations do not have judgment of merit. Therefore it is forbidden for us to administer justice in their courts for they have no part in our side of it. Faith as it is written he has not dealt so with any other nation and as for his ordinances they have not known them. Tehillim 14720 On the side of Israel whoever judges without taking merit into account is a sinner because he lessens the secret of the faith and turns aside to the place where there is judgment without merit. Namely the other side 724 come and see when the members of the Sanhedrin started to deal with criminal laws they had to open with a merit in order to temper judgment. With merit moreover they were called to sentence from the house of merit namely the secret of the Sanhedrin is in the chamber of merit therefore they tried to start with a merit and when they so start with the lesser one of the Sanhedrin later the judgment was completed by the most prominent of the Sanhedrin so merit will be included within justice this one above and then one below judgment with merit is the wholeness of justice for without each other there is no wholeness therefore Isaac and Ripka were as one the one judgment and the other mercy and together they constitute wholeness Isaac is judgment and Ripka is merit happy is the portion of Israel for the holy one blessed be he gave them a whole Torah so they may walk in the path of truth reflecting the lights of above 725 come and see they did not judge only with merit they first looked at the good deeds to include them together the Sanhedrin looked well at the merits and at the prosecution to combine them so the other Side will not rule wherever there is no merit. The other side abides called guilt. The other side then joins the judgment and gets stronger. This is called a sentence of guilt. 726. Therefore, on Rosh Hashanah, we should temper judgment with merit. So guilt will not have the upper hand. Hence, we must let judgment and merit be together so they may become one whole. For when the other side, which is guilt, rules, there is no perfection, only accusation. This resembles the accusation from which are drawn four deaths. But when the side of merit rules, all is wholeness, peace, and truth. 2 Melashim 2019. Love and compassion. Tehillim 1034. 727. When the other side is connected with judgment, it has power by accusation over the four capital punishments decreed by court. Stoning, burning, decapitation, and strangulation. All of them are under the sway of the evil prosecutor. Stoning because the other side is a stone of stumbling. Yeshay 814. Burning because he is a rock of offense, but is strong. Fire decapitation is a sword shall devour flesh devouring 3242 assuredly it shall devour flesh for it rules over flesh it is the other side called the end of all flesh bear sheet 613 strangulation for the curse of Elohim is upon the strangulation upon the hang the secret of the verse for he that is hanged is a curse of Elohim devouring 2123 we explained that nothing remained in him who is hanged save the flesh because the soul left it and the curse of Elohim is upon the flesh which is dark. Poison hence holiness brings good and the other side brings evil 728 it behooves Israel who have the secret of the faith to take heed that the side of the faith will be in ascendancy and that the other side will not be given place to exercise his power they are happy in this world and in the world to come it is written of them your people also shall be all righteous Yeshayah 6021 729 the prophets of supernal sides the two thighs net satch and hot who support the holy Torah Tiferet. Receive the chambers where the two spirits brightness and splendor abide. These are the third chamber, the chamber of brightness, and the second chamber, the very heaven. These are the thighs below in Briah that support the chambers above, called the oral law, namely Malchut of Atzilut. As there are struts to the Torah, the written law, so there are pillars supporting the oral law, Malchut, which include each other. When the two struts below brightness and splendor are connected with the upper chambers, in Malchut of Atzilut, the aspect of prophecy is impressed upon them. This is a vision, a sort of prophecy. Seven hundred and thirty. All the seers are nourished from here, from the chambers of brightness and splendor included in the chambers of Malchut from above in Netzach and Hot of Zeir and when they suck prophecy and from below Malchut vision, therefore high and low reflect each other, meaning that prophecy is like a vision and vision is like prophecy when Netzach and Hot brightness and splendor are united with each. Other the holy name Seviat lit armies rules over this place since all the holy armies are here all named after the aspect of prophecy because visions and dreams are of the side of prophecy 731 we say that within the sign of the holy covenant namely is it the name Seviat dwells for all the armies come out of the sign is it nevertheless the thighs which stand out of the body are also named Seviat they are called Berithas which means externals because the Berithas is outside the Mishnah and the Mishnah stands upon the Berithas namely the Berithas explains the Mishnah and the Berithas are called the thighs of the Mishnah external chambers the same as Netzach and Hot above standing outside the body of the face 732 the Mishnah is a mystery found inside because one learns the essence of things from there so the ten name of the Mishnah are of the internal part this is the secret meaning of the verse I would lead you and bring you into the house of my mother that you May instruct me, Sure Hasherim 82, the house of my mother refers to the Holy of Holies, which is Yezid of Malchut of Atzala, corrected by the aspect of Yezid of Iyamay, therefore called the house of my mother, the inner part of Malchut, that you may instruct me, refers to the secret of the mission, namely when the river that is drawn and comes out, Yezid of Zeir and from the Holy of Holies, then you will instruct me, meaning that you will give from your bounty to me, this is the inner reason why. Malchut is called Mishalit second because she is second to Zeir and in the secret of the union, as it is written, a copy of the story of Aram 1718, 733, when she is drawn outside, she is called Beritha, which means external, the two thighs are Beritha's, namely externals, this mystery of mysteries is not to be revealed because the secret is passed solely to most high wise men, woe if it is revealed because the wicked will exploit it, and woe if it is not revealed because the righteous. We'll lose IT for this is one of the highest secrets with which the Holy One blessed be he leads the world. 734 The first temple stood at the time of Solomon and corresponded to the supernal world which is Bina and Bina is called the first temple. Everything came together in the Holy of Holies where the sun is united with the moon namely Zeir and with Malchut. The supernal secrets were all in perfection and the world was perfected afterwards because of transgressions the mysteries were drawn out of and rejected from the Holy of Holies once they were rejected towards the thighs Netzach and Hot they stood outside and were called external chambers and the Berithas were needed for people could not nourish from the mission. 735 At the time of the second temple Israel were at the external chambers in the thighs some of them returned to sing in the Holy of Holies of the second temple Malchut for the first temple is by others stayed in the Berithas outside between the Thighs those who return to the Holy of Holies studied the Mishnah and behaved according to its laws namely according to the teaching of the Mishnah this is the secret of the verse for out of Zion shall go forth Torah Yeshayah 23 Zion being the internal part of Malchut called Mishnah 736 afterwards because of transgressions the second temple was no more in ascendancy it did not have the power of the first temple in which time there was always peace because the king who has peace C.E.I.R. Anpin was always in it in a never ending union and therefore there was peace there was no such peace at the time of the second temple because the foreskin always brought accusations and the priests were in readiness to denounce namely to condemn this foreskin and they needed that in order to condemn through it the other side in order to protect the second temple always in that secret properly 737 due to more transgression the
When exile will be over by stretching the feet so they will be corrected then his feet shall stand in that day and the spirit of defilement named foreskin shall be removed from the world and Israel alone shall rule as hot because the foreskin drew them down until then and from now on after the foreskin shall be cut and removed from the world Israel then shall dwell in safety alone the fountain also eyes of Jacob devarim 3328 namely in the fountain of Jacob which is Malchut where Chakma dwells called eyes and there will be no accuser to prosecute them happy is the portion of Israel in this world and in the world to come 740 Joseph the righteous the pillar of the world which is Yisit took with permission the chamber that was hidden and treasured the seventh chamber was under his authority though we said that the chamber of the sapphire stone was under his authority and in it he is corrected nevertheless come and see from the prophets whom we said to be united. Below two grades are divided vision and dream they abide at the thighs which are net satch and hot by the rounded thighs stands the vision that which is called the little prophecy underneath the thighs stands the dream at the knees below the thighs until feet will touch feet namely the feet of Atzala will be one with the feet of Briya Yetzara and Asiyah for Briya Yetzara and Asiyah will return to be Atzala and be uplifted to prophecy and vision and there below the thighs stands the Lord. Chamber called the Sapphire Stone 741 all the joining together of the thighs is in order to perfect them by one with another all grades of prophecy come out of there to hover and vision is made of them and they hover about this place the Sapphire Stone and a dream is made from them Joseph the righteous who is yet is the perfection of all he receives all since everything is corrected through him they all desire and long for him 742 at the time when Joseph the righteous is ready to Correct everything he receives all and joins his chamber then everybody above and below is awakened to receive the desire and wish united by one desire and wholeness that the higher and lower will rejoice by the one desire all the lower beings are maintained by him therefore it is written but the righteous is an everlasting foundation Mishlei 1025 for this is the foundation by which the world is sustained 743 the chamber of the sapphire stone does not come into existence until Joseph it. Righteous Yezid of Zeir and Ben is ready once he is corrected everyone else is also corrected this is the secret of the building Malchut and about this says the verse and of the side which Hashem Elohim has taken he built Bershi 222 it is not written and he created nor formed but built because it stands upon Yezid and once the foundation is prepared everything is built upon it therefore it is written and he built thus everything is sustained by Yezid as we already explained 744. Come and see it is written and of the side which Hashem Elohim has taken he built this means that Malchud was at the backside of Zeir Anpin and he put it so she will again be face to face with Zeir Anpin this is how we explained it also he built means that he kept it in mind to raise her to the same grade where the supernal world dwells which is Binus so they will be like 745 we should explain more that he built means that the Emanator looked to his sides and he made and directed the sides of Malchud so they would sow and water and beget offspring and supply her with all her needs as it ought to be then he brought her but he asked how did he bring her and he answers by this righteous namely is it as it is written by this referring to is it called say this the girl would come to the king Esther 213 for he conducts everything so it would rise and be bedecked to perfection from here comes the strength to prevent sins from here comes the strength of prevention of all Unholy desire 746 this is not so at the sixth chamber of the other side where are found all the wicked pleasures and all kinds of inclinations towards the pleasures of this world when this world is led by them people fail to merit the world to come for they see the pleasures and desires the body takes delight in and go hurrying after them this is as it is written the woman saw that the tree was good for food bear she 36 as all the desires and the pleasures of the world depend on it 747 in the same manner there are things the body delights in they enter the body and not the soul some things the soul delights in and not the body therefore the grades are different from each other happy are the righteous who take the path of truth and keep themselves from that side and cleave to the side of holiness 748 in this chamber all the rest of the souls in the other chambers below are included there are two names which include the rest of the names one of them when the upper is Joined with the lower and Jacob receives his chamber through the kissing and the upper secret includes and all the other names and is called yud heh Elohim this is considered a full name as we established the other when the foundation of the world Joseph joins its chamber all are aroused with love and passion for it and are included in it then it includes all other names and is called yud heh heh it is considered the whole holy name but not whole as the other yud heh vav hey Elohim 749 he asks what is the difference between them between Jacob and Joseph and he answers the one Jacob who is Tiferet called body the upper rules over the lower body over body is Tiferet of Atzala rules over Tiferet of the chambers both are considered the part of the body from the chest upward both are aspects of Jacob as we said and the other Joseph is of Atzala rules from the final part of the body of the chambers and downward namely there is at the chamber of it. Sapphire stone and all that is underneath this is the secret of the first temple and the second temple the first chamber is the secret of mating of Tiferet and Malchut from the chest up and the second chamber is the secret of mating of Tiferet and Malchut from the chest down the aspect of Yezid and Malchut for that reason this chamber includes all the rest of the names below as we explained therefore these names one goes up and the other goes down the lower goes up to the upper and the upper. Descends to the lower happy are the righteous who know the ways of the Torah 750 Yezid is corrected on two sides the one in the first chamber in order to fix whatever is down below and the other to correct the seventh chamber so all will be corrected by each other and become one proper desire so far the unison of both sides one above and one below to be united to perfection so as to walk the way of truth 751 happy is the portion of whoever knows how to create the unison and arrange. The order of the faith to walk the right path happy is he in this world and in the world to come of this says the verse love and truth are met together righteousness and peace have kissed each other then truth will spring out of the earth and righteousness will look down from heaven Hashem moreover shall give that which is good and our land shall yield its produce Tehillim 8511 to 13 section 52 the chamber of the holy of holies Rabbi Shimon says that the seventh chamber is the innermost chamber where the secret of all secrets is hidden the spirit of life from Bina is found in this chamber the desire to unite everything the chamber is called the house of the holy of holies a place for the supernal soul Bina through which the world to come will awaken we learn that world means ascent the ascension of the lower world to the upper world meaning the ascension of Malchut and the chambers to hide within the supernal hiding place the supernal world means the ascension of Bina to disappear within the supreme desire that is completely unknowable Eric Enpin Rabbi Shimon shows us how the innermost secret of the ark is like the seventh chamber the chamber receives all the spirits who are about to descend into the world before they have received their bodies and it receives them again when they are finished with the world the spirits wait in this chamber until the time when Messiah will come and the world will rejoice like it did before the sin of the tree of knowledge the seventh chamber is the chamber of passion the chamber of delight the chamber of pleasure above and below all the souls here receive the light of Bina therefore it is more hidden and more treasured than the rest of the chambers Rabbi Shimon says that this chamber is called the ark of the covenant and explains that it receives the souls from the first chamber where they are united male with female and female with male he talks about Jacob and Joseph saying that the Ark of the Covenant took the spirit of life above from Jacob and that from Joseph it took spirits and souls to pour the life into Jacob sustains the angels above and Joseph sustains the human souls below but both are in Zir and when the priest sends up the offering to cause union through desire and through song and the highest soul of all by now Atzala wakes and enters into all the chambers and shines on them all the higher light the soul is united with the hidden light Eve. And this hidden light is included in the light that is even more hidden Eric and Rabbi Shimon explains how Moses knew when to pray at length and when to pray briefly whoever prays at length will have a longer life and yet whoever prays at length when he should be brief will have heartache we are told that within the seventh chamber there is a hidden point the spirit that receives a supernal male spirit they enter into each other and become one Rabbi Shimon warns against those who would graft. One species onto another but says that those who graft one kind onto its own kind have a stake in the world to come in this way the left is perfected by the right the male by the female and everything is derived from the perfection that is called the act of the divine chariot because the Merkabah is achieved by grafting this is the secret
Accusations of the other side just as the other side takes a portion of the burnt offering the other side takes a confession as his portion of the prayer service Rabbi Shimon says that in prayer the true path consists of thought desire voice and speech these tie the knot so that the Shechina can be supported by them he adds that thought produces desire desire produces a voice and the sound that is heard ascends to connect the lower and upper chambers the sound draws blessings from high above and is secretly supported by the pillars of thought desire voice and speech he concludes by saying that this description of the seventh chamber is the last of the chambers on the side of holding the 752 the seventh chamber is the innermost chamber it is concealed has no substantial form and no body at all it is considered to have a head only here the secret of all secrets is hidden it is a secret a place where all the upper channels from Atzala are gathered here lies the spirit which comprises all the spirits of all the chambers a will which includes every will to unite all the chambers as one the spirit of life from Bina is in this chamber so that all will be one correction 753 this chamber is called the house of the holy of holies a place to receive the supernal soul Bina which is so called so as to awaken in it the world to come which is Bina 754 this world which is Malchut is named world world means ascent the ascension of the lower world which is Malchut to the upper world which is Bina in which she hides and disappears only to be revealed in secret world means the ascension of Malchut with all her familiars namely the chambers to hide within the supernal hiding place Bina the supernal world which is called Bina means the ascension of Bina to disappear within the supreme will the most hidden of all that is never known nor revealed and there is no one to know it Eric and 755 the curtain is available between the sixth chamber holy and the seventh chamber, the holy of holies, that is spread to cover and hide what is hidden. The seventh chamber, the cover of the ark, is spread with high secrets upon the ark of the testimony within the holy of holies. The secret of Yezid of Malchut of Atzilut wrapped by the seventh chamber in order to hide that which are not revealed in the inner part of the ark of the testimony, because they are hidden and unrevealed. Seven hundred and fifty-six inside the cover, the secret of the ark, there is a place that is hidden, concealed and stored where the supreme anointing oil is gathered. The spirit of life by the river that flows and goes out from Eden, Yezid of Zeir and of Atzilut. This river is called the spring of the well Malchut, whose water never stops flowing. And when Yezid brings and draws in the holy anointing oil from the holy of holies above, which is Bina of Atzilut, then illumination is drawn and comes into the channels of Yezid of Malchut of Atzilut, and Malchut of Atzilut is filled from there as a. Female conceives and is filled by the male, so the seventh chamber is prepared to receive the lights of Yezid of Zeir and Ben of Atzala through Malchut of Atzala that it dons as a female receives from the male, it receives all the spirits and holy souls who descend into the world to be clothed in people. They are detained there for as long as is necessary, namely until they descend to be dressed in people. Similarly, after departing from this world, they return to the seventh chamber 757 day. Wait in the seventh chamber until King Messiah will come and all the souls will be satisfied and come to their place in Atzala and the world will rejoice as before the diminution of the moon and the sin of the tree of knowledge of good and evil as it is written. Let Hashem rejoice in his works. Tehillim 10431 758 in this chamber are the delights and enjoyments of the spirits and the pleasure that the Holy One blessed be he is delighted within the Garden of Eden. Here lies the desire of all. The delight of all to unite all the chambers as one and turn them all into one here lies the bond of all in one unity 759 when all the organs all the aspects of the chambers join the higher organs of the seventh chamber each according to its worth they have no passion no pleasure only that of being united in that chamber everything depends upon this place and when the joining here becomes a union all the illuminations in the organs and the illumination in the face and all the joys shine and rejoice 760 happy is the portion of he who knows how to establish orders and to properly arrange the corrections of perfection he is beloved by the holy one blessed be he in this world and in the world to come and all judgments accusations and evil decrees are removed from the world 761 this chamber is the chamber of passion the chamber of delight the chamber in which to have pleasure above and below as one namely the holy one blessed be he has pleasure with the souls here and in the lower garden of Eden at the same time all receive the light of the upper light that shines upon all namely the light of Bina so that all will be properly united in complete unison therefore this chamber is more hidden more treasured than the rest though all of them are hidden this one is more so and more treasured because it is the place of Yezid so the sign of the covenant will be as one male and female in perfection 762 this chamber is called the Ark of the Covenant it is the master of all the earth because it is the place whence all the souls of the world come to create unity below and draw the unison of the Holy One blessed be he from above downward and give it to the righteous namely to the first chamber which is Yezid called righteous since all souls come out of the righteous from Yezid of Zeir and Ben and enter the righteous the chamber of Yezid then they come out of the righteous the chamber of Yezid to be clothed by people and after their demise from this World they enter where they came from, namely the seventh chamber. Seven hundred and sixty-three. He explains his words. The ark of the covenant in the seventh chamber receives everything from the righteous Yezid of Zeir and Ben of Atzilut. Then they come out of the ark of the covenant and enter the lower righteous, the first chamber, which is Yezid. Afterwards, they come out of the lower righteous to be clothed in people, and after their demise, they enter the ark of the covenant in the seventh chamber. So all the souls will be included above in Bina the seventh chamber and below Yezid of the chambers to be whole on all sides. The ark of the covenant, which is the seventh chamber, receives the souls from the righteous, the first chamber that comprises two sides, male and female. For in the first chamber, the male souls are united with the female soul. Seven hundred and sixty-four. Come and see the spring of the well. Yezid is never separated from the well, which is Malchut of Atzilut, clothed by the seventh chamber. This place, therefore, is the Completion of all it maintains the body so as to make everything into one whole as ought to be here in the seventh chamber is the bond and unity that make everything as one and high and low are all in one bond so the organs and aspects and grades of the chambers will not be separated from each other and so all will be together face to face 765 therefore we learn that whoever performs his marital duties from the back rejects the correction of looking face to face which is the custom of the higher ones that illuminates everything equally so all will properly cleave face to face as it is written and cleaves to his wife there she 224 which evidently refers to his wife not his wife's back 766 there are two Jacob above from the chest upward the secret of Tiferet and Joseph below from the chest downward is it there are two passions the one is the sixth chamber which Jacob received and the other is the seventh chamber the chamber of the holy of holies where is it of Zeir. And Ben ministers that is Joseph the passion above from chest upward is of the kissing that Jacob took in the sixth chamber the passion below is of the service that Joseph took upon himself in the seventh chamber holy of holies the ark of the covenant the secret of the chamber of holy of holies received from these two aspects Jacob and Joseph one from the side of Jacob it took the spirit of life of above that Jacob clapped to through the kisses the spirit of life of above entered the ark of the covenant which is the seventh chamber to be nourished by it two from the side of Joseph down below at the final part of the body is of this chamber the seventh took from him spirits and souls to pour them into this world seven hundred and sixty seven these two aspects Jacob and Joseph are divided into two sides the aspect of Jacob Tiferet expands and gives strength of flowing to the breast have in the secret of El Shaddai that were filled by the spirit of life he suckles the holy angels who live and endure. Forever for by sucking they achieve perfection the aspect of Joseph Yezid enters with passion into the Ark of the Covenant and empowers it inside producing souls and spirits that will go down and sustain the inhabitants of the world 768 therefore these two sides Jacob and Joseph above Jacob above and Joseph below Jacob sustains the angels above and Joseph sustains the human souls below each one according to his task all is one and of the same secret for both are in Zeir and Jacob above the chest and Joseph below the chest nevertheless Joseph sustains the whole body namely he draws the light of life also from the union of kissing which is the aspect of the chest and above of the body and waters it for from the spirit of life to which Jacob cleaves in the secret of kissing it comes down to Joseph the secret of the chest downward the Ark of the Covenant of the seventh chamber higher will above from the union of kissing and the spirit of life comes down into human souls by the Clinging of Joseph to the Ark
One unity connects them all as we said that they are connected together and complete in one wholeness 770 in the same manner we explained that when the offering goes up to cause unison and to supply each with its needs from that smoke that the priest who is of the right raises the bond of unity by desire and the levites by a song for the air of the left also here are included in one another one chamber in another one spirit in another until they are connected to their places male and female of Atzalab member within member so all will properly become one 771 here we explained that when they were all perfected together namely all the chambers were included within the seventh chamber and the supernal organs male and female of Atzalab illuminate upon the lower chambers then the highest soul of all by now Atzalab is awakened and enters into them and shines upon them all all are blessed the higher beings male and female of Atzalab and the lower beings the chambers and all that is inside them the one that is not known nor numbered the will that is never grasped Atticus clothed by their internal part everything then rises up to the endless world and gathers into one bond and the will which is never grasped Atticus sweetened in the innermost part in secret 772 he explains his words the light of the supernal soul bond rises to the innermost part there to shine upon all within this light of the soul a concealed thought comes in to be clothed that includes all being the supernal Abba and I am a the light of Chaya at the innermost of will of thought Abba and I am a illuminates and perfumes itself grasps yet grasps not Eric and the will of thought rises to grasps Eric and and when it does when Abba and I am a rise to clothe Eric and the light below Yisrael Saba and Tabuna grasps Eric and 773 everyone should also be joined together so that all will be connected filled and blessed properly as one then the chambers are connected with each other lower and higher the secret of male and female together the higher light the soul is united with the light which is more concealed and hidden Chaya and that which is more hidden is included in that which is hidden even more Eric and until all will be found to be in one proper unison 774 therefore Moses knew how to act according to the laws of his master better than all the inhabitants of the world when he had to lengthen he did so and when he had to be brief he was brief as we. Explain that he said he'll her now oil I pray you give it bar 1213 we learned that whoever prays at length and then watches it will have heartache but we also learned the opposite that whoever prays at length the number of his days is increased 775 he answers the mystery of the matter is that whoever lengthens where he should be brief will have heartache what is the meaning of heart it is according to the verse but he that is of a merry heart has a continual feast Mishle 1515 this is the secret of Malchud called heart that draws Mokin of Chakma called feast in the secret of the verse eat oh dear ones and drink sure hashering 51 this place is in need of being brief not of prolonging because all is found above and must not be drawn downward but to be bound upward without lengthening until all will be as one once everything is connected there is no need of prolonging and begging when one prolongs where it is needed namely at the grade of Zeir and the secret of Chassidim covered by Chakma the Holy One, blessed be he receives his prayer. This is the glory of the Holy One, blessed be he's E.I.R. And that in order to unite prayer he binds and multiplies blessings above and below as blessings are drawn from above downward. 776 within this chamber there is a hidden point. This point is a spirit that receives upon IT another supernal spirit which is male. When spirit dwells within spirit they enter each other cleave and become one. They comprise each other to become one as a tree that is grafted with its own kind. Woe to him who makes a crossbreed and grafts together different species like the sons of Aaron did who wanted to crossbreed another kind upon the tree. 777 whoever makes a graft of one kind with its own kind and knows how to bind not with not chamber with chamber grade with grade he has a portion in the world to come as we explained therefore it is the overall perfection when they are perfected by one another the left by the right the Male by the female and also the chambers and everything becomes one act of a kind with its own kind derived from that perfection called the act of the divine chariot for chariot head Merkava is derived from grafting head mark of 778 this is the secret of the verse and Hashem Elohim formed man Bereshit 27 the whole name Yudhi Hebab hey Elohim is written there because the formation of man is an act coming from this chariot Yudhi Hebab hey Elohim that made the graft of the one and the other a kind with its own kind an act of overall perfection for right was perfected by the left and the left perfected by the right and the same happened with male and female when they were completed by one another they were called Zeir Enpin and Malchut Yud Hebab hey Elohim which is a whole name happy is he who knows how to tie the knots of faith and to make the unison in a proper manner 779 come and see the same as the holy supernal name such as the name of 42 letters that join each. Other the holy name Yudi Hey Bahay 2 is spelled above in Bina and below in Malchut. This name Yudi Hey Bahay is above in the first three Sfirot in the unison of Yudi Hey Bahay Allah Hey Yudi Hey name is in the middle in Shisad Bura and Tiferet it is in the unison Yudi Hey Bahay Elohim and this name is below in Netzach Hadiz and Malchut is in the unison Yudi Hey Bahay Adonai Yudi Hey Bahay is the secret of the holy name which is one the secret of all including all names the supernal world Bina and the first three Sfirot called Allah Hey Yudi Hey is united with the most concealed that is above in Chakma called Yudi Hey Bahay to become the unity Yudi Hey Bahay Allah Hey Yudi Hey that joins it to be one the lower world Malchut called Adonai is united with the concealed one Zeir and called Yudi Hey Bahay to form the unity Yudi Hey Bahay Adonai that which is in the middle the secret of Malchut above the chest of Zeir and called Elohim is combined with it. Secret of the Holy Supernal Chariot above it, which is Chesed Bura and Tiferet called Yudi Hey Bahay to make the unity Yudi Hey Bahay Elohim, which is the act of the divine chariot, as we explained 780 from this side by to come out four chariots, the four Sfirot Chesed Bura Tiferet and Malchut above the chest from that side, Malchut from the chest downward of Zeir and called Adonai come out four chariots, the secret of the four angels Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael, because each is separated into four, and each chariot is four, and when the grades watch the three columns and the receiving Malchut, they all go by quartets until the grades go down to the place called by the holy name Adonai after the chariots that stand and travel by that name Adonai, they are called mountains of brass, Zechariah 61, for there are mountains and mountains, the upper mountains Chesed Bura and Tiferet of Zeir and the lower mountains Netzach Hot and Yizid of Zeir and that shine upon. Malchut they stand on three sides right left and central and come out of gold silver and brass as Netzach hot and Yizid of Zeir and come out of Chesed Bura and Tiferet of Zeir and called gold silver and brass 781 there is brass down below in Briah for the chariots coming out of the name Adonai of the first chamber are four chariots that emerge from two spirits right and left of the sapphire stone these two spirits are called two mountains of brass mountain 782 from the two spirits called brass mountains four chariots are issued the secret of the four wheels that use the name of Adonai engraved upon the archangel sandal phone all the chariots are messengers to the world these on those in the mystery of horses and chariots for each chariot has horses to drive at 783 the holy name Adonai is included in Yod Hey as we said that Adonai is included within Yod Hey to form Yod Hey we already learned that the name Elohim is not included in any other name like Adonai that is included within Yudi Hey Bahay and its own aspects is nullified in Yudi Hey Bahay but the name Elohim is not annulled and included within another name for there is a living Elohim in Bina once it Elohim of Bina is extended into several sides namely Bura of Zeir and Ben and Malchut both called Elohim it also expands into Briah Yitzra and Asiyah and its illumination is not gathered anywhere but keeps on expanding therefore it is not included and annulled within any other name 784 the name which includes all other names is Yudi Hey Bahay fully spelled Yudvav Dalat Hayalat Babalat Bahayalat of the secret of the permutation of letters of the holy name the priest knew how to permute it on all sides until the names appear on several sides in 42 manners of the expansion of the heart spark in Bina which includes all the names 785 he explains further that this name Yudi Hey Bahay includes all the names of it. Combination Allah Hey Yud Bablin Dalad Yud Nanamim is a sign that within these letters are included the other names that join the name Yud Hey Bahay. These are the three names Allah Hey Yud Hey
and tie knots and abide by their wishes. 787 These places and receptacles are called the hands of men since they are there for men. They are the holy names that rule over each grade through which men enter by their prayer and petition and into all the supernal gates by this the lower beings rule above. This is the secret of the verse. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Tehillim 11973 referring to the holy names called hands 788 and Hashem said to Moses stretch out your hand. Towards lit on heaven Shemot 922 he asks how could he lift his hands upon the heaven and he answers stretch means to bow as it is written he bowed the heavens also and came down Tehillim 1810 which means that he drew from above downward your hand means your place namely where your grade is in which you dwell Typhor at the strong is in the secret of the holy name everyone upper and lower is moved and sustained by the secret of the names through the men enter the upper chambers and no one detains them happy are those who know how to properly establish the unison of their master to walk in the path of truth so they will not misunderstand the secret of the faith 789 come and see in these chambers there is a supernal secret within the faith which is Malchut of Atzala clothed in them called faith all the living creatures and chariots are different than each other and by their combining together they are mended for the better this is understood from the verse and he Advanced her and her mates to the best place in the house. Esther 29 within these seven chambers is found the perfection of above when they are included and complemented by one another and prayers and petitions enter them of those who know how to set them in order and mend them above as it is written and the seven mates chosen to be given her out of the king's house of it. 790 he now goes on to explain the order of the seven chambers within the prayer from who forms up to Amida he says. The first chamber the sapphire stone is the secret of I form the light and create darkness. Yeshayah 457 being the precious sapphire stone a jewel that glitters on two sides right and left that are light and darkness as we explained because before the left column joins the right it is darkness for then Chakma is without chesed in the next phrase. Hashem how manifold are your works in wisdom have you made them all. Tehillim 10424 refers to all the spheres and wheels in the first chamber of which he says in wisdom have you made them all the earth is full of your creatures it continues with O King who are sublime alone forever who revolves around the holy name Yadalat Hadalat Vavnan Hayyad of the first chamber the entirety of the holy name complete with the two names Yudi Hay Vavhay and Adonai this name rises in the air and of this it is said and self exalted from the days of everlasting exalted means up in the air so far the meditations for the first chamber 791 the second chamber the very heaven is the secret of the prayer the blessed El Great in wisdom written in alphabetical Hebrew order this is the secret of the angel Irvanil who governs the second chamber and includes the mystery of the small letters of the alphabet the order of the letters in this prayer are the secret of the small letters here are angels who say sanctification and bless before here they recite sanctification namely they say holy 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 and bless be the glory of Hashem from his dwelling place in the third chamber they recite to the blessed El they will sound songs 792 in the fourth chamber the chamber of merit they say who renews in his goodness day by day in perpetuity the works of creation for here in the fourth chamber the lights and judgments of the world are spinning and whoever merits life is renewed as before and sustained by the light of the right called El as we said 793 the fifth chamber which is the chamber of love is called everlasting love it causes love to flow from the chamber called love for this reason it is said with everlasting love have you loved us Hashem our Elohim and blessed are you Hashem who has chosen his people Israel with love in the secret of El Shaday 794 in the sixth chamber the chamber of desire the prayer continues with true and valid firmly fixed and all enduring the prayer must not be interrupted here for in the continuation of the prayer and desire the chambers are Connected and tied to each other in the secret of the holy names governing in each of them. 795 in the seventh chamber, the chamber of holy of holies, it is said, Hashem opened my lips. Tehillim 5117, it is a most secret mystery that should be whispered so that no sound shall be heard. Here lies the heart's desire to direct the sound upward from below up to the endless world and tie the seventh chamber, the holy of holies, to the seventh within by the Atzala, one with another from below upward and then from up above downward to draw blessings from the source of life. The seventh supernal chamber with the heart willing and the eyes closed in the mystery of the seven superior holy names. 796, the supernal seventh chamber, namely Bina, which is the source of life, is the first blessing for by this blessing Malchut ascends with all that is included within her to Bina. This is the first chamber, the beginning of all from above downward for all Mokin of male and female and Briya Yitzharayan. AC originated by it receives the seventh chamber from below, namely the chamber of the Holy of Holies, which went up to be included within Malchut of Atzala to connect seventh to seventh, because from the one below the chamber of the Holy of Holies one ascends to the supernal chamber by the 797. This is the secret of blessed of the first blessing of Amida, which refers to the many lower beings which were included within the living creatures, seraphim and wheels, and all the chambers. In the manifold secret of the chamber of the Holy of Holies, for all these were included and dwell treasured within Malchut of Atzala, then Malchut of Atzala is called blessed, for she is now blessed by the manifold blessings and secrets perfected within her 798. You have at indicates the wreath concealed letters that shine upon Malchut, which is the entirety of the 22 letters from Allah to top. This is the Allah top of the word ATH, Allah top, hey, of ATH indicates the Hey of Malchud which includes the 22 letters from above Yezid of Zeir and gathers them within her this is the Allah Tav hey of the word ATAH when she is perfected in that river Yezid of Zeir and that seizes her she goes up to be decorated above in Zeir and this is the secret of the verse by this namely Yezid called this the girl Malchud would come to the king Yezid Esther 213 then whatever she desires would be given her but this is the mystery of blessed are you one should meditate upon this mystery and tie his will with this mystery when uttering the words blessed are you 799 the intention of Hashem our Elohim is the not in unison of the holy king above namely the unison of Chakma and Bina for Hashem is Chakma and our Elohim is Bina with that when the girl would come to the king to Zeir and whatever she desires would be given her referring to the illumination of Chakma and Bina that will be given to her 800 and the Elohim of our fathers is the secret of the patriarchs who are Shesed, Bura, and Tiferet of Zeir and that bless her Malchut. This is the secret of the Elohim of Abraham, Shesed, the Elohim of Isaac, Bura, and the Elohim of Jacob, Tiferet. As this girl, namely Malchut, is not abandoned by the lower beings, for all of them were included within her. So was she never abandoned by the patriarchs who are Shesed, Bura, and Tiferet of Zeir and whom she clings to to be adorned. 801 since Malchut is blessed by each of Shesed, Bura, and Tiferet of Zeir and she should be mentioned in connection with each of them, namely the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob, meaning the Elohim of which is Malchut of each of the fathers. And they are all gathered together to be bedecked with her, namely by the El that is great, mighty, and tremendous. For they all gather to raise her up to Shesed, Bura, and Tiferet. For the El is Malchut that is great, is Shesed, the mighty is Bura. And the tremendous Is Tiferet and the name of El which is Malchut is spoken so she will rise to all of Shesed, Bura and Tiferet together first by the Elohim of Abraham she receives from them from above downward from Shesed, Bura and Tiferet to Malchut and now in the El that Is great she Is included within them from below upward so they may be comprised within her for that reason it is written the El that Is great mighty and tremendous meaning that they were all included within her. And then she may ascend with Shesed, Bura and Tiferet up to Bina it continues with the most high El who bestows gracious favors possessor of all in which the most high El Is the right column of Bina who bestows gracious favors the left of Bina and the possessor of all Is the central column of Bina which possesses the two columns together this is the total of all since all Mokin and all the grades come from the three columns within Bina 802 who remembers the pious deeds of the patriarchs means that Shesed, Bura, Tiferet, and Malchut stayed with Bina and entered its bowels, namely they were included within the internal part of Bina called bowels where they are blessed later Bina releases them from the integration and extracts them out when they are blessed and by bowing with the words blessed are you O Hashem the shield of Abraham they all come out together from Bina and to their places for the shield of Abraham is Shesed and
Seventh chamber is a seventh chamber in the secret of the holy supernal name Betbop Caf Bob the Hebrew initials of blessing and cheese strength and justice a name which comprises everything this is the secret of Malchut and cheese Bura and Tiferet within Bana because blessing is Malchut cheese is the right column strength is the left column Bura and justice is the central column Tiferet this is the secret of Aleph Hayyut which includes all Mokin for the letters of the name Betbop Caf Bob are preceded by those of the name Aleph Hay Yud Hay after Aleph of Aleph Hay Yud Hay comes Betbop Betbop Caf Bob after Hay Bob after Yud Caf and after the last Hay the last Bob for these letters comprise everything since the letters of the name Betbop Caf Bob issued those who issued from them namely cheese Bura and Tiferet and Malchut all of the fathers who are cheese strength and justice hinted at in these initials the one to be united with them is called blessing. Also hinted at in these initials 805 once the words blessed are you O Hashem the shield of Abraham are uttered and the fathers and Malchut come out of Bana into their places Malchut grasps the blessings that are drawn from the fathers in the secret of the fifth chamber the chamber of love which is right namely Jesus so the fifth chamber will be united with love to the blessings of the right drawn by the shield of Abraham which is right this is the way to be blessed when the blessings descend from above downward namely when they come out from Bana and into their places the fifth chamber receives the blessings before the sixth chamber first the chambers were joined together like we said but now the blessings are taken to be here before they are there though one comes first before the fifth chamber namely the sixth chamber the chamber of desire nevertheless since the blessings are of the right which is Jesus they take hold of the fifth chamber which is Jesus and not the Sixth chamber, which is Typhor at 806. After that comes the left side, which is Bura. In this mystery are the words, You are mighty. The combination of two judgments, you and mighty for you. Is the name of Malchud, which is judgment, and mighty. Is the left column, which is judgment. Since the blessings were drawn from what the fathers received while staying within by the judgment was tempered with mercy, and mercy was found in that side to make it as one. This is the meaning of the words. Resurrects the dead, supports the fallen, and heals the sick, which shows mercy. 807. Mercy is in the secret of the holy name Aleph Caf Dalat Tetemiam, which is the secret of the letters of the name Elohim. For the letters of Aleph Caf Dalat Tetemiam precede those of Elohim, except Aleph, which is the first letter and final Mem, which has no letter preceding it, as it is also Mem. The Caf of Aleph Caf Dalat Tetemiam precedes Lamet of Elohim. The Dalat precedes Caf, and the Tet precedes Yud for the letters. Of Elohim a name of Bura and the left column went up to be bedecked above in Bina where they issued the letters of Aleph Caf Dalat Tetemiam to be called by them for when the letters of Elohim went up to be bedecked above in Bina called the living Elohim Chesed within Bina diminished the judgments within the letters of Elohim that went up so they would join the lesser judgment from here Bina the name Aleph Caf Dalat Tetemiam is spread downward into the chamber of Bura through the other letters those of the name Aleph Caf Dalat Tetemiam of a lesser judgment and ascends through these letters to the name Elohim within the chamber of Bura so as to mitigate the judgments in IT 808 since the letters of Betbop Caf Bob and Aleph Caf Dalat Tetemiam flowed into the fifth chamber Chesed and the fourth chamber Bura from above Bina as we said the blessings started to hold onto the middle part of all namely the central column which is Typhoret within the sixth chamber the chamber of desire Typhoret the blessings hold on to this and that right and left which Typhoret comprises for that reason it is said you are holy for you which is Malchut that is Bura is part of holy which is Typhoret that is Jesus thus Typhoret is included within both Jesus and Bura 809 and your name is holy he asks it is written you are holy why and your name is holy this is name and you meaning that Malchut is called both name and you he answers we have learned that wherever there is unity and contact between the Sfirat holiness and additional holiness must be drawn and the addition is the most important part hence in them all the first and second blessings it is written you and no more here in the third blessing Typhoret that combines and ties the Sfirat, Jesus and Bura together in this place there is holiness and additional holiness you are holy is holiness and so is and your name is holy and they who are holy are the rest of superior Sanctifications in each and every chamber that become more sacred by the addition of holiness since the first sanctification is for Malchut proper and the additional sanctification is for the rest namely the sanctifications in each of the other chambers 810 and all became more sacred from above by Bana and by the patriarchs Jesus Bura and Typhoret for all was tied into one bond by the words blessed are you O eternal holy El here all becomes bound together due to the words blessed are you O eternal holy El therefore it is called Typhoret the not in unity of all in one unison happy is the portion of whoever knows how to arrange the praises of his master in the proper place up to this place in the first three blessings there is devotion blessings and sanctification together with the fathers who are Jesus Bura and Typhoret for the first blessing is Jesus the second is Bura and the third Typhoret 811 from this place onward in the Amida there are entreaties and Petitions first it behooves a man to ask to know the words of his master to show his passion for him and not to be separated from him this is the secret of the prayer do you graciously bestow upon us from your knowledge understanding and discernment for a man should take part in the sanctification of the high and holy name to be adorned by it and the name of the blessings and sanctifications is caf bob zayin bob which is the secret of the holy name yud hey bob hey which is most sacred and these letters yud hey bob hey produce the other letters caf bob zayin bob for these letters precede those of yud hey bob hey for after yud of yud hey bob hey comes caf of caf bob zayin bob after hey comes bob after bob comes zayin and after the last hey comes the last bob the combination of these names yud hey bob hey and caf bob zayin bob resembles the joining of male and female for the name yud hey bob hey which shines upon zeir and is male and the name caf bob zayin bob which shines upon the chambers is female. These holy supernal names are the secret of sanctification. 812. The other letters Caf Bob Zayin Bob are called do the do of heaven, which is the reckoning of its letters that has the same numerical value as that of do have for down below in Malchut. All words are counted in the secret of the illumination of Chakma called reckoning and number. There is no reckoning save that of the moon, which is Malchut for Chakma is not revealed in any sphere but Malchut. So there is no reckoning but in Malchut. For that reason, one needs to be connected with the sanctification of his master and not to be separated from him. When one asks, one should ask first to know one's master and show that his passion is turned towards him. This is the secret of the first petition. Do graciously bestow upon us from your knowledge, understanding, and discernment. From now on, one may be separated little by little and request whatever is needed. 813. All his asking should be. Requested after he arranges this order that we said in the same manner all his petitions should be by way of end reading and beseeching before his master and he must not separate himself from him namely heaven forbid that he might not complain about him happy is whoever knows the sequence by which to go in the path of truth properly 814 as fire is united with water and water with fire south with north and north with south as fire and water are the inner part of Chesed and Bura and south and north are the outer side of Chesed and Bura as east and west west and east Typhoret and Malchut so all are together and the unison is completed by each other 815 all those who know how to arrange their prayer properly to include all the chambers within each other and connect them to each other such a man is joined with them and approaches them to be included within them he asks and his petition is granted happy he is in this world and in the world to come 816 after his petitions are all said and the body is whole on all sides to the hearts rejoicing and he asked and finished asking a man must again draw blessings and joys downward in the secret of the third chamber netzach to draw downward this is the meaning of except O Hashem our Elohim your people Israel for the daily selections namely the legs netzach and hot uphold the body typhoret they start beneath the body and are called the two thighs down to the knees for netzach and hot are divided into from the thigh to the knees the secret of the blessing except and from the knees downward the secret who restores his divine glory to Zion and we gratefully acknowledge 817 this is the secret of the daily selections about the sacrifices corresponding to the two thighs netzach and hot here in the third chamber is the secret of the starting point of the two thighs above in the body down to the knees where the prophets are
Restores his divine glory to Zion for Zion is Yezid of Malchut 819 The second chamber below the chamber of the very heaven is where the souls are entrusted to go up to see the visions of the dream which is beneath the thighs where the knees are for the dream is drawn from below the thighs this is where we say we gratefully acknowledge and kneel to give thanks for the souls from and the souls that are entrusted to you up to all beneficent is your name to whom it is fitting to render. Thanks 820 This is the inner mystery of the holy name called Bet Final M-E-M Bet M-E-M Bob C-A-F Final None which consists of the letters coming after the letters of the names El Elohim it is called El Elohim through a supernal mystery of Chisa and Gvira of Atala as it is written El Elohim Hashem he knows Yahashua 2222 the entirety of the other letters Bet Final M-E-M Bet M-E-M Bob C-A-F Final None that come out of El Elohim and downward in the second chamber is the secret of the dream the secret of putting souls in this place to look at the vision of the dream we should go on with the benedictions in order to find rest in this world and in the world to come 821 the chamber down below the chamber of the sapphire stone the mystery of Yezid and Malchut is the secret meaning of bestow peace happiness and blessing here peace is perfected peace above in Yezid of Z-E-I-R and and peace below in Yezid of Malchut peace on all sides both in right and left peace in the celestial Retinue Yezid and Malchut of the chambers of Atala and peace in the terrestrial retinue for this chamber of the sapphire stone and Yezid and Malchut of the chambers of Briah within IT the terrestrial retinue is united with the celestial retinue whence peace flows down to all the lower beings outside the chambers of Briah 822 here everything is joined to be perfected together above in Z-E-I-R and below in Malchut by one illumination namely by union that completes the full name Yad. Hey Bob, hey Elohim, Yud, hey Bob, hey being Zeir Anpin and Elohim being Malchut. This name is complete in all the chambers included within Malchut and in all the supernal lights included within Zeir Anpin to make them one eight hundred and twenty three. A man who meditates upon all these meditations when he is asked to leave the chamber and go out should behave as if he is withdrawing from the presence of the king and from his palace and should lower himself before him. But it also behooves him to rejoice in being the first to receive the crown of continuation of the blessings drawn from the unison of his master. He is a son among the children of the king's chamber. For when he withdraws from the company of the king, all is united in all respects by the tie of unity, the blessings and sanctification, and the additional holiness. The holy one blessed be he calls the celestial retinue, which are the greats joined by him, and tells them write the name of so and so amongst those who are called, those who thought upon. His name Malachi 316 824 he asks who are those who thought upon his name and he answers they are those who think and who meditate on the secret of his name in order to unite the chambers together tie knots and unite everything into one union these are those who thought upon his name this man is then written amongst those who thought upon his name to be distinguished and known above and be perfected above and below 825 whoever approaches his master and prays without perfecting the unison and without caring for the glory of his master to tie knots as said it were better for him not to have been born and the holy one blessed be he says right this man childless a man that shall not prosper in his days here may 2230 this man robs his father or his mother Mishlei 2824 namely the holy one blessed be he and his Chechenah that are his father and mother 826 here is perfected high and low the secret of the holy name that rules above mem zedek pe zedek mem zedek pe Zedek derived from Hashem Hashem El Merciful and Gracious Shema 346 for Yud Hey Hey interchanged by the method of Atbash Cipher turns into Mem Zedek Pe Zedek here the secret of the holy name Yud Hey Hey Yud Hey Hey is consecrated by a public of ten and the other letters Mem Zedek Pe Zedek Mem Zedek Pe Zedek in a solitary sanctification in prayer the thirteen divine attributes are said only in public and when alone the thirteen divine attributes are said with the permutation of Atbash Cipher Mem Zedek Pe Zedek Mem Zedek Pe Zedek after finishing the thirteen divine attributes it behooves man to stand up and confess his sin so there will be no pretext for the other side to accuse him and so he is subjugated before him now he stands firm blessed from the king's house 827 happy is the portion of whoever is consecrated in this manner by his prayer as we said who ties the knots and makes unisons with proper meditation not deviating right or left is Prayer then will not be returned empty handed the Holy One blessed be he decrees yet he annuls it of him it is written let your father and your mother be glad and let she who bore you rejoice Mishlei 2325 he has a portion in this world and in the world to come 828 it is written she rises also while it is yet night and gives food to her household and a portion to her maidens Mishlei 3115 meaning that Malchut gives of the manifold blessing sanctification and additional sanctification which she receives as it is said and at night he shall divide the spoil Beer she 4927 as Malchut divides portion to everyone and even to the other side she gives a portion 829 this is a mystery for those of the faith the part of the unholy other side is all the sins and transgressions of the man who tied the bonds of unison and confess them they all dwell upon the other side to be the part and portion of the unholy other side but if he did not confess them then the accuser comes to Denounce him and prevails 830 if he confessed his sins in that prayer by connecting the bonds of units in the upper and lower are blessed and it is of the part of the other side that all the sins and transgressions he confessed he takes as his own portion this is the secret of the goat as it is written and confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Yairi land the goat shall bear upon it Vayikra 1621 to 22 this is his part portion and property and if man reverts to corrupt ways woe to him for he takes back the transgressions from that side against the will of that side which harms him and becomes his accuser to speak ill of him but when he confesses them that other side takes them to be its allotted part 831 this is also a secret of the offering one has to confess over it all his sins and iniquities in order to give a portion to him who needs it namely the other side the whole sacrifice goes to the side of holiness which is the part of holiness and its desire the other side receives the portion of all the sins and iniquities given by the confession over the flesh of the offering as it is written if your enemy be hungry give him bread for you shall heap coals of fire Mishlei 2521 to 22 this may be understood from the verse let the king and Haman come this day to the banquet Esther 54 happy is he who knows his ways to walk the path of truth 832 whoever knows not how to arrange the praise of his master it is better for him not to have been born it prayer should be whole above by thought hearts desire voice and words of mouth all to create perfection connection and unison above as perfection comes from above downward so the connection should be properly made from below upward 833 this mystery is for the friends so they may walk the true path thought will voice and speech are the four that tie the knots corresponding to chakma and bind the and malchut thought and will are chakma and bind voice and speech are tifera and Malchut after they tied the knots together they became one chariot so the Sheshanah the secret of speech made well upon them they then turned into four pillars to be bedecked by and the Sheshanah is supported by them with all the high knots 834 he explains further thought the secret of Chakma produces and begets while the secret of Bina will which came out of thought begets and produces a sounding voice the secret of Zeir and the sound that is heard ascends and binds knots from below. Upwards connects the lower and upper chambers the sound which connects between the two columns of Bina and draws blessings from high above from Bina is secretly supported too by those four pillars thought will voice and speech the secret of Chakma and Bina Tifera and Malchut the support comes at the end of the knot namely at speech Malchut where everything is bound together and becomes one as Malchut receives all of them into her 835 happy is the man who ties the knots of his master and produces proper struts who is intent upon all the things we said happy is he in this world and in the world to come so far is the construction of the chambers on the side of holiness section 53 the seven chambers of the other side rabbi shimon opens with but they like adam have transgressed the covenant he speaks to adam saying that he was only asked to keep one precept and yet he could not keep it and was seduced by the serpent next he talks about david who ran away from saul and was rejected from the holy land nevertheless he says david did not turn to evil he describes the grades of the evil inclination the seven names it is called by and the seven names of Gehenom. these correspond to the seven chambers of the other side just as there are grades and chambers on the side of holiness there are grades and chambers on the
Hence you were seduced by it and brought death to you and all your offspring come and see whoever is seduced by it and goes down to it he will be lost in an instant namely fall under its dominion 837 come and see David whose existence depended upon the source of running water namely Bina for David is the secret of Malchut above the chest the place of Bina whence he takes his life and existence when he was chased into another land when he ran away from Saul he was grieved and for his grief he was rejected from the holy land namely he fell from his grade which is the holy land though he descended through his grades to the last one he nevertheless resisted and did not enter the other side but kept away from it as it is written but truly as Hashem lives and as your soul lives there is but a step between me and death I Shmuel 203 for he went down the grades until there was but a step between him and death which is the other side called death happy is the portion of Ehu is kept from that evil and from all the grades of that side that abide in the world 838 there are several aspects and grades to the evil inclination which are the Satan the angel of death and the evil inclination and we explain that though it is called by those names it has seven names in particular the Satan unholy foe a stone of stumbling uncircumcised evil northern these seven names correspond to the seven grades of its chambers all of them on the side of defilement as we said and to the seven names given to Gehenom namely where the wicked are condemned these are pit grave duma gruesome mud sheol shadow of death and netherland these are the seven departments of Gehenom corresponding to the seven names of the evil inclination and the seven chambers of the other side are called by the same names as the seven departments of Gehenom 839 here we explain that as there are grades and chambers on the side of holiness so there are on the side of defilement all of which abide in and rule the world on the side of unholiness therefore there are seven chambers corresponding to the seven names of Gehenom namely called by the same names as the seven departments of Gehenom all of them stand ready to condemn and defile the wicked of the world who clove to them and did not keep away from them while in this world 840 whoever comes to be purified in this world on the side of purity he is cleansed in the place called the secret of the faith namely Malchut of holiness how many are the grades and chieftains already to draw people nearer to the worship of the holy one blessed be he and purify them and whoever comes to be defiled he is defiled on the other side which is unholy where many grades and chieftains stand ready to defile people 841 he who comes near them and is drawn after that evil side of him it is written what man is he that lives and shall not see death but shall deliver his soul Taylor 8949 who is the man who was born into this world and does not see death to which all the world is drawn, namely the angel of death, for when the time comes to do reckoning before his master, his time to pass away from the world before he does depart, he sees him the angel of death, as we already explained. 842 These seven chambers, the seven departments of Gehenom are called twelve months, as there are twelve months of holy grades on the side of the faith Malchut, so the other side has twelve months to which the wicked are condemned, and their souls are sentenced to happy is the portion of the righteous who keep their feet in this world away from their gates to be saved from them in that world, so they will not be condemned by them in Gehenom. Section 54 The first chamber of the other side, empty pit, the Satan of the evil inclination. We hear that the first chamber is called the pit empty of everything, whoever enters it has nothing to cling to, nothing to stop him from falling. Rabbi Shimon describes the pit. And all the chieftains and other spirits of unholiness who judge and torment the condemned soul, this chamber is prepared for those who curse and who threw things in anger. 843. The first chamber is the beginning of the evil inclination. The first chamber is called the pit empty of everything. Whoever enters it has nothing to cling to to keep him from falling. Everyone pushes so he will fall and will not rise. There is no support for the good in it. 844. One chieftain called Duma stands in. This chamber he stands above in the third chamber of the other side and below here in the first chamber he seizes the soul when it is turned down from the holy chamber by the chieftain Tahariel. Duma stands by the gate of the holy side, namely by the gate of the first chamber of holiness. Duma stands there in order to take hold of the soul and draw it into the chambers of defilement and several complainants and accusers stand with him. 845. Under the chieftain Duma there is another chief and Thousands and tens of thousands beneath him this chief is called but his job is to seduce head left to a people he hovers by the soul and entices it to look closely at what it must not see of much whoring and lechery and all the angels with him stand by it and walk before it and force it to avert eyes to look at what it must not see 846 but it is an evil mediator who entices to all those evils he stands by the grave once the body is sentenced and crushes the eyes for he earned them. While the body was his in this world and so there is 847 in this place the grave the soul is sentenced until it is put in the place called pit where there are some serpents and scorpions which are demons they all bite the soul grasp and punish it 848 in front of the spirit but if there is another spirit of unholiness above them all he is in charge over this chamber and all therein travel by his prompting he is called Gamjamaret as a rose always ready to cause evil when it prayer of man is turned down and he gets no merit for it then the spirit Gamjum arises to join the highest spirit of defilement the Satan he then blames from above and remembers the sins of men before the holy one blessed be he this is known from the verse and the adversary came also among them Eo 16 it is not written and the adversary came but and the adversary came also had Gam referring to the spirit Gamjum that shared the Satan's accusations 849 several other complainants depend upon this evil spirit their duty is to grasp the evil words or filth uttered by man and afterwards holy words woe to them woe to their lives for these men enable these complainants to rule over the holy place and render it defective woe to them in this world woe to them in the world to come for these spirits of defilement take the unholy word uttered and when he afterwards says something that pertains to holiness the evil spirits hasten to take the unholy word and with it defile the holy Word and so man does not merit holiness and the power of holiness weakens 850 over these there is a chief called Safsarita together with complainants they take the evil things the man said and also what he threw when he was angry the chieftain Safsarita then holds the object the man threw in his anger sense and says this is the offering of so and so who sacrificed to our side 851 for as the side of rest is of the right side and of the side of faith so the side of anger is of it. Other evil and unholy side therefore whoever throws something in his anger all those of the evil side take what was thrown raise it as an offering to that side and say this is the offering of so and so 852 the crier resounds in all these firmaments woe to so and so who went after a strange and worshipped another L the crier resounds again saying woe to them for they have fled from me Hashia 713 happy is the man who is careful in his ways not to turn aside to right or left to fall. Into a deep pit from which he cannot ascend. Section 55, second chamber of the other side, grave. Unholy of the evil inclination, the second chamber is darker than the first one and is called grave. Rabbi Shimon talks about the chiefs in charge of the three openings in the chamber and the fiends under them. This chamber is prepared for those who have done sexual crimes during their lives. Two spirits called evil and plague come out of this chamber and hover over the world. They are called the lower spirits and they come out of the flame of fire. 853, the second chamber of the other side is darker than the first chamber. It is called grave, corresponding to the name of the evil inclination. Unholy, just as the first chamber is called pit, corresponding to the name of the evil inclination, the Satan and this one is called grave in relation to the name of the evil inclination. That unholy, this chamber has three openings. 854, there is a chief in. Charge over the first opening called Asperia and there are several thousands and tens of thousands of fiends under him he is in charge over all those who became corrupted in their ways and spill semen on the ground emit semen unnaturally or play harlot with their hands and do not see the Shechina at all at that time the chief on the side of defilement whom we mentioned comes out with the thousands and tens of thousands with him they all gather upon the man to defile him in this world this chief and is written you defile his soul sees it and bring it to be judged by the 855 these fiends are called steaming emission of sperm for all the angry and defiled live on it to hover about the man and eat they increase his passion and take it together with the semen that was spilled to the ground which strengthens them and raise it above they cause the covenant above which is yet to be enslaved by the side of unholiness to give them enjoyment and strength 856 over the second Opening there is another chief Taskafa by name he is in charge over all those who corrupt their way and do not spill their sperm upon the ground but in beasts or through the strict prohibitions of the Torah such as sexual transgressions this chief and his retinue of
leaves this world that chieftain and those with him sees it this is a bitter day Amos 810 and the soul is filled with all those punishments that are different than each other 859 in this chamber there is a spirit in charge over those we mentioned he is Niyatsuril from this fierce spirit come out three bitter drops that fall into the cup of poison one is called division have chat sats which is derived from excision and annihilation as in when the number of his months is already complete at Hutsatsu IYOB 2121 the second is called the bitterness of death as is written surely the bitterness of death is past Ishmuel 1532 the third is called dregs as is written the dregs the cup of poison Yeshaya 5117 these three drops afterwards fall from the cup to the sword of the angel of death who kills people as we said 860 in the third opening stands a chief called Sangadile he is in charge over all those who put the member of the holy covenant in a woman on the side of a strange L and all those who corrupt their ways by being false to the sign of the holy covenant this chief and all the chiefs with him paint on them pictures of these unholy women by whom their holy member was defiled all these are recorded before him and when the man leaves this world they defile the spirit 861 in this chamber are all the secrets of sorcery of killing people before their time and all the magic rap people use is here all the sorcerers who practice magic to be Defiled by them like Bailam who cast spells were first defiled by the steaming semen they spilled in beasts for that Bailam was sentenced to the steaming emission of sperm as we said therefore this chamber is called unholy grave 862 there is another spirit in that chamber in charge under the higher spirit he is called Sardia and has many thousands and tens of thousands under him they all are sustained by and wait for the word which comes out with the spirit of man in his dream that comes from the holy side this defiled spirit and all the complainants with him come out to join that word they descend upon it to join it to disprove the matter to him and let him know other things instead some of them false and some true 863 this is the way of a liar that if he does not speak some truth he cannot tell lies so people would believe him here also since they are mingled with truthful words he saw in his dream they disprove them but later they tell him some truth to establish the false notions they gave him afterwards it is spread to the lower spirits below who have no existence nor validity they announce the matter in the world to several sides and to some species 864 from this chamber come out two spirits now they are men and now they turn into women they go about the world in the air and laugh at men in their dreams appearing in the guise of pretty women in their dreams and so take the passion of men also to women they seem like men they are called evil and plague as it is written no evil shall befall you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling Tehillim 9110 865 these evil and plague are called the lower spirits who come out of the flame of the fire for when the spirits above within the chamber travel two flames of fire come out to hover about the world and from them these two spirits evil and plague were made all this is on the side of defilement happy are the righteous who stayed away from these sides and kept themselves from them of this it is written that they may keep you from the strange woman Mishle 75 section 56 the third chamber of the other side Duma corresponding to the name foe of the evil inclination Rabbi Shimon says that the third chamber has no light in it at all it is called Duma and has four openings with the chief in charge of each opening he describes the openings the procedures where the verdict is passed the spirits in charge of death the spirits called wrath and fury he says that thousands of spirits come out of wrath and fury and make people who are studying the Torah sad instead of joyful we learn that Moses was afraid of these spirits when Yisrael sinned by making the golden calf as we read in for I was afraid of the wrath and fury we read about the spirit appointed over the evil tongue the serpent that sheds its skin Rabbi Shimon says that when the serpents below shed their skin this arouses serpents in the pit and all of this is Caused by people speaking evil in the same way when people study the Torah many angels called the holy tongue are united and joined with holiness above 866 the third chamber is dark and somber for there is no light in it whatsoever it is darker than the first chambers it is called Duma corresponding to the name of the evil inclination for there are four openings to this chamber one on this side another on that side and so on 867 there is a chief in charge of the first opening. Sustained by the anger in the world and when judgment is upon the world this chief that dwells in that gate takes weapons and puts them at the entrance to the synagogue he is called Sakaphoria and is the stumbling of the world of this it is written the way of the wicked is like darkness they know not at what they stumble Mishle 419 when he is in power and there is judgment upon the world he goes to see who walks alone in a public place and if he sees him he may cause him harm and weaken. His fortune 868 on the second opening there is another chief ready to receive the verdicts namely the notes upon which the verdicts are written this is Sangadile under whom there are complainants and accusers in power ready to receive these verdicts this chief stands at the second opening 869 when he receives the verdict from the chief in module of the first opening of the third chamber of holiness he stands at this opening and descends into the dark gates below to the one called grave namely to the second chamber of the other side and to the one called pit which is the first chamber of the other side that are below there are several thousands and tens of thousands of officers whose duty it is to execute judgment in the world justice is concluded by verdict 878 chief named Andreon is over the third opening he is in charge over all illness and pains trembling and the fire within the bones namely which do not cause death drawn from the judgments of the left Many thousands and tens of thousands of officers come out from him in charge together with him over all the illnesses and pains as we learned 871 in the fourth opening there is a spirit born when the moon was in diminution he is called Ascara in charge over the death of children he comes before children laughs with them until eventually he kills them he is seen before them in the guise of a woman like the child's mother suckles him laughs at them grabs them and kills them 872 in the middle of this chamber stands a spirit called Ajarizan in charge over those who died when they were between 13 and 20 years of age their death comes by the hand of that chief as we explained by his joining the serpent we mentioned which abides by him and follows him for that reason the angel of death is called very good as it is written and behold it was very good bear 131 which we explained to be the angel of death 873 from this place come and spread out to Spirits called wrath and fury appointed over all those who are rebuked by someone who is occupied in the Torah namely that he who studies the Torah scolds them for not walking the path of truth they trust him his goodness and are unaffected by that also those who laugh and mock at the words of the Torah and of the words of the sages 874 from wrath and fury come out some thousands and tens of thousands they all come out and hover above people who study the Torah or are occupied in the precepts and walk in their ways to make them sad instead of rejoicing in the Torah and the precepts they are occupied with Moses was afraid of these two when Israel sinned by the making of the calf and he descended from the mountain as it is written for I was afraid of the wrath and fury Devarim 919 875 under these wrath and fury there is a spirit appointed over the evil tongue for when men start to slander the evil and holy spirit above called Saxisha his best bird dwells upon this Stirring of the evil tongue that men let loose and causes by that arousal of the evil tongue death sword and killing in the world woe to those who awaken this evil side and do not guard their mouth and tongue nor care for this they do not know that awakening above depends upon awakening below either good or bad 876 come and see when the evil tongue is awakened below a slant serpent above raises its scales to stand upright and stirs from head to toe the scales are all those who transgress the law and justice outside 877 they bestir to grab that evil word the man said and awaken the piercing serpent Yeshua 271 the male serpent then the whole evil body of that serpent bestirs from head to toe to damage all the chambers of which we talked then all the scales on the skin come off and the skin is shed and comes down the body without skin and scales comes up aroused to be an accuser above 878 come and see though there is a set time for all the serpents in the world to Shed their skin namely every seven years nevertheless they shed it only when the evil tongue is stirred below then the evil serpent above is aroused and sheds its skin and scales this goes up and that goes down meaning that the body goes up against by and the skin and scales come off it and go down this long of skin and scales is difficult for the serpent because it is separated from its spouse namely the skin and scales are the aspect of malchute of the serpent the spouse of the serpent. Why would it do this? Be separated from its malchute because if all were united namely with malchute the skin and scales which are the aspect of fierce judgment the world would not have been able to bear it it is therefore the correction of the world with all that all this is caused by the arousal
which is the tip tongue of the scales that joins together right and left so that holiness will be revealed in the many sanctifications and holy beings are best heard on all sides. Happy is the portion of the righteous who caused sanctifications to be stirred above and below the sanctification above in Bada and sanctification below in Malchut 881 of this it is written you shall therefore sanctify yourselves and you shall be holy. Vayikra 1144 you shall sanctify yourselves refers to the first water called supernal water namely the sanctification above in Bada and you shall be holy refers to the last water finger bowl water namely the sanctification below which is Malchut the food comes between the first and last water therefore the food is not in the last water Malchut but in the first water Bana because the first water comes from above from Bana where food abides as all Mokin are from Bana but it is not in the last water which is Malchut receiving from Bana which has Nothing on her own the secret was handed to the high holy men happy is their portion in this world and in the world to come section 57 the fourth chamber of the other side death corresponding to the gruesome mud and a stone of stumbling we learned that this chamber has to do with balancing the merits and sins of a person the fourth chamber on the holy side is called merit and holds a man's precepts or good deeds the fourth chamber on the other side is called death and holds his sins and the scales are balanced on Rosh Hashanah and one side or the other wins if the scales tip to merit the person is given life if the scales tip to death he is delivered to death if he is on the side of holiness God answers when he calls to him if he is on the side of defilement he has no one to answer him and he is far away from God in this fourth chamber of the other side the strange Elohim are found and also everyone who incites men to prostitution and adultery Rabbi Shimon tells us about the spirits called plague and plague and pestilence. He talks about how the unholy side is strengthened if the tables are not prepared properly on Shabbat. We learn that in this fourth chamber there are no children, no longevity, and no sustenance. Rabbi Shimon reveals that those who curse arouse the serpent called Leviathan, the crooked serpent who brings curses on the world. 882. The fourth chamber is called death. This is the gruesome mud corresponding to another name of the evil inclination, a stumbling stone, and all is one. It is called death because all the sins of the world are there, namely the balancing of the sins, as will be explained. 883. For when men sin, all the complainants take the sins to put them in this chamber called death. As for all the precepts in the world, the holy angels appointed over the merits in the world take them and put them in the fourth chamber of holiness called merit, where the precepts of men abide and the sins. Are in the other chamber called death, they are balanced on Rosh Hashanah for the Elohim has made the one as well as the other. Kahilat 714, and according to the tipping of the scales by the precepts or sins, this or that side wins. If there are more sins, the other side wins, and if there are more precepts, the holiness wins. 884, therefore, on the day of Rosh Hashanah, life and death depend upon these two sides, merit and death. If the merits tip the scale to the side called merit, man is written on the side called life, since these two sides stand on that day, the one on that side and the other on another side, if a man deserves it, and the merits when he is written to life as the holy side called merit grasps him, and life grasps him, and says, This one is mine and was mine, and man is written into life. 885, if the sins when the unholy other side called death and death grasps him, and says, This is mine and was mine, and then it is written that the man is his, this is what we. Learn that on the day of Rosh Hashanah a man is written to life or death if he is written to the side of holiness he is written to life he abides there and cleaves to it if he is written upon the other side he abides by the side of defilement and clings to it which is death it is either to life or death namely it is drawn from either this or that side 886 whenever he is on the side of holiness all sacredness and purity cleave to him he calls and the holy one blessed be he sits and listens of him says the verse he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him with long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation tell him 9115 as long as he is on the unholy other side all defilement all sins and evils cling to him he calls and there is no one to listen to him he is far away from the holy one blessed be he of him it is written salvation is far from the wicked tell him 119155 and even when you make many Prayers I will not hear Yeshua 115 887 This chamber is the dwelling place of all those called strange Elohim because they are revealed here also here are found all those who incite men to the pleasures of this world to prostitution to delight in the pleasures of fornication they pull them toward the pleasures and adulteries of the world as we said 888 in this chamber there is a powerful spirit who has control over everyone he too is called El like the other spirit of the fourth chamber on the side of holiness this is a strange El he seduces a man who is occupied in the Torah or stands in the synagogue this powerful spirit seduces him and the man is thoughtful the spirit says to him why are you standing here it is better for you to go wherever people boast in front of others go after pretty women and take delight in the pleasures of the world once a man is incited by him all the spirits hover and follow him 889 there are some other spirits under the set. Spirit, they all defile him in this world and defile him in that world. These spirits are called steaming filth. Head, so as it is written, go you have to say to it. Yeshua 3022 for they tempt men to go out. Head, let's from the synagogue and from holiness and into the pleasures of the world. These are the grades that are always ready to defile. As we learned 890 in the middle of the chamber, there is another spirit called plague from which comes out another spirit called plague of pestilence ready to defile those of evil tongue more than they were defiled by the third chamber. This high plague is in charge over all the tables of Shabbat for when Shabbat enters and the table is not properly set with the delights of Shabbat. The sliding Shabbat, this plague receives these tables empty of the delights of Shabbat. As we already said 891 when the plague receives these tables, the complainants and accusers standing there all open and say for he loved cursing and it came. To him and he delighted not in blessing and it was far from him and he clothed himself with cursing like his garment. Tehillim 10,917 to 18. Let the creditor seize everything that he has. Let there be none to extend kindness to him. Abit 11 to 12, 892. We have established that on Shabbat when the tables were given to the evil side, that evil unholy side strengthens and that man is delivered to the other side. Woe to him for being reduced from the side of holiness and given to the other unholy side. It is the same for the holiday meals. 893 here in this chamber is the opposite of children, longevity, and sustenance, meaning that these three are withheld from men. There are no children, longevity, and sustenance on the other. The holy four chamber for they are extended from above, but here there are for evil. For when a man reaches this chamber, there is life to be consumed and children that are small. For from here comes the spirit that is appointed to be their accuser. There is food there to be. Taken away from man, namely all this is for the worse, all depends on debt, namely since therefore this chamber is called debt as we learned 894 from here emerges an unholy spirit called error together with thousands and tens of thousands all called who curse had or ray the day according to the verse let them curse at him who curse the day Eo 38 the spirit and those with him are ready to take the word of a man who curses himself in anger they arouse the serpent called Leviathan. The crooked serpent Yeshua 271 so it would bring and awaken curses upon the world this is the meaning of let them curse it who curse the day 895 those who curse the day rule over the minutes and hours of the day and therefore they are called who curse the day they take the words of man cursed himself by whether in anger or by oath and with that word they arouse the slant serpent called Leviathan to make him harm the world therefore job in his greed cursed his day not his body so. They would not grab his words as it is written and curse his day. Eo 31 and afterwards let them curse at him who curse the day. May the merciful one save us from the evil side and its judgments and from all that is evil. Section 58 the fifth chamber of the other side. Sheol corresponding to the name uncircumcised. Rabbi Shimon tells us that the chief in charge of the fifth chamber named Enmity has a duty to stir up accusations in the world. There is another spirit in this chamber called robber. All those who rob who corrupt and destroy and who kill by sword and spear emerge from this chamber and take their nourishment from it. We learn of spirits called spoilage and famine. As long as people do acts of kindness and give others food and drink, these spirits are pushed away. But when Israel does not do acts of kindness, the two spirits attack Israel. Rabbi Shimon tells how these spirits are also called foreskin and are under the command of it. Spirit called is Ardenea or verdict verdict puts people in Sheol when they do not observe the sign of the Holy Covenant by having their sons circ
Hebshot and is a wasting Hebshot and destruction. Yeshaya 597 This robber abides in the high mountains between rocks and mountains from this chamber. All the robbers of who corrupt and destroy from here emerge those who kill by sword and spear who go after the bright blade of a revolving sword. Beersheet 324 To exterminate everything. 898 From this spirit comes out another spirit called spoilage. When famine has sway in the world, the spirit called spoilage joins another spirit. Called famine, they go about the world as adversaries to men. This is the meaning of the verse. At destruction and famine, you shall laugh. Yo 524 They accuse men and rob. All the one is called spoilage for haunting the high mountains and robbing, destroying and wasting everything. Then he comes back to rob men and they die of weakness that he causes them. When people eat but are not satiated, it is due to him. 899 At that time, whoever does an act of kindness by men and gives them food and Drink he is worthy of pushing these two spirits out so they will have no power over the world but when Yisrael do no kindness by men and the other nations do kindness in the world then these two spirits temper their business with the nations and attack Yisrael since then the other side becomes stronger and Yisrael are subjugated 900 when Yisrael are kind the other side is subdued and weakens and the side of holiness gathers strength but when Yisrael are not aroused to do kindness the two spirits turn to subdue Yisrael and all the blessings flowing from the right side above the other nations suckle them this is what the Shechinah said they made me keeper of the vineyard Shurhashirim 16 which are the other nations but my own vineyard I have not captivated which is Yisrael called the Shechinah's vineyard for the other nations took the Shechinah in their midst by the kindness they do by men and Yisrael keep her away for they are not kind as the rest of the nations 901. Under these spirits are those called foreskin, the foreskin of the shoot, the foreskin of the branch above them. There is a chieftain called Gazardinaya, and verdict he is appointed over those who do not observe the years of foreskin of trees and those who delay the circumcision of their sons, for that the serpent wanted to kill the son of Moses until Tsipras circumcised him as it is written and cut off the foreskin of her son. Shema 425, 902. The spirit is in charge over men who corrupt their ways and do not care for the glory of their master by observing the sign of the holy covenant. The spirit puts them in Gehenna in the place called Sheol and Perdition had Abaddon where they are sentenced. As we explained here, 903 in the middle of this chamber, there is another spirit standing and lurking by the ways and paths to look for those who transgress the words of the Torah and to bring hatred between men below and above for the whole chamber is enmity 904. This one. And all the others are in the habit of being friendly toward people and seducing them to stray from the path of truth and follow them and they kill them and they are dead in both worlds as it is written but her end is bitter as wormwood sharp as a two-edged sword Mishlei 54 905 the spirit is called Afer ashes of dust he has no offspring nor fruit in the world since he is made of ashes of dust though he is called by that name he is not of the holy soil which bears fruit called dust. Have Afer of gold Eo 286 but of the ashes have far of the burnt purification Demit bar 1917 for ashes are called dust he is the ashes of the burnt purification the indication in this verse comes in two versions the one because that spirit is included within the purification Hepshedet of sin which is the secret of the powerful serpent called by that name the other is when the man commits sin Hepshedet and strengthens the dust so it rules the world 906 the spirit called dust is Included within the bitter water that causes the curse, Bimid bar 518. Therefore, the woman who has gone astray from her husband and behaved as a harlot should be given a drink of the water that comprises the dust of the ground of the tabernacle. That dust comes from the place called ground, which is the aspect of Bria, and Bria is called the ground of the tabernacle, which is Malchut of Atzala, called tabernacle. The dust, which is the spirit, comes of the same ground for that reason. It priest should give the woman a drink in that manner to put dust of the ground inside the water. All that is a supernal illusion. 907. Happy is the portion of Israel for the Holy One. Blessed be he purifies them with supernal clean water, namely the water of Bun, as it is written, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean. Yashiskel 3625. We explained about clean water when we talked of the difference between first water and last water, and though we explained there that. First water is a bun and last water from Malchut, so first water is considered a precept which is Malchut and last water dead. We expounded upon the two sides that the supernal water is of the side of holiness called precept and the last water is called dead, which is the other side in this chamber. For that reason, the other side takes its share of that water of this. The verse says, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean. Section 59. The sixth chamber evil corresponding to the name Shadow of Death. Rabbi Shimon describes the openings to the sixth chamber death, evil, shadow of death, and somber. These four openings cause evil, and this particular chamber comprises all the other chambers of defilement as well. Here, all the evil lusts are found that cause people to be denied the world to come. The chamber also includes all the pleasure of the fools, the heartless, and the witless. Rabbi Shimon describes the meaning of butter and is bitter as wormwood, telling us that when a man succumbs to temptation, he is punished by the harlot who spills bitter drops into his mouth that then rip the soul away, cause his death, and make his face become green and putrid. We learn next of the results of vanity. Rabbi Shimon offers two explanations of the verse I have had to sacrifice peace offerings and talks about the fate of adulterers. He concludes by saying that when men take their pleasures in the world, the good inclination stays away from them, and eventually they are judged. The righteous are happy in this world and in the world to come. 908. The sixth chamber stands above the rest of the lower chambers. There are four openings to this chamber. One is called death, one evil, one shadow of death, and the last one somber. These four openings are there to cause evil and comprise everything, for since it corresponds to the holy chamber of Tiferet, which includes all the other six chambers, Jesus, Bure, Tiferet, Net, Sachad. And yes, it so this chamber of defilement includes all the chambers of defilement 909 as there are on the side of holiness in the secret of the faith four openings to the four sides connected to each other all of them holy so it is down here when they are united and joined with each other in this chamber then this chamber is called the roomy house as it is written a brawling woman in a roomy house Mishlei 219 this chamber is there to cause evil always 910 it is written of this chamber. But the kisses of the enemy are profuse Mishlei 276 for here by all the evil kisses and evil lusts and all the pleasures of the body in this world for which delights man is driven from this world and the world to come of this chamber the verse says for the lips of a strange woman drip honey Mishlei 53 these defiled kisses and pleasures here correspond to the kisses and delights of the sixth chamber of holiness 911 there is a spirit in this chamber in charge of all those below that. Adornments of beauty more than the chambers beneath it. The feet of fools are trapped in this chamber of which the verse says, Lust not after her beauty in your heart, nor let her take you with her eyelids. Mishlei 625, 912. All the lusts in the world are from this chamber, and all the pleasure of the fools, the heartless, and the witless, as it is written, and beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding passing through the street near her corner in the twilight in the evening. Mishlei 77 to 8. Then his feet approach this chamber, which comprises all those below it, being the chamber of Tiferet of defilement, which includes all the six directions. Then behold, there met him a woman with the attire hepsheet of a harlot, and while he of heart of it, ten, the word she refers to the sixth hepsheet chamber in number here stands the harlot to seduce the fools. 913 in this chamber, the harlot resides, yet resides not, for she comes down to seduce them. Goes up and blames as it is written her feet do not remain in her house now she is outside when she comes down to seduce now in the streets when she goes up to blame and she lies in wait at every corner of it 11 to 12 to take his soul away namely to kill him 914 it is further written so she caught hold of him and kissed him a bit 13 these are defiling kisses to mislead people to follow her for here is the place of all the evil kisses and strange harlotries which are sweet for the moment and woe to their ending as it is written and her mouth is smoother than oil Mishlei 53 915 it is also written but her end is bitter as wormwood before he asks what is the meaning of bitter as wormwood he answers when a man is tempted by her in this world when his time arrives to pass away from this world she is upon him arrayed before him in a garment of a body of fire a sharp sword in her hand with three drops in it 916 
Later at that hour he finds a bitter of this it is written so she caught hold of him and kissed him Mishlei 713 in this world as we explained 918 and with an impudent face said to him but before in this chamber are all the accusers those who speak ill of men and the evil messengers that abide by men and cause him to adorn himself and curl his hair bathe and bedeck himself so he would be looked at here stands a spirit called Skechava in charge of the adornment and coiffure of men. 919 inside this chamber stands another chieftain who arouses men and then arouses them the spirits, namely he strengthens them after the man has adorned himself and done his hair it entices him to take a mirror in his hand and puts it in his hands and the man looks at it and sees its form in that mirror by this another force stirs the spirit it is called a sirta whence come all those who show false visions to men in their dreams and those who show things to men which do not happen but are confused 920 then when men are drawn to look at this vision called mirror they become haughty the spirit assert of the stirs another spirit chief under him who enters the lowest of the holes to raise another spirit from there who shares his duties with the spirit Askari whom we spoken of who is Lilith the mother of demons when men arouses the other spirit assert by looking at the mirror man is united with him and connected with him always then on each new moon this evil spirit of the mirror is Awakened together with Lilith who is Askar sometimes a man is hurt by them and falls to the ground not able to rise or he dies this is caused by looking at the mirror he looked at for as the haughtiness in his heart is seen when he looks at the mirror so he draws more the evil spirit to him for that reason everything depends on the awakening down below 921 I have had to sacrifice peace offerings Mishlei 714 come and see peace offerings are not offered for a debt or for purification but for peace what is the meaning of peace offerings peace offerings are of two sides and thanks to them no one blames him above or below the accuser is the left side of the evil inclination and by the peace offerings there is peace in the right therefore it is written I have had to sacrifice peace offerings in the plural form 922 another explanation for I have had to sacrifice peace offerings she says to him I am coming tranquility to offer you peace and for that reason this day have I Paid my vows a bit of seducing men always so I came out to meet you a bit 15 for I know you are heartless and ungrateful and diligently to seek your face a bit and come together with you and all the evil in the world that is worthy of you to have pleasure and go after the lust of this world she pushes him from one thing to another from evil to evil and says to him I have searched amongst the fools and have found you now I found you to cling to you 923 come let us take our fill of love. Until the morning of 18 this is the meaning of the I also of the adulterer waits for the twilight EO 2415 for this is the time of rain as the clip only rule at night let us take our fill of love we shall go together for I am with you for until now you were a boy in your strength and if you do not please yourself now and then when you are old shall you have pleasure now is the time why for my husband let the man is not at home Michelle 718 this is the good inclination who is. Not here inside you nor is this its time he has gone a long journey but for the good inclination does not abide by man only from afar when he is thirteen years of age or more and even then not in every man but I stay with you since the day you were born as it is written sin crouches at the door bear she forty seven namely when he came from his mother's womb and now that you have no wife is the time to have pleasure nine hundred and twenty four he has taken a bag of silver Mishlei seven twenty these are the lights called silver he took the good inclination by hand to raise above and stay there to have pleasure and will come home at the new moon but namely when will the good inclination cross his path on the day of the new moon judgment day to oversee the trial as it is written at the full also covered moon on our feast day tail eight hundred and fourteen which alludes to the judgment day Rosh Hashanah for when a man delights in the pleasure of the world and takes his fill of pleasure the good inclination stays away from. Him and when judgment is upon the world it comes back to do justice by him therefore with her much fair speech she causes him to yield till a dart strike through his liver Mishlei 721 to 23 happy are the righteous who know the holy ways to walk by them and strain either right nor left they are happy in this world and in the world to come section 60 the seventh chamber of the other side the dregs of wine we learn that the seventh chamber is the chamber of the dregs of wine the dregs produced by the pressing of the bad grapes Rabbi Shimon says that he gave Adam a drink of the dregs of wine and thus sent him to the seventh chamber this is explained as meaning that she brought death to Adam and to all the generations after him we are told of those who come to this chamber defiled spirits those who frequented prostitutes and bastards the seventh chamber corresponds to Gehenna and in it there is a point from that all the other evil spirits come out in Rome. Around the world Rabbi Shimon also talks about the spirits ruled by Nisar as sowing who weaken the unholy side and perform miracles for people who are not evil from the seventh chamber the fire of a strong wind emerges that judges the wicked of the world we hear of the blazing spirit of fire and snow called Talman who also comes from here Rabbi Shimon tells about four openings in the seventh chamber that face outside in each opening the kings of other nations who did not oppress Israel are allowed to stand sometimes and see the light from the side of holiness Rabbi Shimon concludes this description of the seven chambers by saying that we should remain on guard against the aspect of the serpent manifested by these seven chambers and remember that even if we are saved from the head we are not necessarily saved from the tail it is wise for men to avoid sinning so that the serpent will not bite and kill them 925 the seventh chamber is the chamber of the drakes of wine to drink once fill namely to get drunk by as it is written and he drank of the wine and was drunk and he was uncovered bear sheet 921 the pressing of the grapes the bad grapes is done here and it becomes foaming wine as it is written foaming wine it is full of mixture but its drinks shall all the wicked of the earth drink tail 759 foaming wine means the drinks of the wine there is no one who drinks of them without bringing death to himself of this wine he gave her husband to drink thus putting him in this chamber as we learned that she pressed grapes and gave him to drink thus bringing death to him and to the whole world after him 926 in this chamber are the unholy souls who descend upon all those who cleave to this defiled side the defiled spirit who descends upon those of the side comes from here as for those who stray from their way in the world and practice prostitution where they should not have and shun the way of truth when one cleaves to the side of the evil inclination by harlotry a spirit of defilement comes out of his chamber to defile him and the child he begot by prostitution 927 that child is called a bastard for he came from the side of a strange child as a man is on the side of the evil inclination by that passion and harlotry so he draws to that child another unholy spirit who defiles and everyone testifies about him that he is a bastard as happens to all his deeds and sides 928 from this chamber comes a spirit in charge of the spirits called northern Hepzephani the seventh name of the evil inclination this is derived from the verse whoever who hides her hides Hepzephan the wind spirit Mishlei 2716 the spirit is in charge of the northern and the seventh chamber corresponds to the name of Gehenom called the nether parts of the earth Yashis called 3116 of this the said northern it is written and I will remove far off from you the northern one well 229 here there is a point standing in the innermost part from here come out all the other spirits who roam about the world and rule over the world by the things and deeds delivered on the left side from here come out glitters and sparks that are quenched immediately burn and immediately are extinguished from these are issued other spirits who hover about the world and join the spirits that come from the great deep as it is written your judgments are a great deep tale in 367 these are the spirits not destined to be clothed in this world with the garment of the world they are seen and seen not as we learned 930 also there are spirits who roam about the world they perform miracles to people who are not much steeped in the filth of defilement like others there is a spirit appointed over them called Nisara and sowing because he is sowed and separated from the most unholy sides and they soar up in the air and weaken their unholy sides so miracles may be performed to those of the holy side 931 from the spirit that was sowed and Separated from the unholy side called Nisara come out some other sides divided to several kinds all of them do errands in the world each according to his worthiness and so kings and ministers are appointed below yet their existence is not continuous like that of the other ones above 932 this chamber is the unity of the unholy side and all unholy lusts which defile the world it is destined to put forth fire at any time and no one will prevail against it from here comes fire of a strong wind with which to judge below the wicked of the world from here comes out a blazing spirit of
the light shining from the side of holiness as it is written all the kings of the nations even all of them lying glory Yeshua 1418 935 if they did wicked things to Israel or oppressed them they are seized and sentenced below three times a day by several different punishments for the oppressing kings they are sentenced in that world to several punishments and every day they have to give testimony about Israel and their faith then they descend to be judged below happy are Israel in this world and in the world to come 936 so far the seven chambers the departments of the side of defilement of the aspect of the serpent were expounded upon happy is whoever is saved from it and its incantations that are given to it from above so it would not bite him nor inject poison in him until he is dead we should be guarded from it on all sides above and below whoever is saved from the head is not saved from the tail for when it bows his head it lifts up its tail strikes and kills 937 with all that if the serpent bites and cannot be charmed also without a charm Kahilat 1011 we learn that it is given permission and takes away the soul for that reason it behooves a man to beware of sinning before the holy one blessed be he so that the serpent may not be charmed to bite and kill section 61 dust of the ground rabbi shimon begins with and hashem elohim formed man of the dust of the ground saying that man is made of dust not clay he interprets dust shall be the serpent's food and he will destroy death forever and awaken sing you that dwell in dust to mean that until the resurrection the serpent will have the power to rule seduce and mock mankind he speaks of the male and the female sides of the serpent and the male sun and the female moon saying that darkness and somberness never separate as written in and there was a thick darkness 938 and hashem elohim formed man of the dust of the ground Verse 27 of Dust not of clay he is dust and to dust shall you return as it is written for dust you are and to dust shall you return Bear she 319 after he sent it is said of the serpent and dust shall you eat all the days of your life Bear she 214 this dust is man of whom it is written for dust you are therefore it is written dust not earth or clay and dust shall be the serpent's food Yeshua 6525 939 until the holy one blessed be he will arouse and put away the spirit of defilement from the world as it is written he will destroy death forever Yeshua 258 and the dust will be resurrected and will be roused to rejoice in the world as it is written awake and sing you that dwell in dust Yeshua 2619 940 it is written the serpent was craftier than all the beasts of the field Bear she 31 we already explained this verse nevertheless that which wrote on the serpent gave it power to rule seduce and deviate from the path he which rides upon it is the secret of the male side of the serpent for the male rules over the female and gives her power the sun and moon male and female officiate as one and never separate so darkness and somberness officiate together he the male serpent is darkness and she the female I as somber as it is written and there was a thick darkness Shema 1022 darkness and mist there is male darkness and female darkness section 62 the end of all flesh Rabbi Shimon explains to Rabbi Lazar about the end of all flesh he talks about the sacrifice on the altar where the priest the Levites and Yisrael officiate respectively through their service their singing and their prayers before the offering people should confess all their sins and transgressions and also the evil thoughts they had the offerings awaken the Holy Spirit so that the three columns right left and central are joined and raised up to the illumination of Chakma and then upwards to infinity 941 we learn that whoever sees a camel in his Dream was sentenced to death but was saved. This is the side of defilement called the end of all flesh. Bear sheet 613, 942. One day Rabbi Lazar was sitting before Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Lazar said, This end of all flesh, does it get enjoyment from the offerings Israel sacrifice upon the altar, or does it not? He said to him, All got their satisfaction as one above and below. 943. Come and see the priest Levites and Israel. The secret of the three columns, right, left, and central, are called men. Together by joining all the sacred desires ascending from them to Mayan and female waters, the priests by their service, the Levites by their singing, and Israel by their prayers before offering the Ulam Ram or cattle upon the altar, a man should confess over it all the sins, transgressions, and evil thoughts he contemplated. Then this offering is called a beast in every respect, completed by sins, evils, and thoughts. 944. Like the go to Azazel, of which says the verse, and confess over. Him all the iniquities of the children of Israel, Vayikra 1621 year 2, the custom of confessing sins should be practiced for when the sacrifice is offered upon the altar, this goes to its place and that goes to its place, the one in the secret of man and the other in the secret of beast, as it is written, Hashem, you preserve man and beast, Talim 367, 945, the offering of fine flour and the rest of the offerings should awaken the Holy Spirit with the service of the priests, the song of it. Levites and the prayer of Israel by the smoke oil and flour that rise upon the altar, the other claimants take their fill and are satiated who cannot have control over the judgment given them all is done at the same time, come and see all is done in the secret of the faith to give abundance the one to the other, namely that right and left will give to each other and be perfected by each other and to raise what needs to be raised, namely the illumination of Chakma which should be elevated upward. From below up to the endless light section 63 the chamber of the secret of sacrifice Rabbi Shimon prays that revealing the mysteries as he has done will please God this leads into an interpretation of the mystery of thought he explains it this way the supernal thought desires above all to pursue the source of illumination and to illuminate it with its own light but there is a veil between them light pursues the supernal thought but can reach only as far as the veil not beneath it the supernal thought itself is considered unknown its illumination strikes the illumination of the veil so that they shine together this causes nine chambers to be formed that are described only by what they are not all nine lights that stand in the thought of Eric and desire only to pursue the nine chambers in which are found all the secrets of the faith the lights of the mystery of the supernal thought above and below are all called infinity here neither desire nor Thought are found when thought shines it is not known by whose light but it is concealed in bina and shines upon whoever it shines the thought and the person enter each other until they are joined as a complete whole during the sacrifice on the altar all grades are moving up and thought is then bedecked by infinity since the illumination by which the supernal thought shines is called infinity everything takes its existence from this completely unknown illumination Rabbi Shimon speaks again about the end of all flesh or the other side he says that there is a joyful bond between bina and eric and on earth between male and female and between Briya yitzhara and asiya he talks again about the sacrifice of the goat during each new moon and about how the end of all flesh desires only flesh the soul goes up to another place Rabbi Shimon tells us that a righteous man is in himself a sacrifice for atonement therefore he atones for the whole world he turns to then a cloud covered the tent of meeting telling us that when the cloud covered the tabernacle the Shechinah dwelt on the earth and the spirit of defilement the end of all flesh was removed from the world if the wicked did not draw the spirit of defilement back into the world it would stay away lastly we learn that in the future God will remove the spirit of defilement as in he will destroy death forever Rabbi Shimon ends Pekadi with a blessing to Hashem 946 Rabbi Shimon said I have raised my hands high in prayer he prayed that revealing these mysteries would please the Holy One blessed be he when supernal desire up above the secret of Keter of Eric Enpin is supported by the desire that is not known nor ever conceived the head which conceals more the higher ones emanates whatever it emanates and is not known it illuminates whatever it illuminates all of it concealed 947 the desire of the supernal thought Keter of Eric Enpin is to pursue it and to illuminate with its light but a veil is spread between them through which by the pursuing after the supernal thought light reaches and reaches not because of the veil it illuminates up to the veil whatever it illuminates but not beneath the veil then a supernal thought illuminates with a concealed illumination which is not known the thought itself is considered unknown 948 then the illumination of the unknown thought strikes the illumination of the veil which I has supported and shines by what is not known and unknown and what is not revealed thus the illumination of unknown thought strikes the light of the veil and they illuminate together 949 nine chambers are thereby formed these chambers are not light spirits nor souls and no one can conceive them the desire of all nine lights standing within thought of Eric Enpin each of the nine numbered is to pursue the nine chambers while the nine lights still are in thought of Eric Enpin but the nine chambers are not conceived or known for these nine chambers are not Considered of the aspect of desire nor of the aspect of the supernal thought Eric Enpin which they grasp yet grasp not in these nine chambers are all the secrets of the fa
shines unhappy is the portion of the righteous in this world and in the world to come. 952 Come and see the other side which is called the end of all flesh as there is a bond above between Bina and Eric and Fin enjoy so beneath in male and female and Bria Yitzhara and Asiya there is a connection between them in happiness and desire to give satisfaction to all high and low and IMA stands properly by Israel. 953 Come and see in each new moon when the moon starts to wax namely when Malchut renews its union with Zeir and Fin the end of all flesh is given another portion a goat of the new moon in addition to the usual sacrifices so it may busy itself with it and attend to its own portion and the side of Israel will stay for them alone so they will be united with their king. 954 This is the reason for sacrificing a goat let Harry being the portion of Esau whom it is written Harry Esau my brother is a hairy man Bershi 2711 therefore he attends to his own share. And Israel to theirs this is the reason for the verse for Hashem has chosen Jacob to himself Israel for his peculiar possession Tehillim 1354 955 come and see all that end of all flesh ever desires is flesh therefore the correction of flesh is always by it hence it is called the end of all flesh yet he is in control over the body but not over the soul the soul ascends to its place and the body is given to this place the end of all flesh like a sacrifice when the desire goes up one place else to male and female the flesh goes up to another place the end of all flesh 956 a righteous man is in himself a sacrifice for atonement this is not so for he who is not righteous because he is blemished as it is written for it shall not be acceptable for you vi cross 2220 therefore a righteous man atones for the world a real sacrifice happy are the righteous in this world and in the world to come 957 then a cloud covered the tent of meeting Shema 4034 for when the cloud covered the tabernacle the Shechinah dwelt upon the earth and the spirit of defilement the end of all flesh was removed from the world it vanished into a hole of the great deep and the holy spirit hovered about the world as it is written and a cloud covered the tent of meeting 958 it is written and Moses was not able to enter the tent of meeting because the cloud rested on it but 35 as the holy spirit dwelt upon the world and the defiled spirit vanished except when the wicked draw it again upon the world if they do not it is not there 959 in the time to come the holy one blessed be he will remove it away from the world as it is written he will destroy death forever and Hashem Elohim will wipe away tears from off all faces and the insult of his people shall he take away from off the earth for Hashem has spoken at Yeshua 258 and, and I will cause the unclean spirit to pass out of the land Zechariah 132 blessed be Hashem forever amen and amen may Hashem reign forever and ever amen and amen